Hello, good morning and welcome to a very special day on the European Cricket Network. Special and historic for the first time ever. We're at the home of the place that brings you the Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower, cheese, red wine, snails and also ratatouille. I'm Rico Full. you're watching the European Cricket Series and for the first time ever we are in France. The action starts right here, right now. This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software, Paramatch and Local Lifestyle. Bonjour, it's wonderful to be here in France. We're an hour west from Paris in the city of Drew. Heard of it before? Yeah, of course you have a Drew or a team we've seen plenty of times on the European Cricket League. In fact, back in 2023, they were crowned the champions of Europe. Another team that have been playing in this series that we've seen before is Paris University Club. So looking forward to seeing them again. Didn't they give a Drew a challenge in the group stages? Remember, both these teams played out in a golden ball. But what I'm really looking forward to most of all is we're going to see nine new teams on the European Cricket Network. That means we're going to see lots of players looking to make their dreams come true as well. We're going to start off with two new teams. It is going to be the likes of the Greeny Vipers. They are going to be taking on the Villeneuve Super Kings. The Sheriff is in town as well. Charles Croucher, the tournament referee, is with the captains for the coin toss. Right after that, join me back in the cube and I'll tell you a little bit more about the two teams. Villeneuve Super Kings to call. Head. Heads is the call. And it's a tail. They're going to have a bat. Line tails with. What?
It's a new batter who comes out to left hander. That's a Thival. Monique Ball. Yeah, we're just saying, beautiful to be here. Hey, I've got to say, I mean, we're uh, about an hour west of Paris here in Drew. Beautiful city. Had a chance to venture around in the afternoon. You saw from the in introductions, so green, so lush. And uh, it's a, a gardener's delight, really. And this ground, well, it's just superb. And there's a bit of an inside edge there. Well, we are in France, so we expect to see a few French cuts. And, well, it's an acrobatic effort. And does he stop this in time? I don't know. No, he doesn't. It's four runs. So chases it hard and tries to get the flip back. Not able to do so. And that also brings us to the end of the over. So just to remind you, it is... A five over per side match because of some of the, the delays that we had, unfortunately, trying to get things ready. And uh, Pirukajan, first over goes for 14. Yeah, delightful. Surrounded by these beautiful, like a forest, really, or woods, if you like, to one side of the ground. And the lovely sunshine at the moment. Uh, they had a look at the pitch. And uh, I think this pitcher played really well. First look at it, I think it's uh, one that maybe will suit the batting side more. But it'll be interesting to see how it takes with the seamers and also the spinners when we get some spin on it. But now, this is uh, a new bowler that's coming on the ball. Uh, just a slight delay here as you get ready to continue. But, yeah, I was talking about where we are here in Drew. And it is beautiful. Really sort of right in the countryside. It reminds me of some of the days that I played in Hertfordshire. This one's been clipped away. That's going to be four runs as well. One thing that we definitely have seen. is that the outfield looks pretty quick here. It's nice and flat as well. And we've seen already a couple of times the ball has quickly raced to the boundary. Azim, short, and it's Gundy, isn't it, down leg side. And that's going to be a chase. And Chase is in vain. It's going to be quatro more. So that's a good sign, isn't it? Especially from the batting side. The ball is certainly racing along the boundary. Been a bit frantic here. So, but I will have the opportunity to say a big hello and uh, bonjour to a lot of people in the chat. Uh, to Mental Man and Kroom and Rob Thompson. Thank you once again, everyone, for your patience. Hello to Ivan B. I'm saying bonjour back to me. All right, that's going all the way, I think. It will go all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. In the zona, it's seis. Carrera, it's una seis. Well, that's a biggie. It's una grande. And that's what you need to do here. What a good strike that is. Smashes it away, so Chowdhury, definitely. The man to to fear at the moment. Big hitter. This is going big as well. And I reckon this is going to test the boundary. And the umpire's just checking whether it's four or six. And it smashes it away. Here we go. Take a good look at this. And that one, I think, for me, probably just, is it just inside? The question is whether it touches the rope at all. Uh, I think uh, probably would say maybe they give this one a four or six. Still waiting on that one. So 
Uh, been big hit. There you go. Four was signalled in the end. I think it just, just short of the rope. I'll have to Shahag as well. Vinny Sandu was lurking early. It's probably on the flight here now. Hello to Mr. Jay Grant. A good line, and this one is will go all the way. Manos arriba, arriba, arriba from the Albitro. Seis Guerreras Mas. Well, we had a bit of a delay. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, the guys out there in the middle, uh, they've been waiting to get out there. And they're not disappointing. Hello to Steve McVeigh as well. And uh, Dave B is uh, trying to get to the ground. How did I get to the ground? Well, like in a in a kindly organised uh, minibus transport from, from our hotel base. Oh, short again. He bangs this one in. So certainly a bit of life in the pitch. So that's the end of the second over. The cracking start. 38 for one. And the wicket to go. To recap, the openers were Samuel Mihi and uh, Delhi Pula Chowdhury. Chowdhury is going well. 24 he scored. But uh, Mary was the one who went early. He went for eight to five. A good catch from Suvarithran. And now Thavin Miniboke is out there to see if he can get a good partnership going here with Chowdhury. So over number three of five. And once again, on behalf of everyone on the European Cricket Network, thank you for your patience this morning. Just had a few early teething problems. Uh, just making sure that everything was up and running. We still have a few issues with the graphics. But uh, I can update you. The score is 38 for 1. In the start now of the third over. We're working frantically behind the scenes to get that sorted for you. That last over, by the way, from Azim went for 24. It's gently played out onto the offside. Now, look, this is worth me pointing out some some changes that we've had to our regulations as well and uh, first one is on the timings so a normal 10 over a side match will be 36 minutes is allocated to the completion of the the nine overs 36 used to be 40 so 36 minutes but more on it after this delivery short and just gets a little dab on it take it on the single and that's uh, a bit surprised there that Charlie just often just to paddle that away and get the single. But yeah, so 36 minutes, but every wicket that is taken, then you get an, an extra minute. Okay, so basically if it's 36 minutes, you pick four wickets up, you get 40 minutes. Nice shot straight down the ground. This is going to test the field, but they're not going to get there. That's a delightful shot. Uh, so Vivian gets on strike and plays a beautiful straight drive. That's delightfully played. Nice looking shot. A nice looking shot on a nice looking ground. Loving the look of this ground, people. Beautiful. It's nestled away in a little wooded area in Drew. Short outside the off. Tries to hit it too hard this time. Gets the dot ball. Loving the the balance around it as well. The France Cricket Federation. And uh, let's play cricket. I'm liking that as well. Okay, it's slow. Play down the ground. This time will just be a single. So taking a bit of the pace off here is uh, Mahadevan. Other regulation change is on the wides. And uh, we're just making it much clearer and much easier for, for our umpires and your viewers at home. And that's hit beautifully. That's a thunderbolt of a shot. Oh, that has been absolutely crunched. It's brutal. Goes for six. Hit long and hard. End of the over. And now with three overs completed, 51 for one. So that's a fantastic power play here from the Greeny Vipers, from the Greeny city of France, close to the capital. Making a good start here. Some very good hitting, especially from Chowdhury at the moment.
Thivien is going along nicely. Yeah, with the white. So now the ball has to... If it hits any part of the line, it will not be a wide. So a wide that's only called if the whole ball, if the whole ball misses those wide indicator lines on the offside. On the leg side, it stays the same. Anything down the leg side that goes past the batter, it uh, will be called a wide. But on the offside, it's got to get past the line. That's a nice shot. Fuda goes down. Nicely done. Good technique. Gets the throw in. And that was uh, Prikajan. And good backing up there as well. Like in the contrasting colours of these two teams. The yellow of the Villeneuve Super Kings. And the Greeny Vipers. And uh, just a couple of shades of blue there. Sky blue and dark blue trousers. Oh, that's pretty high. Now, I wonder what the, the umpires make of this. And no ball call for height. I think that's the right call. And... Uh, does start to dip, but the umpire still believe it's over the waist, so no ball called, free hit coming up. And the Chowdhury, who's going great guns at the moment, 31 of 9, will be looking to smash this one away. And it's cleverly bold, takes all the pace of it. Just gets sliced away for a single. Gunarasa just checks his field to the left hander. Takes his time. So this couple of regulation changes there. So on the time and the wides, we'll see more of that, of course, when we get our graphics and we see a proper turnover match you'll see that it will start at 36 not at 40 as it did before but the key thing is every time there you take a wicket then you get the an extra minute that just allows for the time it takes for the batter one batter to go and a new one to come in so you don't get penalized on that so we see how that works it's played out to a man who took a good catch earlier Suvanitran makes the stop Congratulations, of course, to Marlo. What a great finish that was in Portugal at the Centre and Cricket Ground yesterday. Well done to all the crew there, all the teams that took part, the, the umpires, and, of course, the Portuguese Federation, as this one is smashed. Gets right underneath it. That will go all the way as well. Says Mas over the extra cover boundary. Beautiful shot. Just waits for it, but he gets the length that he wants, Chowdhury, doesn't he? Plays this away, and Chowdhury, well... He's on course for scoring a 50 in the very first match here in France. Yes, we are in France, or the hexagon, as is known by many. Because of the way France looks on the map. Six-sided. He just leaves this one alone. He will get the wide. Wide ball signalled. Yeah, so... Portugal Marlow crowned the champions yesterday with a golden ball win in the final against the Gamblers. Right, that's in the slot. This time he doesn't get underneath it. Bobbles away to the fielder. Tilted it quite nicely. Just a single. Score now. Moves to 63. And one wicket down with a ball to go. Yeah, so Marlow. Golden ball victory over the Gamblers. So Marlo there. Their stronghold on the crown in Portugal continues as another ball gets smashed away. Turns this into a full toss. It goes all the way. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna, Zona. Shaka, Lagia, says Carreras. This time it's Sivian who smashes it away. He moves on to 18. 69 for one after four. Looking to post a good score, remember, five overs, so the last over to come. Okay, so last over coming up. It's 
going to be bowled by Prathip. Gunarasa is getting his field to move, move around. Right, bowling to the dangerous and hard hitting Chowdhury. Oh, swing and miss, and they're taking it on. Might, well, it, it's going to go all the way, actually. So once again, another indication of how quick the outfield is here. It's going to be four buys. And I'm surprised Chowdhury, I mean, elects to take this. Not the best bit of keeping there, I have to say. From Robin San, Sivakuma needs to get his gloves down to that. Yeah, I think Chowdhury's really got to be the one who wants to stay and strike. Because when you're hitting the ball like this, you got to stay there. That's another thunderbolt. What a cracker that is. Six more to Chowdhury. Who now is into his 40s. 45 or 14 deliveries. And wow, the Green Vipers are looking to post a huge score here. The first ever European Cricket Series here in France. The first time we're here. The first match goes for it. Up in the air. There's nobody back there. And this one will go also all the way. And that is 50 up for Dully Pilot Chowdhury. That's 51 of 15. Well batted. He gets the roar from his teammates now. The Greeny Vipers, they're up and running. What a knock that's been from Dully Pilot Chowdhury. 51 of 15. And he has absolutely crunched it. Six sixes and three fours. He whips his way. Oh, that's a classy shot. Really good shot. I'm liking what I'm seeing here from Chowdhury. Beautifully played. And he's shown his strength outside the offside. He's played some big hits. And probably, when you look at it from the bird's eye view the longest part of the boundary is probably extra cover and he's hit some big ones over there but he's classy you can see he can clip it off his pads as well and there you go that's his power outside the off safe mass he's making it look easy and that's the first one i think that ends up in the forest and uh, where all the wolves and all the other wild animals will live and just look at this he's got so much power and the weight distribution into the shot is incredible going to be a big big score here see some of the newer teams that we'll see later turning up and we'll see and there's going to be four more this one is sliced away there's no backward point in place there's going to be cuatro mass and that is going to be the end of the innings and what a finish the chase will be exactly 100 so 99 scored, 99 for one. And uh, Dilapala Chowdhury, 65 of 18. That's quite an extraordinary knock. Well, we know all about some of the French batting. They have surprised us and uh, thrilled us in the past. Of course, a lot of people were looking forward to seeing Drew in action again and also the Paris University Club. But we've seen that the Greedy Vipers and Shane, that they've got a bit of power power and a little bit of muscle as well as Chowdhury. Well, he certainly muscled the ball to all parts of the boundary. That last over going supersonic. 30 came off it, but don't forget there was uh, the four buys there as well. So, and a bit of a nightmare there from Gunnar Asa. But well, what a start this is. All right, it was a delayed start. We, we kept you waiting, but it was worth waiting for. There's a Grinny Vipers in five overs put 99 on the board let's take a look at the highlights and uh, it was a, a good start a quick start a fiery start with uh, the batters hitting the ball well and in fact you have to say that even Samuela Mary he was a little bit unlucky when he did get out himself he played the ball pretty well and he ended up being caught a uh, very good catch from Suvaritanat but then after that, it was all about the hard hitting of Chowdhury. Chowdhury scoring 65 of 18. And he was well supported by Thivan Menibol, who made 18 of just the eight deliveries while he was out there as well. But it was all about Chowdhury's seven sixes and five fours on his way 
to that magnificent 65 of 18. We're going to take a short break here now. Once again, apologies for some of the graphics that we don't quite have, but uh, we are working on them behind the scenes and hopefully we'll have everything up and running and running smoothly for you a little bit later on. But the main thing is the cricket has started for the first time in France. So this European Cricket Series, the first match, between the Greeny Vipers and the Vilna Super Kings. Well, the Super Kings, they're going to have to be super if they're going to chase this down. In five overs, they need to score 100. Join me back, Rico Full, and the rest of the gang in about 10 minutes' time for the conclusion of the very first match here in France.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Bonjour, good morning cricket lovers and welcome to France. Welcome to Drew Cricket Ground. Looking absolutely magnificent at the moment. Looking as pretty as a postcard it really is. Surrounded by these uh, woods all around us. And the ground itself looking absolutely magnificent. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, just a reminder that this is a five over per side match. So two overs will be the power play. And one uh, over will be bowled by five different bowlers. And uh, they've got simply to score 100 here. In the Villeneuve Super Kings. After they just bowled a little bit too short. And they found uh, Dulpalat Chowdhury in fantastic form. As he smashed 65 not out of just 18 deliveries. So it's time for the reply. That's uh, Super Hitran, the captain, is out there to see if he can give his team a good start. He's really looking to get uh, about 50 in the power play. And uh, loving the, the beautiful banners around this ground as well. The French uh, Cricket Federation have done a splendid job. And, uh, probably we'll start with the wide here. Yes, this is... Oh. Hokmaran Momand. Bit of pace, but a little bit too wide. Yeah, I mean, big shout out to the present here, Prabhu Balan. And also to well, a good friend of mine, Saravan, the CEO. Met them earlier this morning. And of course, the true president, Asif, who also is out there uh, as one of the, the umpires. He's the third umpire uh, in this match but we'll probably see him out there in the second also is the national selector and also to Prativ who's the sports commissioner here as well they've done a fantastic job in getting this ground looking so beautiful and uh, I'm sure that it's being admired by a lot of people around the world that are tuning in hello to Jeffrey Mobs is uh, joining us as well, good to have you, Jeffrey. Ooh, it's a good heavy ball bowled. A bit of a wild swing. I think swinging. The captain swinging and hoping, but at the moment, just uh, playing out a couple of dot balls. Only run on the board, courtesy of that wide. Peter Kajan is his opening partner. See if Moman can keep that line nice and tidy. One for the over, just being signalled there by the umpire, so I can't be going any more short stuff. And I think he's going to go too wide here again. He's getting the ball through. He's got a Bit of a, a slingy kind of action, Momand. We see him running in. So he's not really banging the ball into the deck. He's getting it to, to skid off. But he's focusing on keeping it outside the off stump. Outside off stump line. Doesn't want to put anything in the arc. And once again, a good movement though. Uh, maybe you can see that one more time. Just see the movement that he's getting some swing. And yeah, well bowled, well taken also by the keeper. That's a Chowdhury. Chowdhury, well, he's the man on the moment at the moment. After he's knocking now. Behind the stumps. No rest for the wicket, they say. All right, well, swing hard and you'll get some joy. I am a little bit surprised that they haven't got third back, to be honest. That actually goes all the way. So he certainly does swing hard. So the first boundary... Now for the Villeneuve Super Kings, yeah, swings hard, gets a good bit of edge onto that, and it goes for six. Yeah, I mean, when you've got a bowler who's bowling with a bit of pace and getting this ball to move away, I think uh, you're better off having third back. They've got, uh, they've got a point back on the boundary. Just trying to search around to see who the second man out is. 
All right, that one's high and oh, almost a spectacular catch with the do move third back and he's into play almost immediately. Well, if this stuck, it would have been an amazing catch. Well, that's at Ruby Chizaran. Have a look at this. He almost sticks. Well, that would have been a jalebi delight. First up here on day one, match one, here in France. Rotates the strike. So first time we get a chance to have a look at Peter Kajan. Just the nine. The over so far. They need more. Well, that's a nice shot. Oh, he's picked this out in the middle of the bat. Well, that is big. And that is sweet, sweet out of the middle. Well, that is sweeter than a ball of Rasmalai as that one goes big. That's six runs, tremendous shot. And that's exactly what they needed to finish the over. Well, it takes them to, to 14. It was absolutely crunched. Number of matches since the Golden Ball Zero. Yes, because the final yesterday in Portugal at the SCG, yep, the, the Europe's version of the SCG in Portugal ended with a goal and a ball and a win for Milo that keep their stronghold in Portugal intact. And what a final it was against the Gamblers. The golden ball finish. So congratulations to Milo as I'm being attacked by all sorts of spiders. So, well, back in the sunshine, a different country, but same story, different spiders. So Milo getting that win. And of course, I not have to mention that also, we had the first ever Western Shield in Portugal as well. And that was won by the British and Irish Knights beating Team Europe 6-3. So fantastic cricket we saw there in Portugal, which comes to an end. And thank you very much to our host there, the Federation there in Portugal. And of course, also to the, the Butsamazzi family. To Polo, Sandy and Fatima. This one gets past the keeper. They'll take a bite. They've got to take everything that comes their way. And from one beautiful location to another. The first time we are here in France. And looking forward to it as well. France known as the Hexagon. It's a nickname that too many of the French use. Amir. Well, bangs this in hard, but that's just hittable length, really. And uh, Peter Bakaran plays that away beautifully. So four more to him. You can see some of the Belbian guys just training there in the background as well. Looking forward to seeing them as well. Another team that will be on debut on the European Cricket Network here on day one in France. That's a team in red. That's going to be Belbians playing their first match. And then we've taken on the Vilno Super Kings. And the Super Kings, the back to back matches for them. Oh, that has been absolutely crunched. That is enormous. It's a monster shot. That is huge. Well, I tell you what, they're not hanging around here. That one, well, that's sweeter than the Pafita rolls that you get here in France. What a shot. He's in the slot, and it gets mullered. So, Pirukajan, he's looking good at the moment. 16 of three deliveries. And he's dealing in boundaries. Two sixes and one four. Bring it on. And anything you can do, Chowdhury. 
I can do better, seems to be the saying here. Pure Bakarahan saying, come on, give me another. And now, Marufamir, well, he's under a bit of a pressure. Into the body again, but once he gets past the field, Chase is on. Who does this time deal with it? They come back and they will take the second. Yeah, interesting coming left arm around. I'd like to see him coming left arm over and try and get that ball to go. Angle it across the right hander. He's got the field set on the offside, but at the moment he's bowling too short. And as a result of that, you can see that a player's being moved from the offside to come across. A few people are seeing more of this ground on the stream as the cameras follow the ball. And making some positive comments about it. This is high up in the air. Opportunity. Will it be taken? And second chance. Oh, yeah. Well, I tell you what. This clobbers his hands hard. I'll get a high lucky. But it, the ball pops up. And he gets the second chance. And he takes it. So, Peter Bakaran will have to go. And that is a big wicket. Because he was hard hitting and hitting boundaries for fun. Goes for it. Goes high up in the air. What a good catch this is. He takes his time, he gets under it, and then grabs it beautifully. Well done, well taken. And that is a big moment, really. And that's a Nasiri. Really good catch. Under pressure. And he does so well because he, he's got to catch up with it first. Catches up with it, overtakes the ball in the air, turns around. And I tell you what, you could hear the thud of that ball hitting the hands. But it pops up and he gets a second chance. You don't often get second chances in life. But I tell you what, the series did. And he takes the catch. So Amir picks up his first wicket. He was under pressure, wasn't he? But he gets the prize wicket because Pirakajan was going well. Departs for 18 as Sivakuma is the new batter. And that comes out. Joining his captain out there. Oh, well, I tell you what, these guys are just made for hitting sixes. I tell you what, if all of the teams in France are like Drew and the Paris University Club, teams that we have seen already, well, we're going to have an exciting time here. First of all, boom, shakalagia, thank you very much. And Sivakuma, he opens his account with six. And this match is very much alive as it moves to 34. For one, and I can tell you like for like. I mean, 34 for one as opposed to 38 for one. So they're right in it. A quick chance to look at some of the teams that we will see. Of course, two teams we have seen before. The 2023 European Cricket League champions. And this year, we saw that Paris University Club were also uh, representing France. And those two did play in each other in the same group, but that means we're going to see nine new teams here in France. A lot of new players, and that's the beauty of European cricket at the moment, growing, growing big, growing strong. And uh, here in France, doesn't seem to be any exception. OK, after taking a great catch, Nasiri gets the ball. And almost gets instant success, and... As I was saying about Amir, it'd be nice to see him actually coming over the wicket because that's where you want to try and get the ball going across the batter if you're that left armer. Floats this one up, and this is going to get away from the fielder inside the circle, but sweeper comes around. And well, gets a hard throw in, but the batters do get two. And that's a spotlight. He's saying looks like a great place for cricket. Down the ground high. And this is going to be six as well. Seis Guerreras. That's a beautiful shot. You don't hear the ball better and straighter than that. And now it's the captain. Uh, Suvanithran who gets in the act as well. He just floated up there. Uses his feet well. Dances down the track. And gets it. 
out of the middle. And, uh, well, we could keep it. Chowdhury was waiting. But he just watches that one hit big down the ground. Better delivery. Then take the single. And it's the field on the offside. Does its job. Yeah, the more you see of this ground, folks, the more that you'll love it. A few people have already commented on the, the scoreboard. Look quite immaculate. And teams sitting either side of it as well. And behind them, you see more of the forest and the woods. It's not a bad delivery. It's a bit fuller. Gets dragged out onto the leg side. They will take on the throw. And it comes. It's going to be close, but they get there. There's a slight fumble from the fielder who makes a stop, but not able to, to get the throw in straight away. It just allows the batters the opportunity to push. Change in the field now. I'm liking the fact that he's strengthening the offside. So it's two field three out now on the offside on the boundary. And goes a bit straighter. It's a swing and a miss from Siva Kuma. And at the moment, a dot ball is a bit of gold dust. That is the end of the third over. Three from five completed. 45 for one. Not a bad over at all there from Nasiri. Keeping it nice and tight. See that we have... Everything now up and running smoothly. Well done to uh, Spring Media, our production partners here. Chris Tapps, Martins and Arthur is doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's always, you know, when you're in a new place, never been here before. And the guys from Spring Media done a fantastic job. Everything now up and running. And that one's got the legs to go all the way as well. I'll tell you who else is up and running. The Super Kings, remember, needing 100 for victory. They need a huge over here. Because it's only now 11 balls to go. And they need to score 49. But oh, keep hitting sixes. You get a chance. That's a good delivery. Bolt it shorter, flatter, quicker. And the batter, though he does move his feet, can't get underneath it. So, the captain. So we throw on the hands to strike over now to Siva Kuma. Bit of advice for the bowler here. Ramatula Miri. And once again, skids it through. Tries to go across the line. I quite like the field that's been set here by the captain, Deva. He basically has left the square leg and behind square open. And he's basically saying to the batters, well, if you want it, go for it. But the bowlers, so far, not letting him down. They're keeping the ball outside the off. He's bowling to the offside field. Three men in the circle on the offside. Three outside. And on the leg side, you just got those three men, mid-wicket, long on, and one inside the circle. And the field seems to be working at the moment. All right, that's straight down the ground. That will go all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. In the zona. Manos arriba, arriba, arriba. But he is with seis mas, seis carreras. Go back to the drawing board here now. So 14 off the over so far. It needs to go huge. These next two balls have to go to the boundary. Hard, flat, chases on, but can't get there. Cuatro mas. So 18 off the over. Six here to finish will be fantastic. Then we go into the last. They need a magical, but it can be done. Keeping themselves in this contest. But at the moment, it's uh, Subhitran that's doing all the running. 33 of 14 deliveries. And, uh, that's the dot ball. That's the gold dust. That's the one that hurts you. And that's probably the one. That one ball, one good ball like that could be the difference between winning and losing a match. At the end of the fourth, 63 for one. So we go into the last, everybody. We go into the last. 
with 37 required. Basically, just bowl six legal deliveries. And it will be a win. The very first win in the European Cricket Series for the Greenwich Vipers in the very first match. And the first time we, the European Cricket Network, is here. And I can tell you this, it won't be the last because it's absolutely magnificent. And a lot of people are touching on that. Jeffrey Mobb saying looks like a great venue. All right, well, that's one. He's out of here. It's six. That's big. A slightly caramelised apple tart to get out here. It's sweeter than that. The thing is, though, he's got to do it every single ball. And if he does it every single ball, you know what? Yeah. Golden ball, everybody. Golden ball. And uh, we saw one in the very last match that you saw on the European Cricket Network last night, the final in Portugal, when Marlow beat Gamblers on that golden ball. It could be see golden ball in the very first match. If we do, it will be even more spectacular than the one we saw last night. Goes again. It's higher. It's a catching opportunity. And it goes down. And the thing is, apart from pride, it won't hurt. Because though it's the captain, Devar can't hold on to the catch. It doesn't go to the boundary. And as a result of that, he should be pretty confident that his team will be victorious here. So Devar puts the catch down, but he knows that his team will be the first team ever on the European Cricket Network here in France to win a European Cricket Series match. That is the Green Vipers. Smashed hard coming this way, but Fielder takes the catch and he does pick up a wicket. Manik Bowl. he would have been disappointed not to have done earlier when the captain, a difficult chance, couldn't take on, take on the catch. But Samuel Amiri, uh, this one was lovely jubbly. It's a nice height, takes the catch and the wicket will go. There's the end of the captain. Who's a, well, brave fight from the Villeneuve Super Kings captain. He goes for 33. 16 deliveries. See Vakuma still there on 18 off six. He started with a huge six, didn't he? But then after that, he just went a little bit flat. But I have to say, they did bowl well to him and intelligently to him. They took the pace off, kept it outside the off and sneaked in a few dot balls and uh, or balls that didn't go to the boundary that makes all the difference in a high run chase like this three balls to go then well, makes good contact chase for the fielder won't get there so four runs but you can see now even from uh, even though that one goes to the boundary there's not too much noise coming now from the super kings they know that this one is done and dusted but one good news for them i suppose being that this is a reduced overmatch, that uh, there will be uh, points available for both teams, three for a win and one for a loss. So you're still getting some points here. And something to build on. So, well, that one could have gone anywhere. To bat him on the bat. And that almost goes, doesn't I wonder if this actually goes onto the stumps and doesn't knock the bales off. I think it does, you know. I think this rolls onto the stumps. Watch this. And the bales. Yeah, the bales stay on. I suppose a little bit of luck for the batter. And now he'll hoit this one up. And it'll be a really good catch taken when his luck runs out. The very next ball. And Gunarasa will go for four and that will also be the end of it. the innings it finishes with a wicket and goes for the shot nice catch really well taken i thought for a moment it was going to drop just short of him but diving forward takes the catch and that was the last ball of the match as well so the super kings will finish on 76 for three a victory by the Greeny Vipers, 23 runs, so well done to the Vipers. They are the first team in France to win a European Cricket Series match. And uh, they do it in style as well. It was only a five-over match, but, well, I tell you what, didn't they go out there and blast the ball all over the place, mainly thanks to Chowdhury, 
His half century was absolutely brilliant. He didn't waste any time, did he? Got out there, 65 of 18 deliveries, and that included those big seven sixes and five fours as well. And uh, no doubt for me that he certainly will be the player of the match. And this one, as we have a look at the highlights, uh, they started well. They, they matched the, the Vipers in the first over. They're scoring 15 from it. The second over, they were still in the contest of about four runs behind at that point. But it was the it was the third and the fourth over that really took the game away from them. Some clever bowling from Nasari, who took a great catch as well, and uh, just keeping it nice and tight. And, uh, but good hitting, and certainly excited to see a more. Clink. Well, the Villain Super Kings will be happy to get out there again and maybe try and change their fortunes and go to winning ways. They have a matchup against uh, Babyons now. That's the next match, match number two. As we see the end of this one. Well, a little bit of luck at first, but second time round, he hits the ball going for the boundary and a very good catch there taken. The fielder running in and uh, hardest ones to take really, but uh, Dushan makes no mistakes taking the catch off the bowling of Thibian. So victory first up in match number one for the Vipers. They'll be keen to be in action again later. And there will be an action again later. They will take on Royal 94 in match number three today. And then also they will finish playing the Babylons in the very last match of the day as well, match number five. So we'll see more of the Vipers. Let's have a quick look at the fantasy dashboard for the match that's coming up next. Once again, I think the captain from what we've seen already uh, Silver Ruthran, he'll be pretty key with bat and with ball, but an opportunity there will be for some of the other batters and other bowlers to perform in uh, the next match. It's always difficult when it's uh, five overs aside. Tactics are very different. So let's see how they go. And well, an opportunity for us to welcome another new team on the network as uh, Babinian will be in play and their captain, uh, Jishan will be hoping and Vithu hoping that they make a good start. So we're going to take a break now, or a quick short break around about uh, 10 minutes and we'll be right back with match number two. Hasta pronto.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome to this beautiful cricket ground here in Drew. It's absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. I'm loving the forest and the woodland that's around. And so far, I've loved the way that this deck has played. The outfield has been quick. And I think even though that first match was just five overs aside, I think from what I saw from the pitch, I think they've bowled as well bowl well on this they'll get some reward as well so we saw a five over match to start off with and the super kings well let's just say that uh, they really did take a little bit of a battering with their bowling i think they bowled just a little bit too short they'll be hoping that this time around that they can do a little bit better they're taking on belmany belmany playing their first time on the european cricket network as well so i want to wish them luck as well but good news is that we're back to 10 over a side so looking forward to this match let's see what happens at the coin toss then right after that join me back in the the comedy box and I'll tell you a little bit more about the two teams. Head. Heads is the call and it's a tail. You're going to bed first. Bat first. Thank you very much to the Sheriff, Charles Croucher. Nice to have him with us, the tournament referee and uh, two captains out there in the middle and uh, the Villeneuve Super Kings electing that they will have a bat first. Remember we just saw them in that five over a side battle against the Grinny Vipers. They went down in that one, but uh, they put a big fine on. And I just get the feeling, having seen some of their batting, that they're looking to put a big score on here in the 10 overs that's available to them. Yes, back to 10 overs a side. Some names there that we do recognise, of course, have it, Aladdin Jackson. And know him as uh, a very good wicket keeper, somebody we've seen playing for France. So be nice to see how he fares. This is what the win predictor is saying here. 54% to 46% in favour of the Balbinians. Uh, Balbinian, they're from a town that's called uh, Bobina. And uh, all the people in the town in Bobina are called Babinians. That's where they get their name from. So, I wish them well. It's great to see them on the European Cricket Network, of course. We are in France. And France, of course, you know, is famous for its snails, also called escargots. And uh, they love these uh, slithery creatures. And uh, they eat around about 25 tons of snails a year. That's 6.5 snails per person per year. That's a lot of snails. And, of course, it's not just any snail that will do. They have to be the proper snails. And uh, particularly well regarded in the Burgundy region. The Burgundy snail, which is highly protected in France. So there you go. I suppose it's something that's got to be done here. I think maybe the whole crew will have to go out one night and have uh, Ascogots. And, uh, well, we'll let you know how they like. I know they've had, had snails in uh, Spain, in uh, paella. So it'll be interesting. But they're normally cooked with uh, garlic and butter. So, yeah, I don't mind that. All right, we're ready to start. Match number two. And it, it's going to be Kumaran to bowl the first. And we've already seen a little bit of uh, Zubahithran. It's going to be the captain of the Super Kings to face the first ball. Interesting field. I wonder if we can have a, a little close-up. Well, it could be a first ball. No, it's over the field. There's going to be six runs. Yes, uh, Zubahithran smashes this away. I've never quite seen a field like this. So it's a 10 over a side match. But you've literally got two slips in place. Look, let's have a look at this. If we go back a bit, you've got one slip there next to the keeper. So you've got two in the catching position and a point. It's almost like a field that you see in a sort of one day. One day match. Interesting field. There you go. Look, two, two slips in place. Uh, loving that banner there. Stronger together. Let's play cricket. The Federation of France and the European Cricket Network in partnership with each other. Yeah, interesting field for Kumaran. I wonder how long he keeps it that way. That's uh, Suvan Thiran blasts the first ball for six. Gets a bit of width on the back foot in the air, and that's going to be six more. Ball, 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 in the zona. Shaka Lagia. I was just talking to some of the, uh, the Grinny Vipers yeah, when they finished, just congratulated them on their win. And they said to me, they said, it's interesting, Rike. They said, normally the boundaries are around about sort of 65 metres. So, as we know, when they play the all-day games, he said, 
And he said, with those boundaries, hardly anybody hits too many sixes. More on that after this one. And, well, he wants to know. He's asking the question. We might have a look at this side on to see how close or not it was. And the batter doesn't seem to be too, too worried. So he does get drawn out, his foot, but the foot stays down and he keeps it down. So that is a good take from Havit Aladdin Jackson. Action Jackson. But uh, the foot stays in. Yeah, so they're saying that normally hardly anyone hits 60. Is it? But the interesting thing is, obviously the boundaries are shorter as this one gets hit away as well. Well, that's a good example of it. And he's saying, so the boundaries, as I'm saying, would normally pro probably be where that banner is. He's saying that though the boundaries are brought in, the players are hitting sixes, but they're going further than where the boundaries would normally be. So he's saying it doesn't make any sense. Normally they can't hit sixes. Now all of a sudden, ECN is in town and sixes are being mashed all over the place. There's, uh, there's another one for Suvan Thiran to swivel on a little bit. Of the Oh, there's this one. Goes all the way as well. So, <laughs> action galore. Out there in the middle as well. The player ends up on the deck. Not sure what happened there. But anyway, all right. Kumaran, 18 or four balls. And uh, gone. Good catch. Sharp take. And it's a wicket. The captain will go. Suvan Thiran. And just a little bit quicker, a bit flatter. Kumaran. And he goes on the back foot, tries to play it away on the offside. But he gives too much air. Watch this. And this is a really good catch. It's a spectacular grab. And it makes it look easy, but that's not easy. That's going pretty quickly. It's all about anticipation. Really good catch. And Suman Thiran will go. And he was pretty key, wasn't he? Did uh, put up a good fight, 33 of 16 in the last match. So they'd be happy to see the back of him. He'll go for 18. Or five deliveries. Very good catch. Siva Kuma will be joined by the new partner, Pira Bakaran. All right, high in the air. Fielders searching for it. And, well, he's just taken an unbelievable catch. What a catch. Well, well, put your teeth back in, everybody. That is unbelievable. What a catch. And that is uh, Musa Zinge has just taken an incredible catch. These are the ones that you see practiced and practiced and practiced, but very rarely taken when it matters. It's going over him. Gets there, watches it, and take a look at this. Ah, oh, incredible. Take a bow. That is a superb catch. Unbelievable. And wow, well, Munasinge, he certainly got a highlight to remember. And well, I'll tell you who is not an eye highlight for, Siva Kuma, because he's going to get the first golden duck on the European Cricket Network in France. So Siva Kuma, he's going to get quacked off, and he'll go courtesy of quite an amazing catch. That was something special for Muna Singe. So Siva Kuma goes without scoring. The umpire says, hang on a minute, let the batter get ready. 18 for two. After the first over. And come around, well, didn't things change around for him? 18 of the first four balls and then two wickets in the next two. Keep an eye out for him. Remember, his first ball in the next over will be a hat-trick. This one's just lofted up in the ground and... Oh. <laughs> Take the single as one fielder dives out the way of the throw of the other. Well, right, now it's an opportunity to see a little bit of depth here from the batting. Pira Kajan. Oh, he's the man who goes for that golden. And Siva Kuma is out there and he's batting with Gunasarasa.
So Munasinghe after taking that great catch. Gets the ball. The captain says, come on, work some more of your magic. Play that to the fielding, comes to throw, direct hit, and that could have been close for the batter. I don't know if this is a bat plug or he just has to dive in, but he does a good roll here. This is a bit of action for you. Watch the batter here. Yeah, let's have a look. It's, well, not a bat plug as such, but he loses his balance, and he goes flying over. Well, there he goes. He ends up on his feet eventually somehow. It's down the leg side. It's going to go to the boundary. The question is, is it off bat or off pad? I think it might be a bit of pad here. Let's see what the umpire signals. Yeah, leg by. Four leg bys. Just losing his line slightly. Strain down the leg side. And the again works that away beautifully. Well, that's hit pretty hard. But it hardly goes anywhere. It's good stop, I suppose. Shows no pain. Says, I'm good. No worries. I'm going to sing it. Let's watch this. He gives it a good crunch, but made a lot of noise. But not really getting any, any distance in the shot. Well, talk about distance. This will go the distance. It will go all the way. Manos. Arriba, 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 Vitro, porque eso es seis carreras. As Sivakuma gets one out of the middle of his bat. He needs to get something going here. Obviously played away. Need a partnership. These are the teams who have a look at here now. So, Rudy Vipers. Oh, they go at the top. And there was that one point there for the Seaport Kings. So they picked up a, a point in that loss. But an opportunity here for Babylonians to join the teams at the top as well. Two of his complete. Okay. At a good rate at the moment. He'll be looking to get to around about that 45 50 in the power play. Uh, they will go now back to Thaya Paran. There seems to be a really, you know, each ground you go to, it's a, a different sound you hear of when bat hits ball because of the, the environment that you're in and the the atmosphere around where you are. But here there's a big solid thud when that ball hits the willow. And it sort of rotates around the ground. And then this one's going to be an opportunity. Oh, just couldn't hold on to it. Doesn't get the balance really, the fielder. Comes in from the boundary. Gets hands to it. That's uh, Shiam. One of Saururia gets there, but he just can't hold on to it. So, we'll get an opportunity. That's a chance. That's uh, Gunarasa. Gets dropped. This one will be wide. So, remember new guidelines on the wides now. The umpires will be looking to see if that ball clearly makes no contact at all with the wide line. Short, hit hard, but straight to the fielder is another one that will go. And that's just perfect placement, really. And uh, Munasinghe is not going to drop him, is he? He's just the man who's got hot hands at the moment. And uh, Gunarasa finds him, picks him out. And Munasinghe, no mistake at all from him. The second catch he takes as he sends back the batter. Only two on the board. And Manoharan picks up the wicket. So 33 for three. There's a new bat 
Makes his way out. Gunarasa gets out there in the middle. So one Gunarasa replaces another. This is uh, Ruth Lushan. Swing and missing. Nice to see the keeper behind the stumps there, Jackson. We know all about Jackson. Action Jackson, the nickname that we have for Heavy. And I'm sure, given the opportunity, he'll show us why. All right, up in the air. This could be another one. And, oh, it's in and out of the hands of the fielder. Be disappointed. It has the time to get into position. And then tries to take it above his head. That's dropped. And Barakzai puts down the, the catch. Uh, Gunarasa gets a life. Could have been gone on zero. The fielding up until now has been pretty good. So first time we've seen some go down. Good work once again there from Jackson. That's a really good take. I mean, he gets to see this pretty late. And he's always got the batter to deal with. So he's sort of blinded, but he's quick. But that foot just stays down. So that's good work. See this again. Foot stays down. No issues at all. But good quick hands, Jackson. And over comes to an end. 34 for three. Good over. One wicket and just the four runs from that one. So I'm on a high run. Nice and tidy. And that's your power play completed. So at the moment, really, it's the... Who know Super Kings that are feeling the pressure? They need to try and get going here. Maybe a partnership is what's required. Siva Kuma, eight of six. And one of those, or six of those, is from one bounty for six. All right, Fielder's got to get down. Gets down, gets dirty, makes a good stop. And that's uh, Vunu Sanath. Gets a slide in. Balak Zai, who couldn't hold on to the catch earlier, now comes on to bowl. And well, a little bit of luck. Hay poquito de suerte. Por el batidor, porque eso es seis carreras. Well, that's a baximo. And swings hard and hits the edge of the bat. And it goes all the way over into that. Let's play cricket stronger together, Banner. Safe mass. Barakzai once again to see Vakumo. Looks to be starting to get moving here. That's a nice looking shot. Uses his feet well, but unfortunately finds the fielder. He's perfectly placed. That field here at the moment. So you've got a sweeper out there on the offside. A long off has been pushed back. Third man back on the boundary. And then two on the leg side, mid wicket, and a long on. Ooh, this one goes straight through. Expecting more bounce here. Sivakuma, I think. Doesn't get the sort of bounce he's expecting. And also gets angled into him. That's well bowled by Rugzai. Gets the ball angled in, gets a good bit of swing in there as well. Nice to see. A lot of spectators turning up at the ground as well. Plenty of room for people to come down. I believe that Dave has made his way here now as well. I'm pretty sure that uh, when Savannah came and spoke to me, that's who he was talking about. He said, there's somebody here that's uh, asking for you. And he gave me a description. I thought that must be Dave. So hello, Dave. And uh, we'll catch Dave later. Gets past the infield. It's well fielded. Bugs eye, that's a good over. 
So another pretty tidy over, 43. For three. But Dave did get here. I'm just checking to see how Dave... Obviously, so much going on here on day one. So many things to keep an eye on. That's uh, a little bit slow keeping up with the chat. I know Dave was trying to find a way to get here. But uh, he is here now. So, hello to you, Dave. I'll uh, try and get round to seeing you. I know that uh, we had a very quick change over time after that first match because of all the issues that we had. But I'm sure... I will pop over and see you a little bit later on. So good to have you here. And anyone else who can come down, come down. Yeah, I've just seen the message here from Dave. He said, apparently Rico's too busy to greet me. Oh, Dave, don't be like that. But a lot of things were going on. I will come and see you, Dave. You know I'm not like that. But it's good to have you here. And anyone else that can come down as well. Played out to the offside. Sweeper gets into play. One thing is definitely worth noticing about this ground. I mean, it's, it's like I say, the, the actual setting of it is quite beautiful and very, very tranquil. It's like right in the middle of a sort of, if you like, a, a forest clearance, but it's nice and flat. So the outfield, you couldn't say that there's a, a slope or anything to one side. It's flat either side. And certainly, it's a pleasure to watch. It's great to be here. It's a lovely location. And it looks absolutely splendid with all the marquees up as well, and the players in their areas, the scorers, sort of up on a platform, almost like on a stage. This one will be a wide. Manaharan bowling his second. And it's got a really nice feel to it. Like I said, it reminds me Back to some of the cricket that I played in sort of the, the Hertfordshire area, where it's of course very green and very lush and a lot of a lot of forest and wooden and areas. You know, you turn up to a ground in sort of a, a little country path and you think, wow, didn't know this was here. This is very much the same. It is beautiful. Great keeping there from Jackson. Makes a huge difference, doesn't it, having a keeper that can stand up and just keep the batter in his crease. Firmly struck will be a couple of bounces before it gets to the field. They want to push for the second, but no mistakes and a good arm. Certainly liking Balbinians here. They're looking as bright as their kit. Nice bright red from the Bobbian town. And that's why they call Balbinians. We have a look at our schedule here. So, of course, Portugal came to a fantastic end. Thanks to everybody there looked after us. Of course, I left before the finish. Vinny Sandu finished things off there. Vinny probably is uh, not doing too much talking today or recovering. And uh, he'll be here with us tomorrow. But what a great finish that was. Of course, we start France here. We've got ECI's action here towards the end of the two weeks we're here. we got 59 matches in this European Cricket Series over 12 days. And then the ECI's. And then... The team will move to Italy, Estonia, and of course, the first ever time we'll go to England as well, to the Wimbledon ground. Looking forward to that. And then, well, we go back where we started, to Cyprus, and a lot, lot more to come as well. Yeah, that's a good slow delivery. I think that fools everyone, including Jackson. Well, that is a hippie ball, isn't it? It's floated up there. It is right in the slot. 
And Siva Kuma says, lovely jubbly, that will do nicely. And it gets crunched, smashed away. And that's gone a long way. I think this here, it's going to be a few balls that will end up in the woods as well. I want to know what's crawling in the woods. Maybe some of the locals can tell me. I'm sure there's some nice friendly animals like deer and rabbits. I get the feeling there might be might be some wolves in there as well. If there are, I think Marzi's going to have to be on the lookout. Marzi's one of our scorers here. Hello to the crew. Sam, Mars, Neil Cash, Joe Foster and Yo. Here on the ground at the moment. Doing a great job. And well, that is as emphatic as it gets. Jog the Hotte! Well, if there's one way to get a wicket, that's the way to do it. And uh, Prithev has knocked out the middle stump. D delightful. Well, this is a bowler's joy. Look at that. It cartwheels out of the ground. There is no better pleasure for a bowler. Very little celebration from Prithev. I'm not sure why. I tell you what, if I'm bowling that... I'm knocking the stumps over and knocking it out of the ground like that. I'm going to be pretty ha happy, especially when it's the wicket of Siva Kuma as well. He we was sticking around, wasn't he? But no more. He'll go for 23 of 18 deliveries. Cleaned up. Emphatically there. But Pritev. Well, what a delivery. New batter now comes out to face the music. Okay, just sneaks this one in. Well bowled. So, Pritav Thiagarajan. Good start from him. Liking his variations as well. Okay, down the ground. Hits pretty straight. This is going to go all the way. It does. So, finishes with a six. That's it. Well, Pitav figures doubled with just one shot. 12 off it, but he does pick up the important wicket of Fibakuma. And that means that after six overs, 60. Four wickets. Now they're on course for that 100th score. But I think from what we've seen already, it is uh, this bit for me. I mean, the way I'm looking at this, I reckon it's, uh, it's very similar maybe to what we were seeing score-wise in Portugal. Maybe it's a 130 par. The bowlers, I mean, I'm not seeing the the ball frightening anyone. In in other words, I think the, the quick bowlers, they will get some joy from it if you bowl a good length. But I don't think it's one where digging the ball in short is going to get you too much success. I think you've got to bowl a good line and length on it. It doesn't look to be that lively. I don't think there's anything that's going to surprise you as a batter with the ball coming on. If, if anything, that might be the other way around. The surprise might be the ball maybe not quite coming on. Just staying a bit lower. Oh, Wanakula Saraya coming on to bowl and he just gets told to hold up a minute as the captain decides wants to make a little bit of a field change. Are we ready to go? In he comes. Oh, beats him inside out. Wants to give himself a little bit of room, doesn't he? That's Gunhasa. Probably would have been better to go the other way and just try to clip this away. Bowling with a fair bit of pace. Great take, really good take. And Jackson, just like the technique here from Jackson, because he has to take, oh, he's got a lot of ground to cover, but he's not going to do it if he doesn't take that step. So takes a step and then, yeah, leaps across. Action, Jackson in the action, makes a stop. The wide, but I mean, that could have been worse. That could have gone all the way and would have gone all the way down to the boundary if it weren't for the stop. Oh, crunched high in the air. 
Two fielders coming to try and get there. They won't. And just drops short. It doesn't really get the the bottom hand into the shot. Skies it up. It doesn't get any distance. Back to his mark as the oh, the umpire says, Let me have a bat. Oh, man, we chance to do it. Let me show the mark as I get the hook. Umpires for this one. Par a thief. And all of a sudden, he has. How's that, says Niaz? And a thief says, That's fine. Good to have a thief out there. Also, the president of this Grew Cricket Ground. And part of the national team selectors as well. And knows he's cricket. And he'll know that that one is going to be another wide. So he's letting himself down just a little bit here. Oh, Anakula Soraya. He's uh, got good pace, but he's just falling. His body just seems to be just tilting away. He needs to just stay a little bit more upright when he follows through. Now, Jeffrey Bob's just saying, did I enjoy my break? I did. Thank you very much. And ask him about the wicket. I will find out. I mean, I'm suspecting it's another one that goes down the leg side. And this time the batters will take the extra as well. So two wides. Just can't get it right. Yeah, I mean, I've been out there, Jeffrey. And what I will say is I don't, don't think it's definitely not concrete base. I reckon it's the sand gravel. And certainly got a little bit of the... The underlay there as well because it's uh, it's got that little bit of spring to it. But I will, I'll find out for certain and let you know. I'll probably have a chat with Asif, who's out there at the moment, and will let me know. Savannah, the CEO, is here as well. I know Savannah very well from when he was been doing some coaching for France as well, and he was uh, the main coach for the French team, and also was involved heavily with the the women's team as well. Chris Miff letting us know there's another storm in England. Well, Chris, you can keep it as Jackson in the action again. This time, I think he takes this on the leg. This one doesn't really come up. Why don't we get a chance to see this again? He's putting, he's got a bit of a dead leg. There's no protection up there. Mm, let's just watch this one. Yeah, it's, it tries to get the glove onto it because it doesn't quite carry. But it ends up cracking him on the leg. He'll give it a rub. Yeah, come on. You're all right. No problems. Look at that. It's all cool. Yeah, you can have the rain, Chris Smith. We don't want it. We had enough of that rain in Portugal. Thank you very much. It, I needed to get back to Spain in the sunshine to thaw out and dry off. So, well, think about it. It's a good shout not to... Trying to make something happen here, aren't they? Trying to get a move on. Just not working for them at the moment. Started well, 18 of the first four deliveries, but then, of course, then after that, it was two wickets. And just keep an eye on Kumaran as well. I mean, when he does come on to bowl, he will be on that hat-trick. That's the end of the over. So we have a look, at, of course, at the, the draw of the groups for ECC. And, uh, that, of course, was last year's. But we have, I know we have the draw for this year, and it's going to be slightly different because we have the ECC X and ECC. So ignore that one unless you want to go back and see what happened last year. They always try to stretch me up on the first day, you know. I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching. Bonjour to Terry Richmond as well. Yeah, the first over went for 18. This is uh, Munasinghe. Coming back on to bowl this eighth over. 
All right, up in the air. Once again, I think it won't go to hand. Gets it over the infield. Think about two again. There they Sort of a hesitate. I think it's the one you either decide you're going for it or not. So the power play score was 34. The halfway point, 48. Oh, well, this one has taken off, and I reckon that when you see this side on, this is probably over the head. It has been called wide by a Sieves. Just watch this one. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Well, remember I was saying I haven't really seen anything that's taken off on this pit so far. Maybe I was saying it's going to be a little bit docile. Well, maybe not. I want to think it's certainly got that one to go. Now the slower one. Taking it on. Can't pick it up cleanly. If you could, maybe a chance for a run out. That's uh, Barak Zai. A nice full delivery. Gets played out. A little oh, ticky tacker at the moment, isn't it? We did see that in over, over six from Pritav, there was couple of sixes in that over and that was after it was a good 10 balls without a boundary and then well we haven't now seen a boundary since the end of the the sixth over and this is another one big swing they're trying but not quite happening that's Munasinge just another single and so you're gonna have to start to have a look at these two batters here I mean Gunarasa is now 10 of 13 balls and Azim 8 of 6. So you just get the feeling here that somebody else has probably got to go out there and make something happen. That's been well hit, but unfortunately straight to the field. A bit of a full toss from the bowler, Munazinge. But he gets away with it. It's the end of the over. No boundaries from it. Just the six runs. There we go. This is the new one, the latest. So you can see that split in two because you have, first of all, ECCX. So this is like the, let's just say that to the right, we have Division 1. To the left, you have Division 2. So that will be first. Those teams will do battle. And just remember, the, the top two from that will go into the main ECC, which is the one on your right there. So you can see plenty of good teams, plenty of action, and a lot of people... Already talking about Group D maybe being the group of death. England, of course, the reigning champions. They will be straight in Championship Week. Oh, this one, I wonder if that's it. Oh, that's going to be out. That's great work. Excellent work from the bowler, about Zai. I'm not sure if the first one was a, a catching opportunity or whether it was bump. We'll see that again. But he does really well. He sees that the non-striker, Azim, is well out of his crease. And he runs him out. This could be a blessing, though. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's a bump. It gets a hand to it. And a non-striker, yeah, he's nowhere, is he? And that's a problem. They've had to run for everything. So as soon as Bull hits the bat, he thinks, yeah, let's go. Azim stranded. And Abalak Zai does the right thing. Composes himself. Gets the run out. And like I say, these two weren't exactly getting great guns. So that run out of Azim could be a good thing. He was... Eight or six deliveries. Can they make something happen here? Gunarasa, though, for me, just I think he chewed up too many deliveries. 15 balls for 11. You've got to be thinking about maybe retiring him. He is trying, though. It's just one of those, you know, it happens. We've seen this so many times on the European Cricket Network. How batters can be so different from one innings to another. And here at the moment, you can see that Gunarasa just can't get anything going. Chris Smith just updated me on the weather there in England. Not too much rain at the moment, but very windy. Taking it on, a good direct hit could be an issue, but once again, this time it was Monoharan coming in. 
couldn't pick the ball up. So they do get another single, but it's not singles they need. Remember at the six over point, they're on 60, so they're going at the maybe expected score around 100. But things since then have really slowed down. And that's another wicket. It's a old, good old fashioned slog from Gunarasa. And his innings comes to an end. A painful one, really, for him. He just couldn't get anything going, even when he hit it well. Couldn't find the boundary. Always found the fielder. And this time he goes for a, a wild slosh. And the bowler gets the ball full of straight. And Malik Zai picks up the wicket, the second in the over. Remember, the first ball was the run out that he was instrumental in. Now he removes the stumps there of Gunarasa. We'll go for. Well, a, a painful 12 of 17. And now we've got two new batters out there. It's uh, Mahadevan and Sitharan. See if uh, they can get anything going. Into the deck, and once again, no run. Mark Zai, his spell has been good, kept the score down. Tharumum, Tharuma Kulasingam. There you go. People thinking I can't say these names, you know. Tharuma Kulasingam. Oh, works this one away. He'll get a single. And I'm going to go for Ambika Tharuripan. It's a name that I definitely haven't seen before. Big names, eh? Big names. I reckon we're just fitting them in on our graphics, by the way. End of the over. 76 for six. And let's just say that they probably did better in the five over match than they did in this one with the batting. They got just this score in the five over. 76 for three. But they needed their captain. See if a Thiran, 33 or 16. And with him going early in this one after hitting the first four balls through a boundary... And they've uh, just never really recovered from that. Okay. Srithran needs to get going here. Well, that's hit straight. Well, that's an, that's an umpire killer. It really is, and that's when the umpire has to be quick on his feet or off him. And he has to be a quick mover. And that's Niaz. Well, there you go. He's smiling now. Is Niaz. Look at that. Yar, meri ke maar de mein ki kitta. Ah, dekh la goli aagi. Ah, la goli khala. And he gets down quickly, and he does well. Oh, well, this is why you always got to be alert. And, well, you see, Niaz has still got his reflexes. A boundary. Long time coming. This one gets shoveled out onto the leg side. And well, off balance, gets the throw in. Keeping it just to a single. Okay, now. And Mahadevan do the same. Get a boundary. We're in the, we're in the grady 80s. Can they, can they push into a, a 90 score? Just moving too far down the leg side. We see this one more time. You can see he's trying to give himself a little bit of room, isn't he? Is Mahadeva. Look, he takes a step away. And then the bowler says, thank you very much. And just keep it full and straight. And gets a little bit of movement away. So one of Kulosuriya. Oh, and he knocks out the middle peg. Beautifully bowled, a slower delivery, but nice and full. Ah, dekh lo kitta swad aage ke nahi. Puri delivery, full and straight. Jaga de patte, danda bar kar ke rakhe deta. Kinni soni bowling, beautifully done. As another one bites the dust, and they don't come any better than that. So one of Kulasuraya is the destroyer. As there goes the stump.
There's not the first. And it won't be the last time we see that. And look at the way the bales come off there in a beautiful symmetrical formation as well. Seventh wicket goes. And that's just an absolute beauty. So, well, Srithan, at least he did come out there. He did get a boundary away. Didn't chew up too many deliveries. But he got a beauty there. You better. Uh, tries to give himself some room. Needs to go the other way, doesn't he? Go the other way. And if you're making no contact and you don't hit, you get the wide at least. The cloud just coming over. The wind's just picked up. And uh, hopefully we'll get no rain. There's no forecast of rain here today, though it was a little bit of a, a cloudy, clouded mix, a mix of cloud and Sunday. Uh, same again, you see, he's just going the wrong way this time, though, Jackson. Hobbling a little, probably still from the one that caught him earlier. Yeah, that wind certainly just started to pick up, and you can certainly, because where we are, when the wind picks up, you hear it and you know about it, because you can see all the trees moving around. And that concludes this innings. It will finish on 82 for seven so never really got going it's only the first sort of few overs where it looked like the super kings might get to a 100 plus score they were on course for that around about this the the halfway point but then they just fell away and they'll be pretty disappointed with the last four overs because only scoring 22 runs off the last four they just weren't able to get boundaries away but the captain is probably the key man isn't he while he's out there things happen he came out and he hit uh, four boundaries more or less on the spin but then he got out to that it was a really good catch sharp catch to remove uh, uh, Sunavithran and once he went really and that was a re really good catch there taken by Arun once he went they never really got going the wickets kept falling and uh, this one is a single that they took riskily, but there was too many singles. That one was off the pads. It was a nicely sort of stroked away, but Siva Kuma, after playing some nice shots, he would then give East Wicket away once again to a good catch. And the catching, has to be said, in most of the time was pretty good. And this one went a long way up. This is one that got away out of the hands. And it was one that uh, Barakzai wasn't able to take, but Barakzai certainly made amends for it with the ball. He bowled a really good spell. That. It was an absolute beaut, really, from Pitev. Just full, straight, and knocking out the stumps. Beautifully bold. And well, this was Balak time when he came back on. Uh, not only did he get that run out in this over, that was good work from him. He actually kept his cool, kept his composure. But uh, we did then also see him get a second wicket. And the ball just coming back in, nipping back in, and uh, knocking Aguna Rasas stumps over and gonna rasa well he had a not the best of times there and well the umpire he's seen better days doesn't he in the as that rocket went flying towards him but then we saw the rocket destroy the stumps at the other end a little bit of dynamite action as the stumps were smashed out of the ground and it didn't really get any better for the super kings who'll be disappointed about the way they've gone about their batting in this one. Certainly was looking forward to some more explosive batting from them, but you've got to give credit with you as uh, Balbinians, they did bowl and field very well. Only one score, a significant score there really, 23 of Suvikuma, but it took him 18 balls to get there. Uh, Suvith Haran, 18 of 5 from the captain, but when he went, he knew they would struggle and they did struggle. Uh, 82 they finish with. So 83 will be required for Balbi Neons here. This is the bowler scorecard. Kumaran, he never came back for a second over. Remember, his last two deliveries were wickets. So he was on a hat trick, but he wasn't called upon. I suppose not needed, but you thought he would have been given an opportunity to maybe try and get that hat trick. But all the bowlers, I think, bowl very well. And they were all led out there by the captain, KG Vithu. Well, that's the mid-match summary. We're going to leave you now for about 10 minutes' time, but we'll be right back for the reply from Babylonians who are looking 
to notch up their first win on the European Cricket Network as well. And Super Kings, though, they don't want to go down here again. But we'll also have a look at the bonus point equation. But one thing I will say here, that the Balmineans definitely have a chance here to try and pick up all the points. Join us back in about 10 minutes' time.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Greetings, cricket lovers, and welcome to France. The umpire Sassif and Niaz lead the teams back out for the completion of match number two. The Vilna of Super Kings, they have had a bat, but it wasn't a, a super performance really from them. As we have a look at the bonus point equation, and for them to pick up a bonus point, well, you can see that they've got to restrict their opponents to 57 or less to pick up all the points. But really, for me, I think this is an opportunity for their opponents, uh, Balbinians, to get all the points here if they can chase this score down in seven overs or less. I remind you that uh, that target is 83. And, uh, let's see how they go about it, but certainly you'd expect them to, to go for it uh, straight away. It's the first time that we've seen them as well, so we get a chance to see what their batting strength is like. Certainly one thing from the Villeneuve Super Kings, it seems like that the top three really are key for them, particularly their captain. And if he fires, then they could go into big runs. That's uh, Suva Hithran, but he wasn't able to click in the bat this time. And as a result of that, they don't get a big score on the board. And that wind just picking up a bit, some more cloud cover coming over. We'll keep our fingers crossed that we get no rain here. All right, here we go. It's Pira Bakaran to bowl the first. And he's going to start with uh, a pretty wide delivery here. I think the umpires will call it a wide, and he was uh, that wide as well. The umpire there stretching as far as he could. Pira Bakaran. Needing a few breakthroughs early on here. Okay, that's a good looking shot, but there's a fielder out there and they take the catch. It's going to be a golden duck. It's not quite a royal duck because the wide was bowled before, but it's a first baller for Jasuhan. And he finds the safe hands. Well, crocodile style maybe, but the catch has been taken. Look at those snappers as uh, Jad Husan will go and he'll go for a golden well the duck Derek has arrived here in France and of course I know that uh, the French they have a very good uh, confit de canard which is a slow cooked duck and uh, well that's probably one that will go into the pot so that's the start they wanted get the breakthrough get a breakthrough early and they do Tetusan will go well caught and all right like I said it may be worth a little bit of the croc style but uh, Gunharasa holds on to it and that's that slower delivery just holds the pace back gets a little bit of a way swing but uh, Aruna does get off the mark okay now chance for have it other than Jackson to face his first okay Peter Baccarat well that's hit hard and it's going to clear the fielder as well six runs from Jackson it was in the slot and Jackson doesn't hold back. I mean, it's a risky one, I suppose, first up. When you got a man back there long off. But, uh, well, he clears uh, Mohamed Izim quite comfortably. Two men that are back here are, at the moment, on the offside. Long off. That got cleared there by Jackson. And a man on the point boundary. And Jackson gets one that's banged in shorter at him. Try drive this. Says Pira Bakaran. And this time Jackson just fends this one off. And this one. Once again, that swing comes into play, just leaving Jackson, who gets drawn into the shot. Peter Bakaran. Yeah, that's a good delivery, isn't it? 
and gets that moving away. It's almost like the the more he's holding it back, the more the ball is doing. You try and push it through, the ball doesn't tend to move around or swing around much. A few people asking, Confit the canard here. It's a slow cooked duck. And uh, that will have the meat so tender that it just literally falls off. Now that's this one. I think it stays. The umpire's going to call this one. Be worth having a look at this again. Now remember, the new regs that we have is that the ball, all of the ball, must pass that line. And yeah, okay, umpire's call for me. Umpire deciding that it moves too much and doesn't catch any of the line. Wide called. Played into the deck, wants to take on the field, and they will, they'll take the single. It's the end of the first over, and it's a probably, I suppose, even Stevens may be here at the moment. And, uh, 10 does come off it, but they do take that one wicket. So, not the worst of starts. Computer Baccarat, remember, matches into golden ball. The one, and that's the one that we had here earlier. A five over a side between the Super Kings and the Vipers. Golden ball came to an end, or the run of golden matches since the golden ball came to an end yesterday in the final in Portugal. What a match it was as well. I want to finish. Marlo beating Gamblers. Marlo once again, the champions of Portugal. Thumped, hard hit, and nobody's fetching this one. That's six runs. Has gained all the way from the moment he makes contact as Jackson. A bit too short. But you can see the outside of his crease, he's waiting. He's well balanced. And keeps the head nice and straight. It's a good hit. So early pressure for Pathip Gunarasa. That one will be a wide. Couple of Gunarasas in the side. This is Prathip Gunarasa. Rithrushan Gunarasa are in the side as well. Pitched up, and it's a good shot to play in this power play. And it did have a long off back to Parabakaran, but the bowler here deciding that he wants a bit more protection out there behind this sort of point they got point and backward point back which means that the hit straight down the ground is if you get it right is always gonna be to your benefit if you're the batter and this one's gonna be another wide call by the umpire they're just going a little bit too wide yeah going back to that duck it was once a method of preserving meat or vegetables before of course the existence of refrigerators but uh, it has now become one of the most famous French food preparation methods. The confit process produces juicy tender meat with a crispy skin. And that gets worked away. And it's going to be six more. As this is a little shovel swivel shot for six. So watch this. Just onto it quickly. And that's the key. Gets into position early. Gets the swivel in. Gets plenty off it. And with all, well, when I say all, with the two men allowed outside the 30-yard circle on the offside, that's always a safe shot to play. So the bowler's got to get it right here. Gunarasa, he gets it wrong. He's in trouble. And coming around the wicket, he's just making this an easy one. And that will go all the way as well. Bole, bole, bole. Ginna sauna. Well, that is sweeter than a chocolate souffle that you get here in France. What a shot. And, well, Action Jackson is, uh, well, keeping up to his name at the moment, isn't he? And gets smashed away as well. Remember, if they can do this for the completion of seven overs, they get all the points. That one's uppish. But uh, that point fielder moved back on the boundary, so no chance for the catch. At least this one was outside the off, though. Okay, Aruna. up. 
Paramanguru Aruna now on strike. Only facing his second delivery. And well, that one will get punched away to the boundary as well. Not good bowling, really. We've mentioned this a lot of times with bowlers that are bowling right arm around the wicket. Unless they get the ball to go well across the right-hander, it becomes just an easy hit. And that's what Aruna does there. Four more to him and the two overs. And it's 39 for one. That over going magical. One short of being supersonic. 29 come from it. And uh, Balbinion's well on their way here. Playing there first. Match on the European Cricket Network. Exciting, isn't it? And uh, it's almost like when we first started on the network and we first started going to places and we never knew the players or the teams. Feels a bit like that coming here for the very first time. Two teams, of course, we do know. Dre and Paris University Club, but all the others are new. No run this time. The point gets moved back. So this time now they've gone back to the sweeper on the offside and long off on the boundary. There's Azim has the ball. Down the ground, and that's six runs. Beautifully hit. Clean, crisp strike of the board. Jackson moves to 36 of 11. And it seems to be every time the ball is pitched up, it gets punished. And Azim just becomes another bowler that gets carted to the boundary by Jackson. So 38 in 46 balls, but more important, they're after all the points here. No third back. So Chase is the wide. Probably a genuine thick edge here. And at the moment, you can see that... Uh, the captain, uh, Sunitha Kumaran, is having a few issues of where he wants the field to be set. And Jackson, if he gets pitched up, he's hitting straight, so he's tempted to have him straight. He's hit a few outside the off as well, but by still in the power play, only two can go back, and he's gone once again for long off, and the sweeper on the offside, so any width, Jackson is going to swing hard. And this is on the leg side, he misses out on this one. No run. Just tries to hit this one too hard rather than just work it around. You can see him just practicing it there. He just needed really just to, to get his wrist into play. And a little touch on that with the field as it is. Nobody back on the leg side. That would have been four runs. It's a better delivery. From Azim. Once again, got that little bit of that slingy action. And the beats the batter outside the off. See there, 34 25 balls for the bonus point. So that's well in their grasp. And this one is going to split the field as well. And I reckon that goes all the way. Six runs. Manos arriba, arriba, arriba. Burgueso with seis mass. Uh, just gets it right, but hits it dead straight. And, yep, safe mass. And Jackson moves to 46, end of the over. And the power play, a good one, 55 for one. So, Balminions, it's a good start from them. So the Super Kings, they need something to happen here. Remember, they lost the first match. It was, uh, unfortunately, a shortened match. Five overs aside against the uh, Greeny Vipers. They made a good fight of it, but the Vipers really batted them out of it, scoring 99 in their five overs. Super Kings got to 76 for three. We thought we were going to see better from them in this contest when they had the full quota of 10 overs, but they never really clicked, did they? And now they're in danger of picking up no points at all from this match. Bit of spin. And just intelligently played. I think at the moment here that uh, Paramguru Aruna just has to keep Jackson on strike. He's just playing. He's playing the right way at the moment. And Bikai Parithpan, the bowler, we'll just say Mahadevan. His name is so long, we can't even get it on the graphics. 
Some long names here. Okay, scuffs it, Jackson. May think about two, but Puda comes in quickly off the boundary. That's uh, Peter Bakaran. Short. And this one also will go for six, and that's hit flat and hard. And Jackson brings up his half century in 16 deliveries. Well batted indeed. That's 52 in just 16 balls. Absolutely blasted. Well, this time just gets picked away. Just apologies there. Just leave the graphics there again. That, of course, wasn't Jackson. Jackson goes on strike here now. We'll get that updated for you. That was uh, Aruna who hits that big one down the ground. All right, here is now Jackson who whips it away nicely. And take the single. There we go. All sorted now. So Arun thumps one down the ground, gets back on strike as well. You can see he's a, it's a big old unit. Short and misses out on this one. It again goes for a little bit of extra oomph in the shot. And we're really just any, any bat on it would have done the job. Uh, over comes to an end. 65 for one. Remember looking to looking to win this inside the seven overs to take all the points and be the well the team that will go straight to the top of the standings. They'll overtake the Guni Vipers, who we will see in action. They're gonna be playing the next match. They're taking on a Royal 94. Floated up. So just play down the ground so just well in control I mean a run a ball from here on in that gets them the the bonus point they don't have to do too much okay miss Q maybe a chance oh he doesn't go for the catch you gotta go for these I think the bowler knows it you got to be trying to go for this I think that was uh, Mohamed Azim who backs out from it. Okay, Jackson on 49. And he'll do it in style. Boom. Shakalaga. Raise your bat in the air. Aladdin Jackson gets a half century. 55. And he does it pretty quickly as well. You see the second half century here on day one. Of the European Cricket Series in France, we saw Duli Pala Chowdhury score 65 of 18 for the Greeny Vipers earlier. And now we've seen Jackson do it as well. That's played nicely. Out on the offside. We'll take a single. Gunarasa. Well, I think about the single, but this time not on. So just nine needed now. And they'll be looking to get those in the next two overs. The end of the over. Some of the upcoming events. Oh, of course, we just started day one of France, the first time the European Cricket Network's been here. And then after France, we go to Italy. We have the Medina Cup that will also be played here at this beautiful ground. Uh, we've got the European Cricket Series, ECI's uh, women's and ECI men's in Estonia. And uh, plenty of action in Netherlands, T20 internationals, as well as the domestic uh, league being played there. And we'll learn who will be representing the Netherlands in the European Cricket League as well, the winners of that domestic series.
It's a nice looking shot. Uh, uses his feet well and plays that away. Jackson. And just a little clip onto the leg side. So not trying to do anything crazy here. Don't really have to. So give a big up their first victory. Uses his feet. Doesn't quite get to the pitch, but gets committed to play the shot. They'll take one and take it on the throw of the field. It's a good throw, and I think this could be out, you know. I think we're going to have a look at this, but I reckon this could be gone. It's a really good throw. It's right into the hands of the fielder. And I think the bowler here has got his man. And Mahadevan, he looks pretty comfortable. In comes the throw. And just keep an eye on the bat here. It's still in the air, still in the air. The bail's come off there. Yeah, he's long gone. And that's a great bit of fielding. And then, well, the, the slip and fall afterwards. But that's not going to help you. So Aruna is going to be going. Down he goes, and that is a genuine bat plug. See the way the bat sort of plugs in the ground there. And look at that. I like the appeal. I like your style. Um, hold Evan. They get the wicket. They get a breakthrough. But uh, I think it's all happened a little bit too late. But a good little knock. A good little partnership. Remember these two. They came together with the score just on one. Yeah, that was a wide. And the Jetsu Hunt went go for a golden duck. But then after that, a nice partnership. Jackson plays his away, trying to get in the gap. Fielder coming across, and in the end, I think he does make a really good stop here. We'll see this again, but I reckon he saves this. Gets the dive in. I like that. Look, even when you know it's probably your last course, the match is done. Good standards. Gets the touch on it, makes the save, stops the cap cane over for four as well. That's very impressive. So, well done. Good work. No run. So, well, been made to work for it. Been made to work for it. 79 for two. Six servers completed. Let's have a look at that scorecard. So Jackson leading the way. 60 of 26 deliveries. Albanians, we will see them in action. Uh, they will play two more matches today. They'll play Royal 94, team we'll see in the next match. And they will also play the Greeny Vipers. The very last match of the day, match number five. Short, down the ground, hit hard, hit straight, and that's going to be four runs. Cuatro Carreras. And uh, with that, I think that should be the end of the match. That's the four you need. It's done, it's dusted, it's going to be a win. And all the points will be going to Balbi Niels here. Scorers will just confirm with the umpires that he's done and dusted and the handshakes already. And it will be Aladdin Jackson who puts in a fine display with the bat after doing some wonderful work behind the stumps as well. So handshakes all around. Well done. To Pavilions with the, the win here. Let's have a look at what's coming up next. And you can see there that uh, Green Vipers, after getting a good win early this morning, that five over a side match. Chowdhury, he's the one to watch, isn't he? 65 of 18. Good to see them back in action. And their captain, Devat, will be hoping that'll be another victory for them. And they're up against oh, another new team, Royal 94. And uh, I think uh, Joseph Tharoon 
will be hoping that his boys won't be too camera shy and can turn on the style when they're out there. Let's take a look at the highlights. And uh, no, the Balbi Neons, you thought that they had that early scare, didn't you, with that wicket falling. Jeth Hussan went for a golden duck and it was one for one with the only score on the board being the wide. But then Jackson came out, he smashed his first ball for six. Then after that, he just never looked back. It was a, a wonderful knock from him. Hitting balls all around the ground as well. And one thing on the bowler side, I suppose, when you haven't got too many runs on the board, you can't afford to give away too many extras as well. Just a, a few, few wide, just four really. Other than that, they were quite tidy. But really, I think Jackson, he sensed the opportunity to get his team all the points, and he would do that as well. Uh, this was a nice moment there towards the end. A good run out and a really good bit of fielding as uh, we saw Aruna would eventually have to go. But it wouldn't make any difference to the contest. This is a great bit of fielding as well. I did like that. Even though, you know, the match is gone from you. You see Peter Bakaran never gave up. And then another boundary there right towards the end from Jackson and getting the win for his side. So well done to Balbinians. They play their first match and get their victory as well. Up against this summer Super King side that just never really clicked with the bat. We'll take a look at the scorecard here. So well done to Jackson, 60, not out of 26 deliveries. And uh, Haruna, well, he would go run out for 15. Great bit of work there, actually, from uh, Sirith Tharan. A great throw to get the wicket there. And then, well, the captain came out and hit the winning runs for his side. And he starts, they start their European Cricket Series with a win. Next up, of course, we've got another match coming up. That's coming up. We've got uh, around about 25 minutes now and uh, before the start of the Vipers taking on Royal 94. Quick look at the bowling figures. I think uh, Peter Baccarat didn't bowl too badly, but really just not enough runs on the ball there. You saw two overs were bowled there by Mahadevan. He went for 15. So they can be pretty happy with their bowling display, like I say. They tried to, tried to avoid uh, giving up all the points, but it wasn't possible in the end. And just never really had too many runs on the board. And they came up against Action Jackson, who was in good form. So going to leave you with the match summary. Uh, we are right back on time now. The next match, the Greeny Vipers taking on Royal 94 happening in 23 minutes time join me Rika Full and the rest of the ECN gang when we return hasta pronto mi familia
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Welcome back to this magnificent cricket ground in Drew. We are about an hour away from Paris. This is the central northern part of Spain and it's absolutely beautiful. You can see this ground surrounded by some beautiful views as well. Match number three, well we welcome back the Greeny Vipers. They started the day with a good win. It was a five over a side but they beat the Super Kings and watch out for Chowdhury. He was absolutely superb. Taking on a new team here and it is Royal 94. Royal 94, or oh, welcome to them. I wish them well in their first match on the European Cricket Network and I'm sure that their captain, Joseph Theroux, is hoping that some of his stars can perform here as well. I, once again, will join you after the coin toss in the commentary box. But for now, let's join the two captains and, of course, the tournament referee, Charles Croucher, for the all-important coin toss. Royals 94 to call. Head. Heads is the call. And it's a tail. We're going to bat first. Bat first. Cool. Good luck. Hello viewers and welcome back. Thank you once again to Charles Scratcher out in the middle with the captain, so Greeny Vipers. They will have a bat first. They played the first match here earlier today, the very first match that we saw in France in the European Cricket Series, and it was the Vipers that were victorious then. It was a 5 0 result with a few technical issues this morning getting things going on time, but it was uh, uh, Dulipala Chowdhury, 65 of 18 that helped his team to get a victory, scoring 99 in the five overs. And well, the Vilna Super Kings said it didn't start well in the day for them. They lost that one, a good chase from them. 76 for three, they did get a point in that one, but of course in that last match, they didn't pick up any points at all. This is the fantasy dashboard. So I think once again, Chowdhury will be the one to watch again. And uh, the captain, Deva, will be hoping that uh, it'll be an opportunity this time for one or two of his other batters, maybe to get a play in as well. Nasseri, keep an eye on him as well. I think a bit of an all-rounder with bat and ball, and uh, very good in the field as well. That's one thing that the Vipers did as well in the field. They took some good catches when they had to. And Royal 94, well, it's looking forward to seeing them. Always great to see new players on the network. And Joseph Tharoon will be hoping that uh, his guys can go out there and click well. First thing they've got to do is bowl well and try to contain. And no surprises that the Vipers are slightly favourites to go on and win this one, 57% of 43, purely probably because they've already been out there, they've had a taste of it, and they're going to win under their belt as well. But I think Raw 94 will be looking, maybe, to cause a little bit of an upset. Welcome to you, wherever you are around the world, tuning in. Namaste, salam alaikum, sasriya kaal, aibo one, vanakam, and welcome to France, yes! We are in France, in northern central France. Uh, Drew, just an hour west of Paris on the boundary with Normandy. So, a welcome. Of course, we are in France, the home of the Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower, but also red wine, cheese, snails, and much, much more. And even Ratatouille, of course. We've all seen the movie. And, uh, well, we all know that is a pretty tasty dish as well. Or maybe we will have some food chat perhaps a little bit later on. But for now... Let's join the two umpires out there in the middle. It will be umpire Atif and Asif that will be out there in the middle. Niaz this time round is the third umpire as we get ready to go. And uh, just to remind you, the news from the middle was that the Greeny Wipers will be having a bat first and they're looking to make a good positive start here. And if they bat anything like they did in the first five overs of that match, against the Super Kings. Well, they could be putting on a big score here. Update on the weather. The sun, we did have plenty of sunshine earlier in the day, but uh, more cloud now than sun. Bit of breeze around. A few people were asking the question, was it really five degrees this morning? Yeah, it was around eight o'clock. It was still five degrees. So it was a chilly start. And uh, Hello to Dave. I have seen Dave now. Dave uh, was saying I was too busy to see him earlier. Naughty Dave. But, yeah, I uh, made time. I sacrificed my lunch to go over to see Dave. But I grabbed an apple and a banana on the way back. So I'll be all right. But great to have Dave here. And uh, he's uh, sat. I think Dave was saying he was thinking about having a bit of biryani. But it was a little bit too spicy for him. You need to bring some yogurt with you tomorrow, Dave. Some yogurt. 
And a bit of cucumber. Yeah, there's Dave in the chat saying he just met me. And it was great to see Dave as well. All right, let's get ready to go. It's uh, going to be a Logis Augustine to bowl the first. Starts wide. It's in the air. He's going to get lucky. The batter, is he? Yeah. It's going to be Cuatro Carreras. Ay, ay, ay. Poca suerte for Mehri. As he swings hard as a Samuela. And, yeah, for a moment there, he thought, oh, no, but he gets plenty of it. And he will go for four. So four of the very first. Though, a lucky four has to be said. All right, well, this one is going to fly over the man who's at third. There's nothing he can do about it. He's on the boundary. And I'm just noticing that with this win, just as that ball went up in the air, I was following the ball and I caught the wind in the trees there and all blowing in the direction that the ball was flying in. So that one, definitely a wind-assisted six. So four and six from Samuela. It has to be said, he hasn't found the middle of that bat yet. And if the middle goes as good as the edges, well, I tell you what, he could be in for a big score. Samuela. All right, chain in the field. So third stays back, and they put a backward point in as well, expecting more to be going in that direction. But still, you've got two close catching. And this one is a swing and a miss. Just looking at this field here now, I think you've got... I'm, Trying to have a look around. Let me just see. I think, unless I'm seeing things, I see just one on the leg side. Uh, asking the question, and the umpire says not out. Yeah, there's just one fielder on the leg side. I don't think I've ever seen that. They've got everybody out on the off. So let's just double check. Hang on a minute. There's a new batter now, so... Let's see if the same field is deployed to the left-hander. As you can see, well, that's a... Belbians in the background. They're pretty happy after the win. Right, two on the leg side here at the moment. Well hit, but well fielded. This is Thivain. Thivain Manik Pohl, one of two brothers in the side. And Dushan also in the side. Hello to them both. Dushan, the older brother. This one's going to be called a wide. It's a good leave in the end. From Thivain. So seven and two field at the moment, seven out on the offside. Third is back. Just loses his run up here. Yeah, third back and you got backward point on the boundary as well. So Augustine gonna be focusing on keeping that ball outside the off. Yeah, and he's doing that pretty well at the moment. It's another wild swing from Sivan this time. And it comes at the end of the over. He's recovered well, hasn't he? He's been very unlucky. Augustine, really, there, I have to say. Remember both the boundaries that were scored there from Samuel and none of them out in the middle of the bat. So 12 without loss. Logesh. Not a bad over from him. Warm welcome to everybody on the chat. And uh, Dave is saying going to try and sort his travel out. Well, I'll see who if there's anybody that's coming your way, Dave, from the centre of Drew. Otherwise, you're going to get your hiking boots on, Dave. Maybe see if you can get any of those, uh, you know, those 
got to say, torrid electric little scooters that get left around everywhere. Maybe one of them, Dave. I can see you on one of those. Going through the fresh country year and the country roads in one of those scooters. And taking on the field and yeah, they'll get there. The running's been good, it has to be said, from all the teams. They're not shy in running. They've been running hard. And there's the field now that changes. Liking the colours, I have to say, of a Royal 94, the yellow and the green. So far, the colours have been all very contrasting. Greeny Vipers have got their sort of sky blue, two shades of blue, the sky and the, the sort of navy blue. And more bold again. So just uh, Devan is trying to give himself a bit of room down the leg side to play these shots, but looks like that short of a length delivery is one that he's just not getting to grips with at the moment. See, he's giving himself so much room. A little nod of appreciation from the keeper as well. That's uh, Logaran Athithan. Okay, that's firmly hit. You see, the, it's all about the length. So this one's a bit straighter. It's short. And Thivane this time says, yeah, I'm having that one. And he gives it a good clobber. So four runs. That make him feel a little bit better after swinging and missing at a few. And that's all about the line. It's got to be bowling to where the field is here. So, Sajith run. Come on, Saji, come on, Saji. Get it back on. Yeah, that's better. And it just takes a bit of the pace off there as well. Dave is saying he's been his helicopter. Yeah, that's a possibility. But it's good to see Dave and anyone else that's uh, in the area. Or fancy coming down, it'd be great to see you. That one probably will be a wide. No, just tries to sneak that in. Wide is signalled. It's a, a tiff. The umpire. I mentioned about wines here in France. Of course, everybody knows France and wine. And quite staggering, really, the amount that wine is consumed. It's on the legs, and that's going to be easy clip away, really. And it moves early, does uh, Thivain. Just watch this. Gets moves early. This time he doesn't stray too much down the leg side, does he? He comes straight down, gets the ball at the length that he wants. It's also drifting a little bit into the pads, and it's nicely clipped away. He doesn't try and hit it too hard. So four more to Thuvain. Want to try and change the angle of approach here. That's uh, a bowler in. It's an opportunity. Oh, it's a great effort. It's a really good effort. It's away from the body. Diving full stretch. Does get two hands to it, but can't hold on to it. What a fantastic effort that is. And, well, that's John Mary, Alice Tyne, who is flying through the air. And if he takes his catch, it would have been an absolute blinder. And great effort. He's like a goalkeeper diving across. But not, it doesn't stick. So, a chance goes down at the end of the second over. 23 without loss. And Thivain, well, he gets... Gets given a chance. Well, this is the way it looks. So the Babinians, after taking all the points in their first match, sitting pretty at the top with four points. We will see more of them a little bit later as well. The team that will have three matches in the day, a little bit like uh, the Babylonians as well. So a big day for those two teams. A good start of the day. A good start in the tournament can see you do well. And uh, to, to Chris, who joins in the chat as well. Chat's been very busy today. Okay, here we go. 
Uteo Kuma it starts at a good length and well, acrobatic bit of work there from the keeper yeah I was talking about wine wasn't I so we know French they like their wines and uh, on average the French drink about 40 litres of wine per year per person that's a lot of wine right it's a lot of wine that means that the whole country consumes about 26.5 million litres per year that's a lot of wine as we see this one get crunched to the boundary. So Thivain, after being dropped on eight, smashes the next one for a big six. A good effort though, got to say, to take the catch from John Murray. Wind now, just a bit blustery. I mean, it's one of those where, because of where we are, and I say it's a bit blustery, also a bit of rain now just starts. Let's just see that corner of my eye, as this one is going to probably go all the way as well, as well. The umpires will check. You've got a good look at this, but I think that's six. Yeah, it gets called six. So it does go all the way. Yeah, just that wind has brought a little bit of rain with it. It's sort of a, I would say, a light sprinkling at the moment. A bit of a drizzle. Now hopefully, it's not going to stick around too long. Just makes things a little bit more uncomfortable particularly for the fielding side having the ball with the wet ball and of course can be with the batters as well depending which way the wind is blowing it into into their eyes but for now i think uh, the greeny vipers look to be nicely set going along nicely and a bit of bit of change maybe having to be made well that ball does end up in the the woods behind us and, uh, we were told actually before we came here, bring plenty of balls because these guys hit it and they hit it hard. And that means that there's going to be a few things disappearing into the woods. Well, I reckon grizzlies going in the woods and I reckon there might be a few grizzlies uh, living in those woods as well. Tayakuma gets another ball. Hopes to do better with this one. Floats it up there, and that's going to be four as well. It's a brave delivery. I don't mind this ball at all because he does get the batter to go right across the line. It is pretty full, and he just has to be spot on with the shot. That's Thivane, and he is. So he gets four more. And the wicket keeper trying to encourage the bowler to go outside the off there looking at this field now they're still keeping it very much gets played out and good stop good fielding yeah still very much sort of offside dominant so you can see why the the keeper look around is trying to get the bowlers to push the ball outside the off okay now to the right hander Three on the leg side now. Remember at one point, they just had the one person on the leg side to right handers, and now they've got some protection back. Still, of course, in that power play. Last ball off it. And up it, and oh, just over the fielder who's at point. But inside the circle, you see, and he gets it over him. I think if he's on the 30 yard circle, he's got a chance of making his catch. But he's a few meters inside, gets it over him, and we'll go to the boundary so cuatro mas here's the end of the power play and once again the vipers they're going pretty well 44 without loss as we have a look at this beautiful picturesque ground and uh, i'm sure there's a lot of people that are tuning in and saying that reminds me of a ground here and there because there are plenty of grounds like this around, I was going to say around the world, but I suppose around Europe, where it's, it's sort of nestled in to a foresty area, a lot of greenery around here. And in fact, Dru is, when we was coming in from the the airport yesterday, it's about, it was about an, just over an hour drive, actually, from the the airport coming into the ground, and it was just green, you know, just saw lots of agriculture. That is big, well, I tell you what, Nothing agricultural about this shot. As that gets smashed away, well, that's going to go underneath the platform that our scorers 
uh, are sat on top of. That uh, Marzi is there with Joe Foster. And welcome to them. And they're just a little way away from where our tournament referee is. He's Charles Croucher there with Niaz. Okay, well, this is hard in the air. Can anybody get there? I don't think so. He's going to drop dead in the middle of the two fielders that come running in from either side. Well, he'll take a single. There's a bit of a miss hit there. Let's see, Vane. A bit of sunshine breaking through now. That's nice. Bring it on. It's a completely different feel to any place, any ground, wherever you are when, that's, when you've got the sun. John Mary Ellestein, the bowler. Slow ball. Cleverly disguised. Batter does well, though. Wait for it. Field certainly having to change, chop and change a lot because of this partnership, this the left and right combination. Short and get this one through and well, says you what, this is a, a really fiery bit of action. I don't think I've ever seen a throw. It's so vicious from the wicket keeper. Now they're checking this. Let's have a look side on here. The umpire's gone for the third, so he charges down, misses it, Thivane, and then does he get back? Oh, this is going to be close. So, goes for it. Let's have a look. Does he get that back down before the ball breaks his stumps? Oh, I don't think so. That's a great shot of it. I think that's out. That is out because even if he's touching a bit of the line there, he's not past it. That's going to be brilliant work from the wicketkeeper. I reckon he's a goner here. And uh, Lokajan... Atitan has got the, his man here. This is a brilliant throw, and I think, yeah, he has been given out. Great work also there from Spring Media, catching that from all the possible angles. But I think the one for me is the one from behind the keeper, if you like. You can see quite clearly the bat doesn't make it back. And Thivane, who, remember, was dropped by John Mary. It was a difficult chance, but was dropped on eight. He will finally go on 33 that is a great bit of work though from the wicket keeper uh, Logajan brilliant work superbly done and I think also I mean I'm just going to check but that's got to go down for me as a stomping as well because I don't think that uh, he was trying to run. Yeah, it does. So, Thivain stumped by Lugajan off the boning of Elestine. So, they get the breakthrough. The two openers do bring the 50 partnership up. Oh, that's crunched. That is crunched. And, well, the sound of that bat tells me I know exactly who's going out there. This is... Dulpala Chowdhury, the man who made the half century in the very first match, the five over a side for the Greeny Vipers, 65 of 18, and he starts the way he was batting earlier, smashes this out of the park, six runs for Chowdhury. Well, he's the danger man. Alistair, back to Chowdhury. Slower. Cleverly bowled, but well played by Chowdhury as well. Over comes to an end. So four overs now completed. And 59 for one. So a good start made. The openers have done their job, haven't they? Have a look at the worm there. So it's going in the right direction, but you've got your key batter out there now. I think Chowdhury's the sort of guy you've got to try and get early. Uh, if not, I think he can punish you. He can hurt you. Remember, he did help his side get to 99 in just five overs in the first match. Okay, here we go. Bit of a change. There's the captain. 
comes on to pole. This gets guided away to the short, short third. No run. It's that interesting field again. So plenty of bodies out on the offside. And you've got three men pretty close to each other on the leg side in catching positions. Now this one won't be catching, but has to be stopped. It will be. Ground fielding, it has to say, from all the teams so far, has been pretty good. Well, they're taking on the fielder. Well, just when I say... The ground fielding has been pretty good. It's the first real, if you like, misfield. Yugan Thurin Regan sees that one go through him, but luckily for him, there is a sweeper out on the offside. And this one is going to clear that sweeper. He does run in from the line a little and then tries to recover. But my feeling is that even if he stays on the line, this is going over him. Chowdhury smashes another six. Yeah, just in the corner of my eye, I saw him come back in. Then he goes back. But, yeah, I think you see there that that one, even though he gets a few glares from his teammates, I think that was going over him all the time. Six more to Chowdhury. And now he's found the fielder, has he? Yeah, he has. And no mistakes from Uthia Guma. Takes the catch. And the dangerous Dilipala Chowdhury will go. 14 and it's uh, 14 or four number six and that's a good wicket to get because this guy is dangerous two sixes and before he departs and a nice catch no mistakes there from Uthia so captain oh, takes the pace off and Joseph Tharoon gets the key wicket thing is though we haven't really seen the depth of the Guinea Vipers so this is a good opportunity to see how the other batters go about things and, oh just wide off that fielder short third it's reaching for this Dulutzai is the new batter Amidula reaches and uh, gets quite a thick edge on that, but doesn't quite reach the fielder. So though they have lost those two wickets, they're still scoring at a good, healthy rate. 71 for two now, five overs. And it looks like they're going to go back to one of the openers here. And uh, have a quick look at uh, some of the events coming up. And uh, this is where you need to, I would say, get your diary out and scribble all those down. Or better still, just take a, take a, take a photo of that. Make a note of it, because we're going to a lot of places. It's going to be a, a fantastic season on the European Cricket Network. Yes, once again, the, the rain just gets a little bit heavier. It gets blown away though. There's brighter skies coming as well, so it's going to be a little bit like this bit on and off. This one gets dragged onto the leg side. Forecast is very similar actually for the next few days. Uh, wind could be an issue. Uh, hopefully, these trees will do their job and keep a lot of those strong winds not coming into the ground. That one goes right over the stumps. There's Samuela plays across the line and he's quite lucky that he doesn't get his bails taken here. So, Saji, good delivery. Yeah, he's almost takes the stumps away. All right, that's a nice looking shot. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful timing as well. He goes down on one knee and he clobbers this away. Samuela. That's a nice shot. Ooh la 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 from Sammy Yula. Down he goes. This one is just where he likes it. It's a beautiful pickup. It's a lovely shot. That's six runs. Into the 20s now.
Ooh, good comeback. Slightly shorter, a little bit closer. Another wild swing, so after playing a beautiful shot for six, a couple of ugly shots really from Samiola. Sort of been his uh, the inning so far, really. If you if you look at it, he's played it a nice shot, and then he he follows it up by a couple of rash ones as well. So he's going at a strike rate for around about 200. Maybe looking to increase that now. This uh, latter part of their innings, 79 for two. Not the worst of overs there at all. Just the eight coming from it. From Saji. Plenty of noise, plenty of encouragement being shouted out from the Vipers. And this one's in the air and it will be taken. So once again, some good catching from Raw 94. And they see the end of Del Tuzai. So Henry Dula. Do the right thing though. You've got to at this stage. You've got wickets in hand. And at that point. With just 24 balls to go, you've got to go for your big shots. Until Tazai will depart. He gives another batter an opportunity. And that's a, I think it's a good thing for the Greeny Vipers. They do get a win early this morning and now, though not a lot of batters got the opportunity then, there are opportunities here. And he just gets told, hey, hurry up. You've only got uh, 60 seconds. So, Rahim Gul. Nasiri does eventually get in a hurry to get out there. Takes his guard. Remember, you do need to be ready. A lot of people talk about this, though. So the 60 seconds, so we have a 60 second rule. Be out there and ready to face the first ball. It doesn't mean be out there, it means ready to face the first ball. And then, you know, you will get penalised if you take too long. So if it's over 60 seconds but under 90, it will be five penalty runs who will be awarded to the opposition. And if it's over 90 seconds, you can be out on appeal. So teams have to be aware of that. Of course, a lot of new things teams have to be aware, out, aware about playing this format. First time as well, so it's going to be a challenge. This one, though, I don't think it's going to be a challenge for the umpires. I think it's straightforward call. This has got to be a noe. We might have a look at this side on. I reckon this is too high. I think it was called on field. Just check again. So let's have a look at the height on this. I mean, he does charge, but I still think even if he's standing in his crease, that ball is not coming down, and there's the signal. So no ball called. So free hit coming up. And that's not quite the signal for a free hit. <laughs> but anyway free hit here we go what do you think the umpire now gets told what right, that's the warning all right here we go free hit the license go to full monty samiula and hits it pretty well catches drop but doesn't really matter the main thing was to save the boundary and he does well and the bowler knows it the captain uh, Joseph Tharoon looks like a man who's played a fair lot of cricket, a lot of knowledge. And congratulates the fielder for stopping the ball going to the boundary. Not worried about the catch, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Necessary then to face his first. And he's quite happy just to dab this. Oh, there's a great pick up. Oh, it's a good bit of cricket, this. Uh, he doesn't get it onto the stumps. But if he did, I think it would have been closer than you think. It's a great pickup, though. Running in, pick up and throw on the dive. And, yeah, maybe he would have made it. But it's good. Let's see. We'll get a good look at it here. Yeah, he would have just got there. But that's excellent action. Well captured. Spring media. All right. Catching opportunity. Not quite this time. Just dropped shy. Off the fielder, Uthi uh, Akuma has taken one in that zone. Yeah, and don't forget, a couple of the other 
changes in the regulations for those of you that are joining us a little bit later is that now the nine overs must be completed in 36 minutes are set 36 used to be 40 but 36 minutes but the fielding side will get a minute added on for every wicket they take okay so for example yeah, there's been three wickets taken, so three minutes have been added on. So 39 minutes. It's as simple as that. We had a very quick look at the ECC draw that was made in Portugal. We might go back to that after this ball. It's the last in the over. It bounces. And one thing I've seen here so far, that the bounce is pretty true. No tortugas or problems with that. That's the end of the over. Yeah, let's have a look at this. So we've got the ECC X. Let's just have a look at the teams there. And already people are saying that that one, the likes of Bulgaria and uh, Czechia, Cyprus, um, two teams, and maybe the Isle of Man as well, the teams that are really fancy finishing in the top two there. Top two will go through next year to the main ECC. The ECC there on the right groups, A, B, C and D. And uh, some interesting groups there, Ireland, Scotland, France, Portugal, Guernsey. I know that uh, when I was talking to some of the Portugal players in Portugal, Last week, they were saying they reckon they got a tough one. Germany, Hungary, Denmark, Austria, Romania. That one again, you know, you can have some tasting cans, but the group of death, Netherlands, Jersey, Italy, Sweden and Norway. That one is going to be a cracker. I think Spain, I think Spain will probably be quite happy with the group that they're in. England, for those of you wondering, will be straight into the championship week. But yeah, just slight difference this time around. So we got the ECCX. So this is basically teams that didn't quite make the cut for ECC, the main, if you like, call it the Premier uh, League. Up in the air. I don't know if this has got the legs. Fielder comes across. Holds on to the catch. Nicely done. The catching has been good. And that's Roger Lingham who comes across, takes the catch, says thank you very much. Another wicket will go. It's a good one to get as well because it's Sammy Ula who was starting to look dangerous. He goes for 31. Uh, oh, ball number 18. Uh, good catch. Once again, taken out there. The catching has been good from all the sides in general. And uh, the conditions probably not the kindest to the fielders. But uh, Roger Lingham, no mistakes from him. And uh, Alistair gets another wicket. Yeah, so just going to back to that draw. So basically you've got the ECCX. So these are teams that will do battle. And they also, it's, a, it's like a tournament within itself. There'll be a prize for the winners. But basically the, the top two, so the two that make it through into the final, will then be in the next year's ECC draw. <laughs> this is another <laughs> diving effort from the keeper to try and push the ball onto the stumps. He's a busy bee, isn't he? Here's the keeper, Logajan. So that's a, that'll be very interesting. And then, of course, after that, you'll have the extra ECC. We'll really have the four groups involved. And with the ECC, remember, likewise, from ECCX, where teams can go up or two teams will go up, then teams can come down as well. I think for the first year, one team will go down because of the way that the numbers are to have an even balance. But maybe in the years to come, it will be a straightforward two teams from the ECCX will go up into the main competition the next year and two teams will go down into the ECCX. So I like that. It gives teams the opportunity, especially the, the lower ranked teams, a good opportunity to get good competitive matches uh, played and uh, they will learn and get stronger and the stronger ones will get the opportunity to challenge with the big boys so that's going to be exciting and uh, looking forward to that already one of our stellar events will be happening there at the Cardamo Oval in Spain and this one doesn't really kill it right but he runs hard into this the fielder puts it down that's the Uthri Aikuma yeah he's so, almost like he stops the shot so, an opportunity from Insula. 
running in and yeah with the Akuma just doesn't get a good stable base on it so Insula gets lucky steps across and this one will be a wide I like the fact that he's not stepping away from the ball uh, Ishanula trying to get to it. It's out there with Nasseri who's just a runnable three at the moment. So these two really do need to get a move on. Plays this quite nicely down the ground. Bobbles away. Yeah, time. You can, I can hear some of the players saying, come on. Time is running out quickly, quickly. Expected score still 1 2 6, but haven't really seen too much hard hitting from these two. It's, uh, I've got to say, ever since Chowdhury went, it's gone tiki taka, tiki taka. Uh, just not been a lot of boom, boom. And that's going to be a worry. So, once again, are we seeing another team that uh, are relying too, a lot really on the top order? Asking the question. Not out, says the umpire. It's an Another over that comes to an end. So eight overs now completed. 98 for four. And you just have a, a quick sneak in at the sort of over by over scores here for you. So 12 came off the first. 11 off the second. 21. So the magical one of Fikuma, the third over. That took the score to 44 at the power play. Then 15 of over number four, 12 of five. But then after that, the last three overs, we've seen eight, 12, and seven. And we've only seen one boundary in the last 18 deliveries. So that's what tells me that I really got to go for it here now. You've got so many wickets in hand as well here. And that could be your boundary. Yeah, it will be. The fielder makes a good effort. Of course, there's a good feel on it. But Joka Lugia. Yeah, he dives at it, and I think he just mistimes the dive. He sort of overruns past the ball, and in the end, he sees it get past him. So, finally a boundary, and Ishanula will be hoping he can get a few more here as the 100 comes up. Wanting to try and get, I mean, if they can get to the 130 from here, they'd be pretty pleased with that. I see this, I think I said... And early on, actually, this to me looks like a sort of 125, 130 par sort of ground. Oh, good throw, direct hit, but well backed up. And you can probably hear that. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphones. You can hear the boys from Greeny Viper saying, we need boundary, boys, we need boundaries. Look, only four wickets down, so... They can really go for this, but then that can work both two ways. Sometimes teams can go for the big shots and end up missing, and it ends up being dot balls. Augustin started well, his first over, over number one. Just went for 12. It's a nice looking shot. This is really challenging the fielder, and that's going to be four. Well, that for me probably could be one of the shots of the day so far it's just beautifully executed by Nasiri look at the timing on this well is this your HCL software shot of the day uh, beautifully executed the timing on it was perfect and despite the dive from the fielder can't stop it four runs lovely shot so the boundary starting to come remember 18 balls uh, before a boundary, before the side of this is over. Now we've had, well, three balls. Two of them have gone to the boundary. Well, it's it high on now, pushing on the fielder. Who does slight fumble, but gets the throw. But I reckon that that's what you've got to look for. Whenever that's not taken cleanly, you've got to just say, right, if it's not going clean into the hands, if there's a slight fumble, we go to. You've got the wickets in hand to do it. All right, that field now changes again. They've sort of stuck to this field all the way through, really, haven't they? Royal 94, three on the leg. Short in the air. Should be an easy dismissal, and it will be an easy dismissal. So Augustine picks up his first, and it will be Ishanula who will go for 
nine of six balls and probably didn't have to come out if he stayed in his crease he might have been able to get a pull or a hook shot but he gets uh, gets tucked up for room doesn't he and ends up giving a straightforward catch well bowled though by Augustine 108 for 5 Ishanula out for nine. Trying to get the acceleration in. Joseph takes the catch. Benoit is the new batter. Nanidi. Well, firmly hit. And that's a good stop. Had a mixed day in the field. As Uthia Kuma, but in general, I think he's done well. End of the over. And end of, you have to say, it's been a pretty decent spell from Logesh Augustin. One for 22. Elistine also, he's going for 22 as well of his two overs. And I think you take that. So last over. 109 for five. And they're wanting to get at least 15 here. Anything less than that. With so many wickets in hand will probably be a disappointment for the Vipers. But you've got literally two batters out there. Haven't really clicked. It's uh, going to be Dianidi on strike. Just face the one. So really he wants to be trying to get Nasiri on strike. Nasiri. Last ball he faced, he played beautifully for a boundary. There's still a little bit of drizzle in the in the air. So nothing that's threatening really. I don't think he's gonna threaten the play, but it just makes it a little bit more uncomfortable for the players. Raja Lingam. To bowl the last and well this is definitely edge onto it it flies to the right of the keeper gets a glove on it and just watch this again so big swing thick edge gets a hand onto that he'll be disappointed I think Lagarjan that he doesn't take the catch so opportunity missed Nasiri now does come on strike this is what they would have wanted Roger Lingham. Oh, not a good delivery. It's a very good take. Yeah, let's see this again. Let's see, go down the leg side. Does it go over the stumps? I wonder here. I mean, look where he's standing, I suppose. So, yeah, that for me has got to be a... Well, if he doesn't touch that, it's got to be a wide. So he maybe catches a bit of his, his clothing. But... Uh, now, there you go. There's the signal. I was going to say, and maybe sometimes anything, remember, down the leg side is a wide. Okay, now, just a single. That's a result. So, in the series, it's that better. Can't get anything away either. So, Dianidi back on strike. Good hustle, this, from Raw 94. And that one is going to be OK. I think it'll be the one for the over. It's good running, though. It's clever cricket from the batters, and especially from Nasiri. He realises that that is an incredible take from the keeper yeah, because it's gone right over the batter. He takes it well, but there's no way he's going to be able to recover and get a good throw in. And therefore, they do take... The buy, I mean, don't forget, he did do one brilliant piece of oh, edge and down again. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just cursing them all now after saying that there's been no mischief. I was just talking about the keeper 
And that's uh, Lugajan, that he did one great bit of fielding. And then he gets this. It's the second one he's put down. This one, though, he's got to be taken. And it's a straightforward one. And it's Nisseri who once again gets lucky. Two balls to go. 114. They want a big hit here to get past the 120 and finish on 120 something. Goes for it, misses it, and this time they're not running either. Ends up being a valuable top ball. So the last ball coming up here. Can they get a boundary here? Can they get a maximo to take it to 120? It's been a good fight from a Royal 94. Remember the halfway point, the score was 71. So only 43 have come off. The second part so far, 43 plus nothing. So, tremendous fight. Really is. This is a great finish, you have to say, for Raw 94. But not so good for the Grinny Vipers, who probably, like some of the other teams above them, have shown that if you take the early wickets, then they will struggle. So, great fight back from a Raw 94. Some good bowling. And, uh, well, John Murray Ellistein and Joseph Tharoon both picking up two for us. Now on the batting front, I think there was Chowdhury looked dangerous, didn't he? Devane scored 33 uh, after surviving an early scare. But once they were gone, there wasn't too much firepower, it has to be said. So this is how it started. Remember, there was a little bit of luck there also from Semiula. The first two shots were miscues, but went to the boundary. Devane, well, he was hitting the ball well. That was the chance when he was on eight from John Mary. I mean, it would have been a sensational take. It wasn't taken. He didn't go on to make 33. But then that was exceptional to remove him. That was great work from the keeper. And uh, Logjajan, great, great take and frame with the gloves on as well. And that, to me, sort of changed the game a little bit. Though Chowdhury came out and hit a couple of boundaries, two big sixes. He would then uh, give a chance there to Uthiyan Kuma, who made no mistakes. And then after that, the run certainly did dry up. They tried hard and uh, tried to get the acceleration in, but just were not able to do so. And uh, there was a lot of tiki-taka, but not a lot of boom-boom. And as a result of that, like I said, the, the split, 71 in the first five and only 43 in the second five and i think that gives uh, raw 94 a very good opportunity to go out there and register their first win on debut on a, a european cricket series they'll be keen to do so because i think uh, they'll believe that if they can get to a good start a good power play that really it will be in their hands and that was one uh, one of two and in the end did get dropped by Lugarjan. It was not going to be easy, uh, but they'll be very satisfied with the way they finished because, like I say, a one point, a 130, 140 score was definitely on the cards. Then, for most of the period, they're expecting it to be around about 125, but even that wasn't possible with a good finish. John Murray, Alistair, and jo Joseph Tharoon really bowling very well. Here's that scorecard so, two scores of 30s at the top part of the table from Samuela and Thivane, but then after that. Not a lot really happening. It's going to be disappointing as well. So good fight. Let's have a look at those bowling figures once more. So two wickets, as I said, for Elastan. Very well bowled. Captain Joseph Laroon, he was impressive as well. 2 for 24. I like the way that he varied the pace of the bowling. The catching was good as well. I like the field display. They kept the pressure on. So well done. And two at Raw 94. Now let's see if their batters can go out there and knock off these runs. We're going to take a short break. I'm going to leave you with the mid-match mid summary. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time to see the conclusion of match number three here in France. Drew, hasta pronto.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, cricket lovers, and welcome back. And we have an interesting match number three in progress here at the Drew Cricket Ground in France with the Grinny Vipers, who won their first match, the very first match ever played in the European Cricket Series in France against the Villeneuve Super Kings. Uh, this time, well, they've got a bit of a fight on their hands. They were expected to score around about that 130 mark, but some good bowling. And a good finish from Royal 94 keeps them to 114. That's the bonus point equation there. I'll keep an eye on that. 79 is the magic number. So 79 or less. And uh, then it's uh, all the points to the Vipers. But Royal 94, if they can get to this 115 in seven overs or less, they can take all the points here. And uh, so interestingly poised, a good start. A good power play, could see them do this. So ready to go. We've still got that little bit of drizzle in the air. It's quite overcast. As we get ready for the first. And it looks like it's going to be Hukmaran Momand to start with the ball. See if he can get an early breakthrough. And he's certainly not trying to bang this in. Let's call for a wide. I just wonder if this is the height or the, the sideline. White ball called. See this again. I think it's going more for the the sideline. It should probably be the one for the over as well. Alright, that is smashed. That's high up in the air. That will go all the way. Seis Guerreras. Arriba, arriba, arriba. As that one will go all the way. Yeah, he's not hanging around, is he? Sees. It's pretty short again. I mean, it's about chest high, but he still gets plenty on it. So John Mary Einstein picked up those two wickets as well. Two for 22. And he opens his account with six runs. Oh, this time... I don't know what the height on this is like. It's worth just seeing this inside on. It's probably not the right shot to be played here. Palestine is trying to play this on the leg side. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, if he's standing upright, I think that's probably around about the shoulder. I don't think it's over the shoulder. Yeah, but an unusual shot to play. He should have really been looking to play that, uppercutting it in that backward point, wide third area. Now, well, Hoyt is up in the air. He's going to get enough of it to get it over the infield. Hey, he's going to get four runs. Cuatro más. A positive start. That's what you need here. Be positive. Go for your shots. And that's certainly what John Mary is doing here at the moment. That's rain. Just getting a little bit heavy again. The heavier than it's been so far in the day. You know, this one's going to be a wide. It goes too wide. And I'm not sure what the bowler is suggesting here. Let's have a look at this again. Uh, is he saying that he's... Well, if he slipped or whether he slipped or not. That's, I mean, he does slip. But unfortunately, you can't ask the, the umpire to not call a wide because you've slipped. And I think uh, maybe the captain saying, well, maybe try the other side. Good news is, is that the, the rain, as it did get heavier, does once again lighten down again. Let's see some more bright weather does appear. But, uh, right, let's see how Maman does. He's going he's gonna to try and come around the wicket. And it's worked out. Oh, well, there's a real mix up in the middle between the batters. Here we'll see this again. One batter is watching the ball and not watching his partner. There's Indran. Well, Indran did run. Here he goes. Indran says, Yep, chalo, chalo. Natiya, nati. Oh, yaar, ki ta ki kar da photo ni ka choni. Ja, nat. And in the end, uh, he does get to the other side. It'll be interesting where he puts his back down. You do have to get it past the line as well. And John Murray 
Ellerstein just needs to remember that. Uh, coming round the wicket here, though, but he, he can't be running in front of the umpire. And that's something that the umpire will have a word with him, saying, OK, look, I don't mind you changing coming from this side, but don't be running in front of me, and that's exactly what the umpire says there. That's good umpiring. It's good to see. OK, Ramanan Indran. Well, OK, we're in France, everybody. And there's your French cut. You're going to see plenty of those. And that one will go to the boundary. A little bit of luck. He's got a very open stance, hasn't he, as Indra? And you can see that there uh, always seems to be a fairly big gap between bat and pad. So four runs. That's the end of the over. And that first over, it, uh, well, it's a good start. 17 from it, so they're well on their way. The long over as well, two wides in there, and uh, three boundaries, two matches since a golden ball. And I wonder if Vinny Sanders recovered from uh, from all the pressures of that uh, incredible finals day in Portugal, which ended with a golden ball final, and now uh, he was just about had some voice left, mind you. Hopefully he's. Uh, being well rested last night and, and not talking too much on the flight over here today. We'll see Vinny tomorrow. And I, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, how many chances do you need against Uno, against Dos, but it still goes down. Hey, down it goes, and that's David, the captain. He'll be bitterly disappointed. Mm, taking it on, and they'll get there as well. Yes, Nasiri. We'll feel that he should have had a wicket. It doesn't have one because of the drop. Not a good delivery and not a good bit of wicket keeping as well. Andre, Andre, Iva, Iva, Iva. Well, it'll get there. It'll get wides. But the wicket keeper doesn't really move here at all. Does Chowdhury needs to at least get across? Get something on it, and it's almost like he plants himself, and then he's not able to move. So wide. Gone. And, well, that is a Gundy ball. And has that busted the stump? All right. Is that a stump buster? Now, I want to have a look at this because the stump, no, no it looks like it's intact. It, just for a moment there, I thought the stump got shattered. But it's not a good shot at all, really. It's ugly. Shot Maria Gunda, Bapas Agia Banda. All right, it doesn't come up that much, it has to, has to be said. But still, it's not a good shot. And the off stump has been rooted. Well, there you go. Now comes the stump. And back comes the batter. So... Full and straight, I suppose. That's what you're good to do. And it's always possible. So John Murray bowled for 12. And then the breakthrough comes again from this area. So just the change of pace. And this area, I think, was probably one of the, the pick of the bowlers in the win against the Super Kings as well. Who else likes the stumps in the ground? I must admit I do. I know that it becomes a bit of a nightmare for the umpires because eventually they become a bit loose and you've got to put more turf in and whatever. But I think there's nothing better than having those stumps in the ground so when they hit, 
They come out like that. Yeah, I like it. Love it. I like the explosive action of the stumps coming out. I mean, the spring stumps, they're all right. But, yeah, can't beat stumps in the ground. And when they get knocked over, the bowler gets the satisfaction of seeing them come out the ground, especially if you're a quick bowler. We've already seen one being cartwheeled today. That one, it's going to be too wide. The quicker ball fired in. Or maybe they know something about Uthiaya Kuma. Wants to fire that one in a little bit quicker. All right, this one, he doesn't quite get it. But it gets fortunate. It doesn't carry to the two men waiting out there. Rahim Gulnasari. This is the over that they needed. A good one. A good one early. Get a wicket. Floated. And that one, I think, probably we saw this more miscommunication in the middle. I think this one, though he's diving for this, get the feeling this might have been a bump. Yeah, I'm... Well, I saw, not 100% sure, maybe side will show us, but once again, ball watching. And uh, in the end, Uthaya Kuma will get there. But not really watching each other, a bit of ball watching. Now, ball to go in this, the second, 23 for one. It's been a pretty tidy over so far. Just a six from it. And this one should be stopped. In comes a throw, direct hit, and he's in trouble. And maybe even a, a good throw to the bowler. Then Nasiri may have completed what would have been a routine run out. Yeah, the pickup was good from the fielder, but unfortunately the throw back was not. This is the way things are looking here at the moment. So the Greeny Vipers... Played 1-1-1, one, 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 picked up three points uh, against the Super Kings. Raw 94 playing their first match. And I suppose at the moment, they are the one team that if they can win this one inside the seven Avers, they could uh, be right up there joint at the top with the likes of Balmians. 24 for one then. Indran and Luthia Kuma are the two batters. They're, they're hoping to not just get a partnership going here, but seeing if they can make the most, especially this over, the last in the power play, and get a good one in here, and give themselves the upper hand to try and chase down the winning seven. All right, that's hit down the ground, it's pretty straight, and that's going to beat the two fielders. That's a good straight hit. So Luthia Kuma... Does like to use the long handle. Gets this one away. Good, clean hit. Harold to... Hello to Cheryl. Saying she loves the commentary with Cheryl. I love having you on board. Welcome. And uh, great to have all the newbies on as well. Uh, let us know where you're from, Cheryl. Wide ball. Just tries to fire this one in a little bit quicker. This is uh, Thivane. Ooh, already a bit like Chowdhury. Looks like one of the key players here. Chowdhury behind the stumps. Supporting the, the pink body. Let's see the older... Uh, Pink sleeves. Be another wide, a little bit too much swing here from Devane at the moment. They're gone. Well, after a couple of wides, it's full, it's straight, and that off start well is going to need th therapy pretty soon as Uthi Akuma loses it. 
jog the footy and as uh, those stumps have gone off once again like a stick of dynamite and uh, out they come boom shaka up like yeah and uh, well I'll tell you what Vivane uh, today is on fire speaking about fire oh don't forget that, that uh, on this day in history and uh, only a few years back, the historic Notre Dame de Paris caught fire during a restoration. And uh, the blaze destroyed most of the cathedral's roof, amongst other things as well. And uh, I think uh, the country came together to try, and, uh, to try and help the cause of the Notre Dame de Paris. And then help to generate funds or more funds in that, that restoration. It's a, it's a Remembrance Day also today because on Remembrance Day when it comes to Titanic on this day in 2000, in 2000, in 1912, the British luxury passenger liner Titanic sank en route to New York from Southampton, Hampshire, England. It was deemed as the unsinkable ship, but after striking an iceberg during its maiden voyage, so sadly some 1,500 people died. So Remembrance Day today for the Titanic as the sun comes out and caresses this beautiful cricket crown in Drew. A couple of world celebrations today as well. The world celebrates Universal Day of Culture today and also it's World Art Day. So get your artistic side out today. Uh, more bold again. This is a really good over. With the vein. Keeping it nice, keeping it full, keeping it tidy. Yeah, World Art Day all around the world. People have their definitions of what they consider to be art. This holiday is used as an opportunity to promote the development of art. It encourages people to take the time to notice beautiful things around them. That's up in the air, and that's a beautiful thing as well because that is six runs. Seis carreras, manos. Arriba, 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 Vitro, porque eso es una seis. And also, uh, Universal Day of Culture is aims to preserve the cultures of all countries and communities, also referred to as World Day of Culture. This is one of many holidays that commemorates the, an international cause, bringing people together under one goal. Yeah, I like that. I like that, and that's something I think that we... The European Cricket Network are very supportive of. This one is straight down the leg side from Thivane. So started off being a pretty good tidy over. I mean, it still is if you can get this ball in without any uh, any real d damage. And something which will be, I think, very key to the heart of all the French. We are in France, of course. Yeah, it's up and it's over and it's going to be four runs so the over which looked like it was going to be pretty tidy it will go for 18 and that's the end of the power play so there they are some wickets that are down yeah score wise they're doing pretty well 42 for two oh, nice looking shot there so Indran is starting to get a move on and he needs to after losing the wicket of uh, Uchiha Yeah, so Leonardo da Vinci, the Italian artist and engineer and scientist, he painted the Mona Lisa on this day back in 1452. Of course, the Mona Lisa. It's a very famous bit of artwork. And quite fittingly, mentioning that on World Art Day as well. One of the big tourist destinations of course here in France where people flock over to see it is the home of the Mona Lisa is France so that was painted back on this day in 1452 by Leonardo da Vinci just some of the some of the facts to bring to your attention it's a world art day and well that's going to be another wide here so Nasiri does come back to Bali second at the moment not necessary working out well and that's better I think that's what he's trying to do and 
Interesting feel to this match. There's no team I don't think is big time in front at the moment. It can go either way, just the way that we like it. That's nicely played, but great bit of fielding. Throws himself at it. Okay, Indran, he knows he's got to try and get some big shots in here. And well, this one is going to squeeze through the two fielders. He uses his wrist pretty well here. And I suppose you've got to give credit to Indran for, I suppose, negotiating the ball in the gap. So, Ramanan Indran gets another boundary to his name and he moves to 19. 49 for two. Nasiri just moving the field around a little bit. So he wants to put a sweeper out now on the offside. So the, the square leg comes inside. And then he bowls a big juicy full toss, which gets missed by Indra. And he'll be disappointed with that one. And I think this has been given, yeah, it's given on the field, stump. So Indran gets drawn out of these crease by Nasiri. And Chowdhury does the rest. So they get a good breakthrough. Indran gets to 19. And he falls. Let's see this again. Comes down and you can see there that foot doesn't look like it's got past the line this would be a good shot of it you can see where the line is and I don't think he gets it past the line so he will have to go good work Jowdry and look at the little little, little kick of delight there from this area as well yes the stumps well, we're talking about being demolished those stumps have certainly taken a few knocks haven't they so Ramanan Indran, 19 of nine deliveries, he departs. Stumped well by Chowdhury. And Siri once again the provider. Played out for a single and that uh, brings an end. A pretty impressive spell from the bowler and uh, Ramagun Nasiri will be very happy with his bowling at the moment and once again it's the the pace off that provides the important wickets that they need so 50 does come up but it is 50 for three just have a look at that. It's all over the place at the moment. As we have a look at this stunning ground, once again, under some beautiful sunshine. And that wind just seems to have died down a little bit as well for the moment. And uh, some nice clear blue skies seem to be coming over as well from my left. So looks like hopefully we're set for a nice afternoon of well, splendid cricket and beautiful sunshine as well. And uh, big shout out to everybody involved in cricket here. And Prabhu Balan, Salavan, Asif, and Pitev. It's a good start. Mm. Oh, that one's down the leg side, but he just gets away with it, doesn't he? Not a good delivery, really. That should be punished. But, uh, well, Rajani. Bowl two. No runs from him. And this time, he should be punished. And the dive just coming from the fielder. That one might just stop before the rope. It does. Oh, well. The fielder. <laughs> runs to it, picks it up, and then I was worried. Well, he's the bowler that was worried about his sliding around Mamand. 
And my mind, oh, for a moment here, I thought he's going to make the stop or pick the ball up and slide past the boundary. Luckily, he doesn't. Short again, this time it's just going to drop short of the field. That's really good fielding though, good technique, that's nicely done. So running in from the boundary, the ball is dipping. And he's got to make an early decision here. And decides the catch is not on, but he's going to make the save and he does. And that one will go the distance. They needed that one. Well, that's a blast. That is clean out of the middle of that bat. That will go all the way. Shaba, Shaba. Ginna, Sona. Shaka, Lagia. Six points. Big hit. Just a little bit too short. Rocks back and he clobbers it. And, well, watch out, young man. Is a grizzly about. Well, give that young man a helmet. I'm going to need some lids these grizzlies flying around okay 56 of 31 deliveries there still as long as they can keep taking these singles which are doing well and getting the the one ideally two boundaries and over you stay ahead of where you want to be uh, 60 at the halfway point we have lost three wickets in some of our upcoming events. So Italy, Medina Cup also here in France coming up. That's T20Is. Estonia, Netherlands, more T20 action and also the domestic finals where we'll learn who will be representing Netherlands in the European Cricket League. England in Wimbledon will be going to see the Wombles. Oh yeah, bring it on. Strawberries, cream and the Pims. And then we got, wow, a big... Uh, big time in Cyprus, European Cricket Series, ECI Women, ECI Men's, T20 Internationals, men and women's as well. It's going to be a busy, busy schedule. And we're loving the fact that uh, you're going to stay with us and picking up uh, new viewers all the time. And of course, you're not just viewers, you're part of our European Cricket Network family. Loving having you all on board. Just a little clip. The chase is on. My mind is after it. And uh, on his dodgy footwear. This time, no problems. Okay. Tulutzai needs something here. All right, full toss. Has he got it in the gap? No, Fielder comes across. It's just a single. You feel that the batting side, keeping this rate to under 12, should get there. But I just get the feeling that, that the Greeny Vipers, they just got a couple of good overs in them, two good overs, which could make a difference here. So nicely clipped away. They are taking the single. So, seem to be quite happy at the moment, the Vipers, to let uh, Ron 94 take these singles. They don't seem to be too concerned about the singles. That's well bowled. Good delivery. Nice pull inside the line. Gets a dot ball in. And gets uh, some gentle applause from his teammates as well. So, it looks like just three of the over so far. This is an over that could make a difference. And this one just gets dragged. Another single. Likes to come wide of that crease, doesn't he? Isn't it interesting now? All the creepy crawlies love the sunshine as well. Well, the sun wasn't out. It was okay here. I wasn't being bothered. As soon as the sun comes out, it's like all the creepy crawlies come out as well. I've got spiders dropping on me head again. Not a good delivery. No ball called here. Now, I wonder if this is the return crease. 
Let's just have a look if we can see anything here. So no ball as a foot fault. I wonder if it's the return crease. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. That's exactly what I was saying, that he does go very wide. And this time, he does cut that return crease. And it's, if you put your foot down on it, any part of it touches it, it gets called. It's a good call. All right, high in the air. Right, my advice is don't bother catching it. Let it drop and get the ball in. No point breaking your fingers uh, when it can't be out. Then despite the no ball and the extra ball that then goes for two, that's still a very good over Dulutzai. I think he's helped his team big time here. Puts them probably, well, maybe back in front again. The fielding side. 67 for three. Welcome to everybody. We are, of course, in France. But, uh, France produces more than 1,600 different kinds of cheese. That means that every day of the year you could try a different cheese. Yeah, many types are produced such as soft cheese, blue vein cheese, hard cheeses, and there's so many of them. And a lot of them are protected by regional labels and sources. And uh, it's a pride for regions to have these cheeses, uh, as well as wines. Uh, French are very fond of their dairy product and therefore the most cheese-eating population in the world. This gets played away. It's no wonder Ratatouille was made here. It's where all the cheeses. You like your cheese? I love my cheese, but I gotta admit, I'm not a big fan of those the smelly ones. It gets played away, and that's well fielded, very good ground fielding indeed. And uh, there's Dushan keeping it tight. Once again, keeping the pace off as Rajani comes back to bowl, he's second. Oh, well bowled again, and. Well, asking the question, I mean, looking at that shot there for me, it looks like the foot was down. They are going upstairs, and I get, oh, it's a tricky one, and it just looks to me like I don't see the foot coming up. I think we might have to see this from two angles. That's one angle. I think that's conclusive enough. Stays down, still down, and yeah, that for me is okay. Not out will be the decision here as the umpires have uh, more issues now trying to sort out the stumps. And just on the walkie talkies, as you see it here one more time. So it goes for the shot, but I think the foot just stays on the line. He keeps the toe end down when the stumps are broken. So I think for me, well, I don't know. They're just not really sure here. Yeah, I must say, looking at that is as inclusive, and I going by the line, the part of the line I can see here, I don't see it being an issue, but they might be saying that uh, it goes down to the, the call for the on-field umpire, because because of the the way that the ground is at that camera angle, we don't see the line all the way through, so they might be saying not conclusive on the camera, so go back to the on-field decision, and that then goes down to what the umpire feels about it. So this will be interesting. What the decision is, looks like. Well, it looks like the not out is the call in the end. So, which I think is a correct call from what I was seeing. So Rajani to continue. Still been good. Only 12 runs have come off the nine balls that he's bowled. Short, they're the ones you've got to go after, and they do, and it's excellent fielding again. These two here have been pretty tremendous, haven't they? That's great work once again. That's Nasiri. Nothing's gone past them. Really good ground fielding. Yeah, wonderfully done.
All right, well, I don't think anybody's stopping this one. When you need something to happen, you got to get a big shot in. And that is exactly what was required there. And Kapil Raj finds the middle of the bat. Boom! Shakalagia. Oh, did they need that? Oh, Kapil Raj. Can he finish the over with another one of those? Can see the equation. And that's a dot ball to finish with. So good spell. 20 off the two overs from Rajani. The score staying on 77 for three then. Now this is the next match coming up. And it will be Royal 94 will stay on the field of play. And they'll be taking on the Balvinians team that won their first match. And remember, they didn't just win. They took all the points available to them in that win against the Villeneuve Super Kings. And that match, remember, scheduled to start in about 25 minutes from now. Three overs to go here then. And of 18 balls, 38 required. And that's a wide. Ends up being stopped. And once again, just keep an eye on the, the footing here of the bowler. And this is a set of issues here before. I don't think this is Momand. This is once again the uh, Ultazai. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's better. Just holds his back slightly. Well struck, but straight to the fielder. Beautiful blue skies now coming our way. A bit of dull stuff, a little bit of rain earlier, but now. We have the sunshine again. Hopefully he's here to stay for the rest of the day. Dulatzai. It's well bowled, full. Good variations from me. I like the way, that, uh, not just with his speed, but varying his length really well as well. That one's fuller. Need to go big here. Look at John. Oh, gets, wants to play that hook shot. Gets low. He gets ready for it. Probably gets the ball also that he wants, but he misses out on it. Ah, two batters. They come together again to have a chat. Kapil Raj. And look at John. Strike rate from both of them and not not really what they required. I mean this partnership I mean they've put a partnership together but just haven't got big runs on the board. This one is gonna be a tease, it will be four. Gets past the inner ring, gets past the outer ring, they get cuatro. Got to be going big here now. Needing around about that 13. So it's crept up slowly. What's around 10, 11s, now 13, so boundaries are important. Full toss, and this one should go the distance, and does it. Is it six, is it four? Let's wait and see. Let's see what the umpire is thinking. Is it one of them? Arriba, arriba, arriba. No, it's a izquierda derecha. Izquierda derecha. It's going to be for just bouncing inside, but not a good delivery there from Dulat Zai. So, Amy Dula just getting it wrong. Well, does he sneak this one in? I think he does. It's a dot ball. And after a couple of boundaries, if they could have got that one away again, they'd probably get themselves back in this and maybe take the upper hand. But it's a missed out on with that over. Goes for 11. So once again, below where they need to be. Eighty-eight for three. 
27 in 12. So, we're going to the last here, folks. We're going to the last. Just have a look. They're just dropping below that line. I suppose the good news is that both teams here are picking up points. Good looking shot, and that's going to be four. Four runs. Gets his width. The batter gets it right. So, we go back to Thivain, who, though he did take a wicket earlier, he did bowl plenty of runs as well. Well, this is a bit of fortune. The chase is on. Maman ain't going to get there. Back to back boundaries. And I think this one, once again, could be a bit of an inside edge. It's pretty full delivery. It's pretty full. And yep, there you go. Win in France. Quattro Mass. So, Kapil Raj. And Logajan making things happen here. Came together with the score on 49. And that one will go to the boundary as well. So that also brings up the 50 partnership between these two. And just like that, just like that, they're in the driving seat. There's another boundary. And this is a bit of a disaster. I suppose Thivain they had to go back to him at some point. And that's the runs they needed already of this over. So 15 required in nine balls. 100 comes up. Devane continues around the wicket. And that one will be four more. So cuatro pelotas y cuatro cuatros. Four in four. And Royal 94 on the verge of victory their first on the European Cricket Network and at the first time of asking on debut 11 in 8 and well Thivain is feeling the pain as he's been well, taken to the cleaners he will now change to come over the wicket. Let's see if it works for him. Okay, better delivery. Just be a single. Ten off seven. And I think this is where you could might as well say to the batter, look, just go for it. Look at John, just go for the boundary. Get a boundary here. And it's an easier path going into that last over. And, well, he misses. They're asking the question here. I'm quite... I'd like to see this again. I mean, it looks like leg by will be signalled. I want to see this again. I'm surprised it's not a bigger appeal. Maybe I'm not seeing this the way... I mean, where does it make impact? Okay, there you go, outside the line. But it's a pretty full delivery. All right. We go into the last over. Nine required. That one, by the way... Ends up going for 18. There's a leg behind there as well. So 19 come off that over. One oh six for three. These two. It hasn't been explosive from Logajan and Kapil Raj. This partnership has been worth over 50 once. But I suppose it's been timed and timed maybe to perfection. But they ain't there yet. Nine required, and let me tell you, plenty of times teams have been in this position and it hasn't worked out. They will go back to Momand, who himself had issues with his footing. He will be over the wicket. And, well, just like that, he gets stopped. As they want to check the field. He checks now himself. He's got two men on the boundary leg side. Mid-wicket, long on, long off, sweep out and third back. Into the ground, taking it on. 
They allow the single, no throw, no attacking throw. Eight or five. Kapil Raj on strike. In the air, big moment. Catch it if you can. Well, it's a skyscraper and it goes down and they will come back for two. Not easy, not an easy catch. But if you take hold of that one, that could be the match. That could be the match just there. Goes a long way up in the air. It was Kapil Raj who skies it up. Catch goes down, he also gets two. Oh, well, what a huge moment in the match. The Kapil Raj getting dropped. Okay, going to run hard here, but this ball looks like it's going to make it to the boundary. It does get to the boundary. Two or three. Not a good delivery once again for Mamand. He's been erratic. And another. We've seen quite a few that have gone back there down the leg side. And nobody back. Even the third is very wide. So any little edge like that, whether it's outside or inside edge, is going to go to the boundary. Two and three. Top ball. Good delivery. Better. Good areas. Two in two. Nerves all around the ground. People on their feet. They don't know what's going to happen here. Everybody is glued to the centre stage. Momand again. Goes full. Nice shot. And that's going to be four. It's going to be victory. It will be victory for Royal 94. They will do it with a ball to go. The Greeny Vipers, they win one and they lose one. They will pick up a point in this contest, but it will be victory for Royal 94. And it will be Kapil Raj who finishes 43 of 23. And well, a good partnership really between him and Logarajan as well. They get them the victory. They timed it to perfection. Aja, Aja, then Japi them up. Yeah, nicely done, and so he should be congratulated. Like I say, it wasn't explosive, but I suppose what you can say is that they timed it to perfection, and I suppose it's all about those last five overs for Greeny Vipers. Only scored 43 in the last five after scoring 71 in the first five, and that is what left the door open, really, for Royal 94, and they took full advantage of it, getting the win. Let's uh, look forward to what's coming up next. Royal 94, well, they will be looking to see if they can be the first team to make two wins out of two here. But don't forget, they're up against the uh, Balbinians, who also won their first match. And they won their first match against the Super Kings by picking up all of the points as well. So this one is going to be a pretty exciting contest. Let's have a look at the highlights once again. And uh, there was good starts, really. John Murray played some pretty nice shots and he was out there with Ramanan Indran and both of them were giving the team a pretty good start there was a catch that gets dropped there by the captain uh, Deva and what a difference that could be made but there's the wicket that's what they needed probably not the right shot that was uh, gone for there but cleaned up was John Mary and that was a great bit of bowling and Nasseri once again being the key with the ball. Pace off seemed to be doing the trick and it's just interesting to see that it was when the pace was introduced that the issue started. This not necessary again, so once again pace off, but it was Thivane and Momand really, both the pace bowlers that having the issues. Momand went for 17 in his first and then that last over, uh, 11 with the ball to go. And Thivane, well, he was expensive. Just never really found his rhythm. And that, uh, that ninth over going for 18 
and 19 with that one leg bite. That certainly really did hurt them. And there's the victory. There's the leap of joy. Uh, despair for Maman, but look, they're focused. No real big celebration, but they know that winning on your first match, winning on debut on the European Cricket Network is something special. And that's a special moment for Raw 94. They'll savour that. So well done to them. Uh, a lot of people are liking that. Martin Foster saying great finish. Well done. The perfect timing with the ball to go. There's that scorecard and a great partnership there between Lugajan and Kapil Raj uh, helping their team to a victory. Kapil Raj, he got those shots going at the right time, didn't he? Just when it looked like they were falling behind when that rate started to climb and it got to about 13 and a half. He knew he had to go and he did and he got it right. Bowling figures, two wickets there from Nasseri. I think he was brilliant again. Uh, two overs there from the Lutzai were very good as well, just 18. But you've got to say, it's the seamers again that uh, were a bit of a letdown. I think Maman went for 28 and Thivane went for 35. For both of those overs, pretty expensive. But it uh, looks like they're stuck to the key bowlers. They didn't really have another option if one of those was not to go well. And in the end, that does cost them. There's the match summary there. And it is the Vibers that go down in this one. So Raw 94 winning their first. We're back in 10 minutes time for match number four. It's going to be an exciting one. Two teams that are playing some good cricket coming back together as Raw 94 will be taking on Blabby Neons. Join us back in 10 minutes time for match number four here in France in this beautiful cricket ground in Drew.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, cricket lovers, and welcome back. We just saw a good win for Royal 94, and uh, they'll be boosted by that going into this next match. They are taking on uh, Bambi Leons, a team that we also saw get their win when they took on the 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 superstars earlier in the day. So we, I think this is going to be an interesting match. I reckon that both these two teams, though, are well um well, t will test each other really well. I think both have got some good batters in this side, good bowlers. But one thing I've been very impressed with at the moment is that the fielding, the fielding standards have been good. So I'm expecting this to be a closely contested contest. I'm loving the start here to France. And I think uh, this pitch is certainly going to serve as well. I think we're going to see plenty of runs. And already seeing that the bowlers, if they're used to variations well as well, can do well here as well. Let's join the two captains in the middle for the coin toss. And then after that, have a look at the two teams. Okay, your call. Head. Head is the call. And it's a head. Uh, ball first. Ball first. Thank you very much. So there you have the news from the, the middle. As the Balbinians elected to take the field, the uh, Royal 94. Well, we saw them bat well when they were chasing. Now, can they do the same when they're out there again and make it two wins on the trot? Uh, Balbinians, well, they'll be hoping that uh, Hibbert Aladdin Jackson will be in good form again. Certainly, he shone with the bat in that win. Player of the match performance from him. And the thing is, though, that, uh, they didn't really have to go too big as they restricted the Super Kings to a low score. But this time around, I feel that they might be well tested. But uh, Royal 94, I just like what they did. I think they timed that win to perfection. I think Kapil Raj, the player of the match, with his 43 of 23, had yeah, a good partnership there with Logajan and those two. They seem to have a good idea of what they needed to do and how they needed to do it and doing, getting the win with the ball to go. So congrats to them getting their first win on debut. But now these two teams, well, they have played already. This is now about seeing who will and could finish at the top of the standings at the end of a day one. The umpires... Are out there in the middle, some part of Tiff and Niaz, as we have a look at what our computer is saying. Uh, Barbara Neon's 63% uh, favourites to win the Royals 94. I think uh, the Royals will, well, probably be thinking, well, we don't mind that. They weren't the favourites going into the last one either against the Gruny Vipers. No, they don't mind being the underdogs. Let's see how they start here with the bat. Good to have everybody on the chat as well. Enjoying the action on day one here in France. The very first time that the European Cricket Network has been in France. And loving this ground. Looking beautiful. Looking splendid in the sunshine as well. And surrounded by these beautiful trees. Okay, here's the first one. Up in the air. It's an up and over. The chase is on. It plugs and flicks back. The batters will come back for two runs. Uh, all 94. Off the mark straight away. It's going to be John Mary. Opening up again. They're very much the same. No change. John Mary, Alastin, and Roman Indran. Kumaran, the guy who bowled very well last match. This time he's too short, and that's been whipped away beautifully. It's a lovely shot. Cuatro Carreras gets a swivel on this as well. There's Alastin. Wonderfully played. So Jeevan Kumaran just a little bit too short. Picked up two for 18. In that win against the Super Kings. Got to go a bit fuller. Yeah, better areas. And that's the action, man. Action Jackson 
behind the stumps. Very key, of course, was instrumental in the win against the Super Kings as well. Not only was he outstanding behind the stumps, but scored that 60. Nine out of 26 deliveries, playing a match performance from him. This one gets a little bit of movement back in to the batter. Swings hard at it and gets the edge. Flies over at the short third. It's going to be four runs. Not quite where he was intending it. But they all count. Alistair gets another boundary away. Ten on the board. And well, asking the question, not out. A good number of things drifting down the leg side. And a bit of bounce on there as well. See this again, he hops right across and yeah, making an impact outside the line, but I think also we're probably gonna carry on to go over the stance. But that's the swell bowl, just takes the pace right off it. As Elliston tries to get funky. And this one is gonna be a long, hard chase for the fielder. Should get there, we will do. Gets a good throw in as well. The bat has come back for two. End of the first. 12 on the board. Not the worst of overs from Kumran. Welcome to you, wherever you joining us from. On uh, a couple of big days here today. The, yes, it is Universal Day of Culture. That's celebrated worldwide as well. And, uh, it's all a day to preserve the cultures of countries and communities, also referred to as World Day of Culture. And also World Art Day today as well, where all around the world people have their definitions of what they consider to be art. It's a holiday which is used as an opportunity to promote the development of art and encourage people to take time to notice the beautiful things around them. I must admit, I look at some pieces of art and think, well, okay, as we all do. Well, if that's worth that much, I can do better than that. I mean, I, I must admit, I like art. I do appreciate art, but as we see this soon miss. For me, art is a, a nice picture that's been, you know, a, a landscape or a picture of some action or people. When it's just these splodges of paint on a bit of canvas, which looks like you know, your, your dogs or your cats or your kids have ran into the room when you're decorating and knock the paints all over the place and then you think, ah, looks all right, let's stick it on the wall. When you look at things like that, you think, well, I don't see it really. And that one, well, I don't think the fielder sees too much of that either. It gets past him pretty quickly. He was hit on the up and gets through the infielder. They'll take a couple. It went pretty quickly. Firmly struck. And that was uh, Jethusen, who almost takes a sharp catch. Not a good delivery. Spray down the leg side. Jackson makes the stop. areas outside the off nice and tight full toss taking it on direct hit and he would have been out but once again though I think even a throw to the bowler uh, even if it's one that uh, takes on the bounce or in his, straight in his hands, it would have been out. He was struggling here. The bowler does well, gets into position early, says, there they're there they're there, and it's not a good throw. It's the worst place he could have thrown it. Anywhere else, the bowler gets a chance. Yorker length, well bowled. So 
some more cloud cover comes over as the the beautiful blue skies that we had in the last half hour or so disappear again oh that's well bowled again and he's a little bit unlucky it's a risky shot and a risky one as well but it will go to the boundary as uh, Romanan Indran finishes the over with four. The two overs completed. And 21 on the board. Let's have a look at what we've seen here so far. Oh, that was a very quick look at what we've seen here so far. But what you will see from that, or oh, well, what you almost saw from that is that uh, Beverly Neons are sitting at the top of the standing so far because they've uh, picked up all four points from the one win that, that they have but uh, a loss here will see them lose that lead and raw 94 will go to the top so everything to play for here on day one as teams new teams all teams on debut are testing each other Six and three field here on the offside. And another big wild swing from John Mary on a stint. As Manaharan gets given the ball. So that solid strike and that one well. It will be four, but that was hit firmly like a laser beam. Crunching shot. So gives himself a bit of room. And, well, not worrying about the keeping it on the ground in the power play. And upon bounce four, powerful strike. Clips it around. That's a nice shot. Clever shot. It does get very risky. Clipped away. So, four more as the, the wind comes back again. get this one right but it's not going to go to hand so take the single one hour and looking to get that breakthrough this one's going to be a little bit too wide once again a very good take there by Jackson Escapes the field as they're chasing high now to see if we can save the boundary. And I don't think they're able to. It's going to be four more. Good effort. But not able to get there. Yeah, it's good try. But you can see in the process of trying to kick the ball back in. Doesn't get it right. Now, this one could be close, you know. I think they might go upstairs, have a look at this. Uh, I, When I'm initially looking at this, I think the batter maybe is a little bit slow getting back. I reckon that Jackson could have his man here. Let's have a good look at this. And maybe look at it from all the angles that we have. I mean, that there, to me, suggests that he doesn't make it. Let's have a look here. And... I think the foot is outside and the bat doesn't get down on time. 
Now, here we go again. I think the foot isn't inside here. And you can see that's the that's the shot for you. I don't think he makes it. Be interesting to see what they think here. And just as we're talking and looking at that, we will see the decision given. He will have to go. It's great work from Jackson again. But also, well, the bad news is that we have that little bit of rain that comes back again. The wicket does fall, though. Uh, Monoharan gets the breakthrough. And it, once again, it's the good, quick hands of Jackson that gets the wicket. So Indran will go. Good work from Jackson. He's having a good day, isn't he? Monoharan. Gets the best out of Jackson to take that wicket. So Indran will go 11-7. With Yakuma coming in at number three. Interesting that they don't change the batting order. So even though in the last match it was uh, Logajan and Kapil Raj that were the, the main contributors of the good partnership match-winning partnership. Those two still yet to come in, so it looks like that they may stick with the same pattern. Lagajan and Kabul Raj will be the next two to come in. And that's firmly hit and straight into the hands of the fielder. It's going to be gone. And now well, the very first ball of the fourth over sees the wicket of John Murray Alastin. He'll go for 22, so both openers will go within balls of each other and good firm sharp catch taken it's nicely held and thank you very much smiles all around well not for the batter i suppose but it's a good sharp catch uh, so now we will see a logajan come out so very much as i suspected they're, st they're sticking through the the order that worked for them last time Uh, Logajan comes out to join Athia Kuma, who hoping that he does better than the six that he got last time. And uh, Barakzai, well, he does it again. Gets the breakthrough. It's clipped away. Looking for two, maybe, initially, but Fielders get there pretty quickly. So Uthiakuma now faces his first ball. Few people mentioning some of the other crew turning up here. Alistair Priddle and Ravi Pachau have joined the crew here. Played out to the point area. And fielding gets done nicely. We're into the fourth over here, but still interesting that you've got a very straight third man, one sweep on the offside, two men straight, and a mid-wicket. So very straightforward field this time, not being too adventurous. Uh, Balbinians. And that's a nice looking shot. Well, it, it doesn't quite get it as clean as I first thought it gets in a good position to play it there's no fine leg back and in the end he just ends up slicing it up watch this gets in a good position but hits the top of the bat and he's a bit unfortunate there some early movement to get it away Barak's eyes being tidy but it just works away and the big shot of no this time it's got an interesting action. See, when he just delivers, it almost falls, looks like he sort of collapses on himself. If you watch him here, it goes really low just here. It sort of really goes down that that front leg of his really bends. It's like awkward bend where you would normally keep it nice and straight. He sort of bends and with it, he sort of collapses on himself. Puts a lot of strain on that knee. You watch this again here. He sort of 
Yeah, really goes down on it. And but he's got his control. Everyone's to their own, and he puts a good over in. 38 for two. So just the three runs and the wicket there. And Bauxai is probably one of the pick of the bowlers when we saw them last time as well. It was nice and tidy. Kept it nice and consistent. So there's a bit of a discussion here to the umpires. I think it might be uh, one of the batters wanting a change of gloves or something. And uh, well, he seems to have a bit of an audience around him as well. And I'm not sure <laughs> what's so fascinating, but the batter says, I need some new gloves. The third man, which is uh, Jiminathan, runs out there with him. And, uh, well, everybody's happy now. We can see plenty of things around this ground. Let's see one of the looks like one of the emergency services driving up there in the background there. The nice bright colours. And look at the Spanish colours really, the red and the yellow. Now what is that? I would say it's a, like a, a fire services vehicle or something. It's a good take. I think, ooh, I think that's that's a tight call. I mean, if you go by what the new, the new rulings are, it's the whole ball gets past the line. And I don't know. I don't think that does, you know. Very tight call. I think if you're the bowler, you'd be disappointed with that. But fair play to the bowler. No complaints. Single taken. Swing and a miss. On Haran, oh, it's more swing and a missing. Another appeal this time. Sure, the umpires asking for this to be reviewed pretty sure that the batter stays inside the crease a good look at this here and he does step backwards and the foot stays down this time past that line so not out all right well he gives that the old long handle that will go all the way boy bolly bolly kidna zona Shaka Olagia says Guerreras. Gets a wall up to eight. Nice big hit. Need that. Need to stay aggressive. Need to stay aggressive and go for the big shots. Yeah, this one just ends up being just a chip over the bowler. I'll take the single. Get a bit chilly here now. Of course, we are in France, and uh, I suppose when it gets cold, you've got to be thinking about onion soup. Wouldn't mind a bit of onion soup now. A cosy broth soup, topped with uh, bread and melted cheese. Of course, it's not invented in France, you'd be surprised to know. In the air, this is catchable. And, well, he can go and get some soup because he's done out there. He's going to be caught. That's the end of Lugajan this time. He tries to get going. Probably not the most aggressive of hitters. And we saw that in the last match. Though he did put a good partnership on together. And it's probably worth a uh, couple of Raj that was doing most of the hitting. So we see a wicket go down. And uh, high fives all around. And high fives to you all as well. And welcome to France. Yes, we are in France. We're about an hour away from Paris. We are in Drew. And of course, most of you, especially the regulars that will be watching the European Cricket Series over of Ireland, know about Drew. Drew, of course, with the 2023 European League champion. So it's good to be here in their backyard. And I've got to say, what a magnificent ground this is. A big thank you to everybody who have been 
working hard to get this ground prepared and we've got a lovely welcome here it is a magnificent ground it's so picturesque loving the trees around here the wicket is great the outfield is fantastic and i think we're going to see a lot of great cricket so welcome to you all and thank you for your support and thank you for watching the european cricket network and i think we're going to have a very exciting first ever series here in france this is day one and uh, two teams doing battle out there at the moment as the Babylon Neons and Royal 94. Both teams have made winning starts here, but one of them will suffer their first defeat. Let's wait and see which one it will be. So let's go back to the action here. It looks like it's going to be Awana Kulasaroya who gets given the ball. Start off the Sixth over with the score on 47 for three. Yeah, I was, was talking about the onion soup and I said, yeah, it wasn't the dish that uh, is tied to France, but uh, actually it's been traced back. The origin is traced back to Rome. That's a nice looking cut shot, but straight to the fielder. Yeah, when you hit the ball so well and you only get a single for it, you're going to be a little bit disappointed, but that's all it is. Yeah, the origin traces back to Rome, but I suppose you've got to say the most famous version is from here in France. So, yeah, a bit of onion soup. That'll do nicely. That, that'll try today. The snails will have to wait. I'll have to be a bit braver to try the snails in the butter and the, the garlic butter. And this time, catch taken. And it's a very good catch as well. And uh, that's a Jet Hussan who takes it. Very good catch. Yes, to come in from the boundary, uh, keeps his eyes on the ball, gets low, gets down, holds on to it. And that is Kapil Raj, who, well, this time, he'll go very first ball. So Kapil Raj is going to be out for a golden duck. So Goldie, well, it's uh, always going to be a golden day here in France. And, well, it's golden for Kapil Raj this time. He's going to go without scoring. <laughs> Golden duck for a couple of rides. It, this is the European Cricket Network, though, for you. How things can change. The two batters, Loka Jan and Kapil Raj, who put a fantastic match-winning partnership together for Ron 94 in the last match. Well, one makes three and one gets a golden duck. And now it's Royal... 94 are oh, in a spot of bother. Look at John. He was, he went for three, or just four deliveries. And Captain Raj joins him back in the dugout. No partnership from these two this time. And this one gets played outside. The man who took a fantastic catch out there earlier. Jet Hussan. So Wana Kulasaraya, and he comes again. Oh, that's well bowled. Really clever slow ball. Very difficult to pick. Let's have a look at this. I mean, you can see how well he's bowling. You just don't pick these at all. Yes. Nicely bowled. So we're going to miss again. Now asking the question. Under the over, and a good over as well. So Wana Kulusaraya doing exactly what his captain would have wanted. And that's just beautiful bowling. Picks up a wicket, only concedes two runs. So 49 for four. Uh, 
There's that slower ball again. Slower ball has definitely been working doing the treat. More rain just starting to fall here as uh, Putev comes on to bowl. And <laughs> well, this one is so slow. I think the batter could have played at it on three occasions. Swinging and missing, just staying in his crease and swinging and hoping and just missing. So Raja Lingam, see, so just not moving his feet as well at all. He's just hoping that he will eventually catch up with one. But he's just starting to get heavier now, probably the heaviest it's been. Well, this time he does use his feet. And a little bit surprised that he's standing so far back. Once again, Jackson asking the umpire is not entertaining the appeal. Dot balls, very good dot balls. I mean, he does just put that foot down in time, I think. Well, okay, he does hit one, but after all that swinging and missing, he's just going to get a single. The throw comes in, it's eventually backed up. And so far, from this over from Pritev, only just got the one. Just have a look at this last one. Oh, well. Maybe he gets a little bit lucky there. Go back to live action. Okay, in the air, and this one is going to be taken. Oh, that's six runs. Oh, you've never seen anything like it. Oh, you have never seen anything like it. It's a backward moonwalk for six. That's the only way to describe it. The catch does get taken. And this is Vunasanath. He takes the catch, and he does the moonwalk, and takes it over the rope. What's this? Oh, there. Oh, he says. <laughs> And a belly flop to finish for six runs. Oh, welcome to the European Cricket Network. Cricketainment is what we bring you. Uh, well, Gunashan Vinusanath, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for a little bit of laughter on what is turning out to be a little bit of a cold and uh, slightly wet day. Well, that's what happens when it starts to rain. Well, that's a magical moment. It's the end of the over, by the way. 56 for four. Oh, well. Oh, now the oh, now the bowler goes down. Well, I suppose now that little bit of rain is started to maybe just make the conditions a little bit slippery. I think most of this is when you're walking on from the from the wet outfield, perhaps just transferring it onto the carpet. But he goes down like a sack of potatoes, does uh, Munasinghe. And uh, the key thing is, is that he's OK. And... Yeah, with that rain, obviously, it just started to just uh, make things a little bit damp. So, got to just be a bit careful with your footing. All right, well, he could be rewarded with a wicket from his slower run-up. And he will be. There you go. You don't need to go charging in. You just need to bowl line and let. And uh, Munazinga, who was down like a sack of spuds earlier, and now he's up and about as he takes the wicket. And no issues with the catching this time. The batter loses sight of this, so uh, Raja Lingam will go just for two. And there's the catch taken, nice and easy, no issues whatsoever. And another one bites the dust, so it doesn't quite happen for Raw 94. And you know what, I tell you what, the Balbinians at the moment, if they can finish this well, this innings, they once again will be eyeing up all the points, you know. Bat on the ball, chases on, fielder gets hand on it, good pick up and throw. Just take a single.
we're going to miss. There's one of Zinge. Just making things a little bit uncomfortable. Now for the batters. Five down, raw 94. And, uh, well, with the Akuma's been there a while. It's really got going. It's a testy outfield. He'll get four. Nicely timed little shot. And that's what they need. They need a flurry of boundaries to try and get them to. Good score. But that's nicely played. Just opens the face of the bat. Good looking shot. Need a few more of those. Need some aggression. Drops the bat. I mean, it's just the intent, really, with the Akuma. That's been missing, really. You've got to be a little bit more aggressive. He just wants to, to stroke the ball around. Yeah, that's a better looking shot. And he's going to get a boundary for it as well this time. That's better. You need to be looking for the aggression. So, cuatro más. And uh, end of the over. So eight overs now completed. And the score moving on to 66 for five. It's once again, we are talking about this. Of course, this is the European Cricket Championship along with the European Cricket CC X playoffs. 30th of September to the 2nd of October is when that will be happening. And then you have the Championship Week the 15th to the 19th of October well, you can see that it's split into two there you've got the ECCX and also the ECC ECC of course the European Cricket Championship it's one of our stellar events it's like the Euros of cricket that's the best way to describe it this time it's broken down into two categories Better get back and just holds on to it there, the bowl as the rain does start to get just a little bit heavier now as some of the players and the spectators start to find some cover. And this is where the tournament referee and the umpires got to keep an eye on things because we've already seen a few times players go down. And I'll tell you one team who won't want to come off, and that's uh, Belby Neons at the moment. They're very happy with the way things are going, but that rain is pretty heavy now. And... If you ask me, if it stays like this, the umpires might decide to, to take the players off. And I think that's exactly what they're doing here. So the rain has got heavy. You can see that on your screens. And I think it was only a matter of time. Don't forget, we did see fielders, uh, bowlers and batters just starting to slip and slide around. So it doesn't surprise me that the umpires have made the decision to take the players off. So remember, we were into the ninth over. So depending on how long the players stay off, we could be seeing, we could be seeing the end of the innings. So we could see like this could be the the end of the innings hello and welcome a little bit unfortunate we've had this sort of a mixed weather all afternoon we've had a fair bit of cloud come over and some light drizzle and being followed by some sunshine but on this occasion it just looks like that rain just got a little bit too heavier and the umpires i think have made the right decision just to bring the players off there was a few occasions earlier where you saw bowlers and fielders uh, slipping so for the time being uh, play has been stopped we of course will keep you updated on what the state of play is it seems pretty unlikely bearing in mind that there was only i think 10 balls remaining in the innings it seems pretty unlikely that that innings from royal 94 will continue they were 70 for five so i think a dls system may come into play and that score being updated and then depending on uh, how much batting time that uh, Babylon's have, then we'll know uh, how much time they've got. I think this the only one thing talking about this that could be in favour of uh, the likes of Royal 94 is that if this does become a match which is shortened, 
uh, because of the weather, which it looks like it could be. Then the favorite on their side is that they then at least have the option of getting a point here if they do end up losing this because they haven't got many runs on the board because whenever we do make a change to the 10 overs when it's less than 10 overs aside then the bonus point doesn't come into play that could be something that really works in the favor of raw 94 but for the time being though unless the rain does stop the chances of us going back out there uh, also remain pretty slim so we need the rain to stop and then, of course, the umpires, along with the tournament referee, Charles Cratcher, will go out there and assess the situation. They may need a little bit of time for the, the outfield or the pitch to dry out. So we'll keep you posted on what happens. In the meantime, I think we can have a look at the highlights of what we've seen so far. And then keep an eye on your screens. I'll keep you posted as well and uh, let you know when we return. And when we do return, I can tell you what the status of the match is so we'll have a look at some of the highlights that we've seen and then we'll keep you posted but keep an eye on your screens for any further updates here we go so it started with not with a flurry it has to be said it was uh Slow going, though, Johnny, I mean, there was a few big swings there from Ellis Tyne. He was trying to get things going. John Merrick, and uh, good work once again. See from the keeper here. Uh, Jackson, he's always there wanting to take it. This time the batter doesn't have his foot down. And uh, tries to beat the hands of Jackson with the bat, but not able to. That was a good catch that was held there. But uh, we started to see about here when the, the rain started to, started to come into play. It was just drizzling at the moment. But the main thing this time around was that uh, the key batters just couldn't get going. I mean, that was one that Logajan did manage to get out of the middle. But that was the only one. Next time he goes for it, he's well caught. That was a good catch there taken by Juan Akulasuria. And then when he came with the ball, he certainly did make things happen as well. That was a very, very good catch from Adad Hussan. And, well, there's the rain as it started to come. We did see some, some comical moments as well. This one was probably a little bit lucky. I get the feeling that the batter here... When we saw this the second time around, that uh, I don't think he had that bat pass the line. He was a little bit oh, daydreamy. Just there, you see, he's very fortunate that that doesn't get picked up on. That one definitely, I think, could have been curtains. You can see it again here. And wakey, wakey time, but he does survive. Well, this one, well, I don't know if we got all of that. That's how it ended up. But the way it started was quite comical, really, from Gunnar Sanath. Is this it again? Uh, if it is, it's worth seeing. Uh, nah, that's a different one. That was a catch that was well taken from you know, Peter. Yeah, that was a nice shot. It's guys just around for the boundary, but there wasn't enough of it really for Royal 94. But again, like we've seen already, teams may have done well in one match. The second time around, the same players haven't managed to click. So it was uh, 10 balls to go in the innings when the umpires decided that the rain just got too heavy for play to continue that rain is still about at the moment it hasn't really eased off anymore and i suspect that that will probably conclude the innings of Royal 94 and we'll have to wait and see when play does start just how much time uh, is going to be left on the clock and how long the innings from babylon's will be we'll keep you informed on that for the time being we'll talk a short break but uh, like i say keep an eye on your screen for updates and i'll update you on the, the chat as well and whenever we are fit to do so we will be right back so hopefully we'll see you back in a short while
this European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome back as you get ready for match number five where the Bellaby Neons will be taking on the Greeny Vipers. Both teams have made a good start to the European Cricket Network on debut here on day one. One of them would like to finish on a high and maybe finish on the top of the standings. Let's go over to Charles Croucher who's got the captains with him for the all-important coin toss. Bellaby Neons to call. Heads is the call and it's a head. Uh, ball, first. ball first. So Babylon winning the toss and decided they will have a field first. They're going to be slightly disappointed, aren't they? After making a very good start, after beating the Super Kings in fantastic form, getting all of the points in that last match against Raw 94, they had the upper hand and maybe they were going to get the four points again. But of course, the heavens opened and that match ended up being abandoned. So both they and a Royal 94 would pick up two points each. But they're looking to finish on a high this time round and they're up against the Grinny Vipers. Now, the Vipers themselves start Started very well, but they, well, I think a bit of a huge upset when they lost also to Raw 94, a team that performed so well in the opening match. Remember, they won the very first match in the European Cricket Series here in France, so they're looking to come back with a bank here as well. I think Baby Leon, keep an eye out for Jackson. He's been in very good form, and for the Grinny Vipers, I think Chowdhury has been spectacular as well. He's a hard hitter. If he can get going, he can certainly get lots of runs on the board and they're going to need him at the top of the order. Now, I will tell you a little bit more about this match when I return in the commentary box and you can join me there. And obviously, we're keeping an eye on the weather, but as it stands at the moment, we are due to start on time and it should be a 10 over a side match. So, Babylon winning the toss and they will be fielding first. Join me back in the box for the first ball. And welcome back as well. And the rain has stopped, thank goodness for that. It did mean that, unfortunately, especially for Baldwin Neons, that uh, match number four ended up being abandoned. Remember, they had draw 94, 70 for five with 10 balls to go. So they were probably, once again, looking to get all the points the same way they did against the Real Nerve Super Kings. But anyway, they are in good form. And they'll be hoping to take that form into this next match. One thing that I will say there today is that the form from the teams has sort of been a little bit hit and miss. They played well and then haven't played well. And of course, we saw that from Grinny Vipers themselves after winning the first match. Thanks to Chowdhury, 65 of 18. They then went on and lost to Ron 94. Time round, only putting 114 on the board and winning with a ball to go. So they're looking to get back into some good form. But like I said, I think Chowdhury, I think he certainly does hold the key for them. And also something like uh, Thivane. I think uh, Thivane, he needs to come back well. Didn't bowl particularly well in the last match. And uh, he's going to be pretty key for them with the bat as well. The left-hander. And uh, see that uh, see new players in there as well. Sandeep Singh uh, making his debut for the Greeny Vipers in the European Cricket Series. So good luck to him. Uh, Balmanins, they are favourites to win this one, 64% to 36. So match number five, the last match on day one here in France at the Drua Cricket Ground. We get ready to go. And uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, Sajivan uh, Kumaran to bowl the first. Uh, welcome back to everybody as well. And uh, well, we certainly needed a few hot drinks to warm up. But we're nice and warm now. It's dry. It's pretty clear. Some of those big dark clouds have disappeared. So hopefully we'll get through the final match, match five here, without any weather interruptions. Uh, players have to be a little bit careful with their footing. Obviously the pitch was covered, but a lot of moisture uh, will be taken onto the pitch from the, the shoes of the players. So just got to be a little bit wary with the footings here. And that's just the right way to do it, I think, Umran. It gets called a wide here. It's pretty a pretty tight call, actually. But a wide to start. Just see it again here. And it does actually come back. That's a, That's quite it. Yeah. I'm telling you what, if I, <laughs> I know he's got a little sprint about him there, but it gets called a wide. Now, I wouldn't be very happy with that call, I've got to say. He does get the ball. Oh, look at that. It's a boomerang delivery. Well, that is swinging around big time. That's what he did with the last one. It came back in. And the umpire got called a wide when I think he didn't really see that ball come back in. But look, a fair bit of movement here from Gumaran. 
And the batter does well to get something on there. Okay, so Samuela gets off the mark. The vein, Manik Bowl. Let's see if he can as well. The left hander. They want a good start here. In comes. Come on, this of course will be swinging away from the left hand and oh it's so down the river and he's out with a great deal of luck. Great deal of luck, that's got to be out. I, uh, there's no way he survives it. It's not the best of throws and Kumran gets a lot of luck here. The ball actually hits his hands and then goes on to the stumps. I think when we have a look at this, I don't think there's going to be any way back here for Samuel. Look, he's gone. Out comes the bail. And there comes the bail. He's not in his crease, so he's going to be gone. And that's, uh, I suppose... If it was a good throw, he would have been gone anyway. It wasn't a good throw, but fortunately for the fielding side, the ball, even though it's not well retrieved by the bowler, hits his hands and goes to the stumps. That'll be out. So I'm not quite sure what they're looking at here. There, there you go. There's the decision. And it will be gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, Samuel has to depart. It's not the start they wanted. And it's a real bit of luck involved in that. So just have a look at this. So he overcommits and then obviously tries to come back. And he turns. He thinks he's going to get lucky because he sees that the bowler's not taking the ball cleanly. But what the bowler does do, he manages this to divert the ball onto the stump. So... Wicket will go. Samuela will depart. He's going to be disappointed. Doesn't get the opportunity. Does he? The new batter is going to be Nasiri who comes out. It's played pretty well. And that slithers across the wet surface. And that is going to be Cuatro Carreras. Nice shot. Nicely played. And powerfully played as well. It's a good, strong hit. It's a Chowdhury. He's out there now, and he's out there with uh, Thivane. To wait here. Pretty sure that we've got uh, Thivane is the batter who is there. They've given him run out. I think we're going to have to just wait to get that sorted. We got the the wrong batter being given out. It was Samuela who is gone. So it'll just take a little bit of time to sort that out. Samuela is the batter that's out. So we're just getting that sorted for you. Just a slight delay. So just to remind you, it was semi ruler that gets run out. So that's uh, will be updated. So two for one. And now you've got this partnership here with Chowdhury and uh, Vivane. And this is going to be pretty key. I think one also is going to be pretty key. Is that you have uh, a good footwear. Well, President. Here's the name on the back for Sanjeevan Kumaran. Well, maybe he's the president. El Presidente of uh, Balbinians. Babion is the city that they're from. And if you're from Babion, then you're Babinians. That's what you're called. And that's where they're from here. And Greeny, uh, close to Paris. Oh, the Greeny Pipers. All right. Looks like we've got that sorted. Well, it's uh, plenty of swing, more swing than we've seen. Uh, come around earlier. It's getting a lot more swing out there. All right, here we go. This is now Chowdhury. 
Uh, if you can just stick around, that's the key. We'll see a few spectators here. I think that's uh, some of the Super Kings that are still here. And that uh, might be actually a Royal 94 as well. And the guys have already done their bit today. Yeah, into the pad, asking the question. Not out. There's the, the umpire. Of course, big day coming up tomorrow as well. Yeah, just too much movement. He really is getting that ball to move. That on board, no run. Look at this field again. It's, uh, all the teams we've seen here today are really like to have a big, strong attacking field on the offside. No sweeper yet out on the offside. They're all on the 30-yard circle. Just the three on the leg side. Two of them outside the circle. That is the, the end of the first over as well. So seven from it, but of course the the run out of Samuela and a bit of good fortune maybe, but still not good for Samuela. Kumaran, the bowler, not only a nice tidy over, but involved in that run out. So you can see the blue skies have disappeared, but thankfully there's no dark clouds there as well. That's the important thing. And uh, the cricket continues. Though disappointingly we had that match number four had to be abandoned. Welcome to everyone joining us. Hello to Christopher Ward. He's saying evening to everyone. And uh, hello to Tripp as well. Nice to have you, Ivan B joins us in the afternoon as well right, delivery and this one is going to go well all the way so that's going to be five wides and let's see this one again uh, down the leg side wicket keeper can't get to it and uh, well if jackson can't get to it i don't think anybody can so that is a minimo, the first minimo of the day, the first minimo here in France. So Munasinghe, not the start he wanted. And this one goes through. Well, one thing that's definitely happening out there, and as Munasinghe shows us as well, this ball, this grizzly is swinging around big time. It may be just the, and I mean, it's less cloud cover than before. Maybe it's just the, the atmosphere at the moment, the humidity in the air. But that ball is tweaking around all over the place. Bit of a change in the field. Chowdhury, hard hitter. Attacks, goes for it, up in the air, and he's going to go all the way as well. Manos, arriba, 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 Vitro Porgues, who is seis carreras. Chowdhury only knows one way to play. The first man here in France on the European Cricket Series to score a half century. He scored 65 in the win over the Vilna Super Kings. That was a five over a side match. He had a slightly delayed start. It was a few technical issues this morning. They need him. Firing again, that's for sure. And uh, Muna Singh making a few changes in the field. Oh, there's that swing again. Uh, this time, keeps it inside. Yeah, that change, they move along off back. So they bring up the mid wicket and they got third back. So I just think with Chowdhury. Chowdhury likes to hit over the off. He's played some outstanding shots over extra cover. I'd have me extra cover back to him. Yeah, that's a genuine edge. And the stop is made. Oh, well, I'd like to see this side on. You know, it's a good bit of fielding. And that could have been the end of Thivain here. It's a really good sharp stop. And we'll have a look at it here. So it's a little bit sl slow, Thivain, to follow up. And let's see this throw come in. I have a feeling he probably could have been gone. Yeah, I reckon it would have been really close. But I reckon that's out. I don't think he's passed the line. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, this one is going on. The on the Eva, Eva, Eva. Fielder does catch up with it. And was there anything on this? No, it's another wide. Unfortunately, this time it doesn't go all the way to the boundary. Ball swinging around, but the bowlers have to control it and seem to be struggling at the moment. Munasinga definitely is. Oh, well, all right. Now, these are the issues that you will experience. Now, this is just all about moisture and water from the rain on the soles of the, the shoes. And then every so often, you just don't land right. You go, and that could be nasty. And now he's okay. He's a big man as well. I'm going to sing it. And there's that shot. He likes to go big outside the off chowdhury. He doesn't hold back. And this one goes all the way. Bolly, bolly, bolly. Kinda sauna. Shaka lagia. Yeah. Six more. And get the feeling here. You can see Devane just saying to Chowdhury, stay here with me. Don't give you a wicket away early this time. There we go again. Shaba, Shaba, Kinda, Sona, Shaka, Lagia. Says Mas. Well, he's hitting the ball well, and he's hitting it sweet as well. Six more. He's dangerous, isn't he? Chowdhury moves to 19 very quickly. Well, this is the way that the standings look at the moment, so. Balbin Eons, remember, they picked up four points for a win, and then they got the two points for the abandoned match to share the points there with Royal, who, well, they uh, have oh, yet to lose a match as well. Looked like they were going down, though, against Balbin Eons, but they'll be happy, I think, happy of the two teams to pick up those two points. Gwynny Vipers, they'd love to bounce back and get a win here as well. And a win here, and it's, if it's a good win, they could finish on top. Oh, that's that swing. Just watch this one. And ball is just doing so much as Gumaran comes back. This one looks like it's going to knock the stumps over. And that's probably why you don't see it being stopped by Jackson. Just watch this. Oh, watch the movement there. And it's late movement as well. Gumaran causing problems. All right, this will be interesting how Chowdhury deals with this. Chowdhury likes width. He likes to hit outside the off. He'll be looking to go straight down the ground. Nobody straight. And there he goes, straight down the ground, just as expected. One bounce, four runs. To somebody like Chowdhury, you've got to have somebody straight because if you think about Kumran, he's going to get the ball to be swinging into him. Chowdhury's not going to hold back, and the line Kumran is bowling, I don't think Chowdhury's going to be able to hit the ball over the offside. So if I'm, if I'm the captain here, I'm looking to get me probably my mid on and mid wicket back now this one just doesn't bounce and that's gonna challenge the field again it will get there they think of coming back i think this is just going to be biased this one just doesn't get off the ground and you can see jackson is having all sorts of problems at the moment ball down the leg side swinging too much and that one just not bouncing at all Gumaran now gets his field set to the left hand. Thivain has got a genuine slip in catching position. This one just a little bit shorter, so Thivain is able to work this away. And 1967, France wins its fourth outright Five Nations Rugby Championship with an 11-6 win over Ireland in Lansdowne Road, Dublin. Bit of memorabilia for you, slower delivery. I think it's just doing too much. And uh, it's a slower delivery, it's moving a lot. I think this one is probably going to go on and miss the uh, leg stick.
Oh, well, that's not the way to do it, Jackson. He tries to put a foot on this, and the fielder tries to put a foot on it as well. And he can't stop it. So more extras going on the board. And, yeah, just have a look at this. It's definitely a wide, and that's not the way to deal with it, Jackson. Uh, another minimal. So that's the second minimo that we've seen. Hit on the up, fielder out there, dives, can't stop it. Well, it looks like he dives over this. It looked acrobatic anyway from Barak Zai. But four more, and it's an expensive over. And it goes for 16 in the end. Well, nice dive, but couldn't get there. End of the power play, and 50 comes up as well. This is exactly the way that the Grinny Vipers were doing in their first match. It was only, uh, like I say, a five-over match, but they got the 50 inside the power play, and they're doing the same here again. And once again, it's Chowdhury who seems to be doing most of the hard hitting. A hint of sun is trying to sneak out. Looks like uh, that. Uh, Mano Haran will bowl this the fourth over. Got some good memorabilia here this day in history. What to do? Uh, just clips a little bit off the pad. And they're thinking about two here. They're taking it on here. He's going to have to be quick, and he has to get the dive in to get in. Risky. But Thivane does get there. Oh, well, this is where if there's too much movement, the ball missing the stumps, that's moved a lot. The batters, you can see, trying to get to the ball. I know that we always have a lot of people watching around the world. So how about this one? I'm not going to give you the date on it just yet. If this one gets played away, it'd just be a single. So in, in which... On this day, but I'm asking you on this day, in which year did a crowd go wild in uh, St. John's Antigua when they watched their favourite son, Viv Richards, uh, who basically went wild against England and he recorded the fastest century in terms of balls faced. 56 balls it took him to get to his century and he ended up 110 not out of 58 balls. Can you remember? Which year? I remember it well. He smashed a one-handed six over long off of John Embry and hit a flat six to, off uh, the bowling of Ian Botham. It really almost knocked his head off. What year? Come on. He's going to be the first to come back with that one. So what year was that fastest century that stood for over 30 years by uh, Sir Viv Richards? And wasn't he a joy to watch when he was out there? Well, there's one for you on the chat. Manaharan <laughs> trying to get the breakthrough, but this is the wicket they want. Chowdhury. Ah, oh, well, he leans into it. Watch out, watch out. There's a grizzly about, and some of the spectators have to dash out of the way of this one. Well, there you go. Somebody's got a nice little motor over there. And, well, I've got my... Oh, Dave, there you go. Dave wanted a ride. 
Well, there you go, Dave. You wanted to ride in tomorrow? Have a chat with that young man. Mind you, I think it'd be a tight squeeze, Dave, for you to get in there. But, uh, hey, that's a nifty motor. Like that. All right. Okay. Opportunity. Not easy. High. Damn. Taken. That's a really good catch. And you can see there, one of Kutsuriya. See, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. He was creeping up behind him. That's well taken. Not easy at all. And uh, Munasinghe holds on to the catch. That's important. Look, Chowdhury's the sort of guy that can really hurt you. If he gives you an opportunity, you've got to take it. In these conditions, that is not an easy catch. And Munasinghe, he gets it, and he gets it right. And Monoharan gets the wicket. Now, this is where things can change. 62 for two. That call falls right at the end of that fourth over. But just see if that makes any impact. So expected score at this point, 135. Let's see where they do end up. And Steve McVeigh has come and he said, Rico, I'm telling you, it's 1986. You're spot on. Well done. I know there's no fooling you. All right, got another one for you then. Got another one for you. This is in Antigua as well. Uh, so another West Indies England contest and it was another major milestone as West Indies openers uh, it was Gordon Greenwich and Desmond Haynes they put a partnership together which also stood for a long time 33 years good stop it will be a wide and when they punished and battered and bruised England for 298 runs and uh, the highest of their four 200 plus stands that they put on together and uh, it was also 38 more that partnership of 298 38 more than England had managed in their entire first innings asking the question not out says the umpire has a good look so there you go 298 run partnership on this day in what year there you go give you another one so Steve, over to you. No cheating now. No cheating. Don't want to go into Google search. Think about it. Bugs eye. And he's going to get unlucky. It's a big wild swing from Dulatsai. Dulatsai against Baraksai. And Dulatsai, he will get off the mark with a streaky four runs. Just see the way he's holding that bat. The way that blade is, and that works out in his favour. So once again, the sun trying to break through here. This wonderful Drew Cricket Ground. Bugsai again. And to Lutzai this time. Jackson just using his pads to make the stop. This one's called a wide. Another extra to go on the board. Okay, Steve McVeigh is saying 1984, he thinks. Um, smashed, hard, bang, gone, six. That's a good hit. And Dillotsai smashes it away. No, not quite right. You're a few years out, actually. And go back to the drawing board. That is so close to going on to the lid here. I'm not sure what Jackson is having real issues. I mean, I know if Vinny was here, Vinny would say he's got to come forward. He's got to stand up. He's standing too far back. He's stopping most of these balls using his pads. And it's not like him at all. He kept so well in the earlier match. Jackson just throwing his pads at it. He's going to, oh, no wonder he might end up hurting himself. Oh, it's more hesitation. And not a good runner, it has to be said, is Thivain. Manages to get back, but only just. Oh, 
Okay, Delatai. Looking to carry on on the work that was done by Chowdhury. Gets beaten. Outside the off, it's the end of the over. 13 come from it from Berksai. And uh, after five overs, 77 for two. And uh, this is a look at where we will be venturing on the, the European Cricket Network. These are European Cricket Series where we will have some European Cricket International action as well, men's and women's. We've also got the European Cricket Championship, the ECCX, and also the European Cricket Championship itself. So that's now, remember, broken up into, if you like, two, two divisions. One division being the X division, where two teams will play each other and the winners will go up into next year's ECC. And on the ECC side, well, there's the chance of the, the two lowest performing teams, those that finish the lowest in their groups with the least number of points, will go down. So that makes it exciting. Well, oh, that's smashed hard, and this is another. <laughs> it's the same umpire again. Well, there's something, <laughs> something that he's done that's not been right here today. As Niaz gets another bullet coming his way. Just watch this. This one was even closer than the one before. There goes Niaz down. He goes down and out. And well, who says it's an easy job being an umpire? Is not, you know. And oh no, that is not a wide for me. That's a tough call. That's a really tough call. Remember the new the new regs here is that if it's got if it's if it's got to be the whole ball's got to be outside the line. I the way I'm seeing this, I see the whole ball inside the line here. Well, gets away with it really. Right. Fuda comes across, got to watch his footing here now, does well. Keeps it to just a single. And Steve McVay. And Nick was saying 81 or 82. And a few ones in there. Kroom saying 1983. Somebody saying 86, possibly 81. And that's been mashed. That's big. Sounded good as well. Put them up in the air like you just don't care. That's six more. Well, thank you everybody for your guesses. So I can tell you the year was 1990. 1990, yeah. The great Gordon Greenwich and Desmond Haynes really punished England with a 298 runs partnership. A partnership, an opening partnership that stood for a record 33 years. Yeah, 1990. Oh, weren't they great to watch those two when they were going? They terrorised and butchered a lot of bowling attacks, didn't they? And if you are joining us and uh, weren't here earlier, it is also Titanic Remembrance Day. On this day in 1912, the Titanic, which was deemed as unsinkable, Hit an iceberg and went down. That's a good hit as well as Dulutzai is turning on the style here now as well. And uh, good, powerful hitting. And looking to get big score on the board. Yeah, that was set. Uh, Titanic was en route to New York City from Southampton, Hampshire, in England. And uh, unfortunately. 1,500 people died. That's why it's a Remembrance Day held today for that slow ball. Well watched, well played. Good cricket, clever cricket from Dulletzai. He's not getting in front, he's wicked away. His partner at the other end, Thivien. I suppose he'll say he's just keeping one end going, but I don't know. I think uh, in this format of the game, you'd rather have batters out there playing the bat at it. He's 14 of 13. And just look at Dulutzai, he's had eight deliveries in 25 earlier. We saw the same number of balls. Uh, Chowdhury made 34. So I think Thivien, he's really got to get a move on here. Or maybe let somebody else get out there and get going.
Okay, 98 for two. Six overs completed. Oh, it's not bold and just, I think this pitch has probably just come to life a little bit as well on the bouncing side. But uh, I don't think the bowlers have particularly bowled a good line on it. That's, you can see short of a length how that one behaves. So Pitev, let's see if you can get another one there, thereabout. Well, he can't. And that is a glorious shot. It's a slog sweep for six. And I like the way he goes down and he holds the pose. He says, Ale, Shakabi Mara, the Dumini Foro, we get to this. Smile, please. Click, click, click. Oh, that's a delightful shot. Just goes down on one knee and plays it beautifully. How about this? Glorious. And it goes a long way as well. And this time says, stay there. Just a gentle push on Dulutzai. Dulutzai is probably feeling that he's got to try and keep as much of the strike as well because that's the other thing the other difference that it makes when you've got a, a partner out there with you who's not necessarily scoring quickly it makes you want to stay on strike and feel you have to stay on strike and play all the big shots oh gone well high field getting under it and, and oh well let's have a look at this he takes it one-handed but i have a sneaky feeling he may have touched the rope here let's have a look at this Let's see the rope. I mean, he hits it well. Uh, let's see. One hand. Where is his feet here? Oh, well, let's see whose feet we're looking at. There's loads of feet everywhere. Is that foot going on the rope? Yeah, it does. That's six runs. And it's <laughs> good thinking. But that's when the mind is telling you what you've got to do. But the body just doesn't react in time. It's a great catch. Well, he's eating all the jalebi. He takes the jalebi catch. But unfortunately, his foot goes over the rope. Now, look, you know what the play there would have been? The other fielder who's next to him should have just pushed him. Should have just pushed him inside the field of play. He said, oh, stay there. Come on. Nothing on the tongue. Anyway, it's six. And this one is, well, here he comes again. This time, he's got to, yeah, this time is easier. It's nicely done. But now, it would have, now they're taking this second. Oh, dear. So, extras. It's, Remember the expected score? I was saying keep an eye on it when we saw the wicket of Chowdhury fall. It was in that fourth over when it was 62 for two. And it was 135 expected score. Well, these two, uh, especially Dulitz, either way, he's hitting it. That expected score now, 155. They've got to get him out quickly, otherwise he's going to hurt you. And he's hurting them already here. 39 of 13. The guy sat away nicely. And... I think he'd be happy just to take the single. So he's just keeping the strike here. He's keeping uh, Thivane off the strike. Well, Thivane hasn't had a hasn't faced a ball now in I reckon two overs. And Delatine moves to 40, 113 for two. And that over. Once again, a productive one. So Pithev. Couldn't get the breakthrough. Somebody's got to get the breakthrough here. Right. Well, it's a half a pure now. Does this hit bat or pad? What's the... Leg by signal. I wonder if we can see this again. I mean, it's pretty full, but nobody really that interested. I think there was maybe a little appeal. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's worth an appeal, but probably just going down the leg side there. Once again, the swing comes into play. All right, this is... Monocle Surya. And what's in the question... He's fingers well bandaged up here, doesn't he? That's, uh, that's the bowler. Wanakul Surya. 
And he's not bowling with that hand though, but it's clipped away. Chase is on, and it's going to be four more. And goes towards oops, that back heart, just there by the camera. I think, uh, I think that's Martins. By the camera there, making some little adjustments. Big shout out to our Spring Media crew here, Chris Tapps, Martins and Arturs. All right, well, that one is going to fly away. It's cuatro más, a little bit more. Good luck, good fortune. Más suerte. It's cuatro más. Ivan has to go now. He knows it. He needs to play some big shots. And that's good. That's down the ground. That's going to be four. That's the best shot he's played so far. The bowler's going pretty wide here as well. Just got to watch the footing. Juan Acolturia is very close to the return crease. But that's a delightful shot. Really good. Walks down. Clubs it straight. And four runs. Yeah, just keep an eye on the return crease here. I think the every so often he'd like to try and go pretty wide. See again. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. That uh, back foot. I think the only thing maybe he's doing is just keeping the heel up. So he's not touching the line. And something the umpires will need to keep an keep an eye on. I'm sure they are as well. 126 for two. At the end of eight. And this time round, it looks like they're not going to make the same mistake. The Greeny Vipers, as they did against the Raw 94. Remember, they were going well in that one as well. But then uh, they lost ground, didn't they? Batting first. And he scored 114. And uh, they won 71 at the halfway point. It's the second half that they let themselves down. That's been hit, and that's going to be six more. And so Dulutsai goes big again. Yeah, they scored 71 in the first five and only 43 in the second. And then a Royal 94 winning and winning with the ball to go. So they were kicking themselves with that. They're not looking to make the same mistake here. Dulutsai is one boundary away from what would be a great half century for him. There he drags this out onto the leg side. It's the same umpire. He's a, he's a bit of a magnet, isn't he, Zane? Has to get out of the way of that one. So, Pritev moves his field around for this left and right combination, which is uh, being a bit of a pain for them as well. Walks down, and it's cleverly bowled. He sees Devane walking down the pitch to him. So just almost a gentle, slower delivery. And gone, middle stump out of the ground. Just too much movement here from Dulletsai. First he moves outside the off, then he tries to come back again, but he doesn't put the bowler off. And uh, Pritav, I've got to say, he's so cool, isn't he? No celebration again. We saw him do this earlier. He knocks the stumps out of the ground for the second time in the day. It's the middle stump that goes. And that's a joy to watch, isn't it? Right, full and straight. Middle stump out of the ground, and the bowler just turns around and says, it's just what I do, it's what I do. No celebration needed. As the Pritav gets the wicket, well bowled indeed. And uh, the innings of uh, Dulutsai comes to an end. It was a good innings as well. It's a shame he doesn't get these half century. 47 of 18 deliveries, five sixes and three fours. 
before he gets his middle stump rooted out of the ground. And uh, he will go. Ishanula is a new batter. And it's going to start with a wide. It's clearly the wrong side of the line from the bowler. And he disappointed. Pita new batter comes in. You don't want to, you want to be right at the stumps. Maybe you will be this time. Early movement again, but he gets his clean out of the middle. Oh, lovely jubbly boom. Shaka Lagia, Kiwaki, Haniel, que grande. Eso golpe muy dulce, más dulce. De tarta de chocolate. Ay, 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 que grande. Una grandísimo. Seis más. And it was just in the slot. And this time, well, Ishanula uh, does exactly what probably the, the batter before him, the look side, should have done. Just waited and crunched it rather than moving around too much. And this time, well, he does move around himself. He gets a little bit of pad on it. The bowler asking politely. Now they're taking two. That's very good running. And once again, not the best in the field is... The Balbinians got to be better than this. You see, Jackson lets it go past him. It's a, well, it's, let's just say somebody has got sticky fingers because that's not where he wanted to throw that one. Throws it away, and the batters say, let's go again. That was KG Vithu. It's not the sort of thing that the captain wants to be doing. Over comes to an end. There was a wicket there, but plenty of runs as well. 17 come off the over. Plus two leg buys to 19. One forty-three for three. Last over. And this one is going to be a dot. So we go back to Wanakulsuria. So once again it's the, the back foot that he wants to be careful with. Let's just see if he makes an adjustment here with that back foot. And, okay, the heel just off the ground. Oh, wow, they don't want to be doing this. Keep throwing the ball away here. And now taking two, very good running. They will get home as well. And, well, Valby Neons pointing fingers at each other. They've, well, a few... Toys being thrown out the pram. It should never, I mean, it should never have been a single. Throw it away. I'm not quite sure what the bowler is doing there. And Juan Acuturia, um, it looked like the ball was, you would have thought, was thrown at him like a laser beam. It was a gentle little throw. He jumps over it. And the two batters say, well, we'll have a couple. It's played and they're taking it on again. In comes the throw. But you know there's more overthrows if they want them. This time they decide no. Well, he likes jumping around, doesn't he? Uh, I think he's uh, could be a a stunt man. Well, that's four runs, and that one will bring the 150 up. So 150 and gets pass for the first time here in France in this European cricket series. And it's uh, the Green Vipers that are doing the damage at the moment as uh, Ishan Ula decides it's his turn to unleash. Well, it's a good slow delivery. We'll take the single. So two, or one ball to go, 151 for three. Crunched and goes all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Ginna zona, shaka lagia, ke wai ke hanial ke grande, and that well seals the end of the innings with a big six, and it will finish with a score of 157.
And the three wickets down, and it's a, a good effort, really, from the Greeny Vipers. You'll see in the scorecard that a number of batters made a very good contribution. And uh, it's only really you can say that uh, Devane was a little bit slow early on. He finishes not out on 36 or 23. But uh, early on, he would just play the sporting role. There was a little bit of bad luck for Samuel as he was eventually given run out. And there was a little bit of luck involved from the bowler. But they didn't help themselves early on. They were struggling, controlling the swing. Kumaran and also Munasinghe. Munasinghe particularly, the first over only just went for seven. And there was that run out there as well. Well, there's the diving again. We saw plenty of that. That was a good cat. That was nicely taken. And then at that point, you just thought you needed something to happen. Well, the umpire saw the funny side of him not on his jacksie again. But uh, something did happen. First of all, it was a good, powerful hitting from Chowdhury. We know he's a dangerous player. He was slog sweeping and sweeping big. Well, that was an unfortunate moment, really, from the fielder. Well, that was Balakzai, who took a one-handed Jalebi catch. But then, well, he ended up putting his foot on the rope, so it counted as six. And then we saw that uh, Thivane decided he was going to start playing a few shots. But uh, this guy, I'm liking the bowling of uh, Pritev. He's just very clever, just keeps the ball nice and straight. And that was a good one to get through, wasn't it? Just knocking the stumps over. And uh, the two key batters, well, this was when you got sticky fingers and the ball just goes where you don't want it to go. There was some, uh, you uh, let's just say, not so pretty bit of fielding out there in the middle from uh, the Balbi Neons. Gave away some extra runs unnecessarily. As yeah, so we take a look at the scorecard, but first let's just admire the views of this beautiful ground surrounded by the forest here in Drew. 36 from Thivane. Like I say, he took a, a lot of deliveries to get there, but one thing he did do, I suppose, is just kept it difficult for the opposition with that left and right combination. Him being a lefty, they always had problems with him. 34-14 from Dulutzai and... Uh, from Chowdhury, beg your pardon, and Dulutzai, he was 47 of 18. Those two make a difference. That's the power of hitting. So you've got the power of those two. And then Thivane just kept things going, ticking along nicely. And Ishanullah there, a nice solid 11 of 4 from him. So I'm helping them to 157 for 3. When you look at the bowling, really, you have to say that uh, Pritev was probably the pick of the bowlers. He bowled a good line, pretty sensible, nice and straight. Baraksai only gets the one over. That uh, confuses me a little bit. Propitiev, yeah, he bowled pretty well. He was a little bit unlucky, wasn't he? And he saw that uh, Kumaran gets his two overs in. And he was pretty well with the economy as well. They'll be a little bit disappointed uh, will the Bambalions, not just with uh, some of the fielding, but they also gave uh, quite a few extras there. 28 in extras, 19 in wides, six leg buys and three bites as well. Going to have a quick turnaround in the last match of the day. Remember, it is the last match to so get your random questions in as well. And I'll do my best to answer them. We'll be right back in about 10 minutes' time. You're watching the European Cricket Series here in France. We are at the home of Drew. Join us back in about 10 minutes' time for the conclusion of the final match of the day, match number five.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome back and a big shout out to Paramatch and HCL Software, our partners, and of course, Grizzly Bear Sports and Busyway Travel that have been getting us safely to our destination here in France at this uh, beautiful Drua Cricket Ground. And uh, looking forward to the final innings here. Could we have a mammoth run chase? Well, Bamineons, they are a team that uh, can hit the ball pretty well. Remember, they got a very good victory over the Villeneuve Super Kings uh, when they picked up all the points chasing that uh, score that they needed in there. It was a low scoring one, wasn't it? And uh, got there quite easily. And then they were well, probably looking to get another win against Royal 94. Looked like that would have been a, a less than 100 chase as well. That one didn't quite go to plan either because of the weather spoiled the party. But can they finish on a high? That's what they'll be hoping. And uh, of course, the important thing is that they need to try and pick up something from the match. So the, the bonus point equation becomes quite important. We'll have that up on the display for you as well. There you go. So 110 is a score that you're going to have in your mind. So they need to get to 110 here. The, the Balmy Neons just to get something out of the, the contest to get a point. But they'll be looking, I think, to go all the way and get the win here. They chase down the 80, 83 required in now uh, quick time to get all the points against uh, the Super Kings. And it was Jackson who did all the damage there. Nasiri will be looking to, once again, be the pick of the bowlers. Bowls a nice teasing length that goes across the right-handers. Left arm up. There you go. That's what he likes to do. Good save. That is a really good bit of fielding. And gets down and stops that ball going to the boundary. Really good work here. It's a good shot as well. Goes back, plays it nicely, and a really nice stop. <laughs> so, Jackson. Well, he hits that hard one. Nobody's stopping this one. Yeah, you might have stopped it when it's hit by Jat Hussan, but not from me. I hit it too hard. Jackson, he's off and running. Sorry. What if he changes his approach? What he sticks to? Trying to keep it outside off. No, sticks to the same. And this time, Jackson goes for a shot over in that long on here. He's got to be careful. Long on his back. Long on back and extra cover back for Jackson as well. Does like to hit through that area in the covers. Oh, well, this one is so close to him. He's hitting his leg stick. Fielder tries to stop him by putting a foot down. Gets it wrong. There's Rajani. That one's going straight through him. That can't. Well, that's just uh, that's just buys, isn't it? That's gone through. That's gone. Yeah, there you go. That's the buy signal. It goes through the the batter as he's trying to give himself some room. They've gone, and oh well, he's very, very angry with himself. It's Zathusan, but he's going to go, and bold goes right across the line. And well, Nasari does it again. 
A good, clever bowler. This time, look, crooked ball, flatter straight, and there's Nasseri giving it the all. He's clever, and what's not clever is the dismissal there, Jethrosan. But yeah, clever bowling. I like the way he drifts the ball outside the off, and then he sneaks that one in nice and quickly. Four matches. Now, since the golden ball. At the end of the first over as well. Six for one. And Jackson is still there. They remember, scored a fine half century in the win against the Vilna Super Kings. And he's going to be joined out there now by Aruna. Who also played a good role in supporting Jackson. And that was it, though, from Pamaguru. Just played the supporting role, but this time he needs to do a little bit more than that. We'll go to the fielder. It'll just be a single. And Jackson needs some support, some aggressive support now from the other batters. The Aruna, can he do it? Ishanula, the bowler. Winning the power play here is so important. You win the power play, you can go on and win the match. And at the moment, there's only eight on the board of eight deliveries. It's not the way that uh, Balbinians are wanting this to go. Oh, that one. Is straight through Jackson again. Needs to be super aggressive, but it's got to eliminate dot balls and need to be getting something from everything. And he's all that. It's more bold. Again, it's just keeping the pace off. Let's see, you see Chowdhury. Dalupali Chowdhury knocking bows off. Jackson keeping his foot down. Okay, goes for it. It's high up in the air. Catching opportunity, and it's been well held. And Jackson will also depart. So they get the dangerous Jackson out. So Holden makes his way. It's well held in the air. None of these catches are easy. The ball still a little bit wet. And, yep, there we go. Crocodile style. Look at those snappers. As Sandeep Singh... Comes into the side and his first bit of action. He takes the catch to remove the dangerous Jackson. Isanula getting the breakthrough. As it's the captain. Now comes out KJ Vithu. And, uh, well, he can't uh, hide away from the strike. He's got to be on strike straight away, Vithu. Gets one on the leg side. He gets a bit of thigh pad on this. It'll be leg vice signaled. Smiles on the faces here at the Grinny Vipers at the moment. Well, they were smiling at the beginning of the day when they were victorious over the Villeneuve Super Kings. Now, will they go home smiling as well? All right, up in the air, a catching opportunity, and this one is taken as well. As Aruna will go, just for one. They're falling like flies here at the moment. Just the one, remember he went for one or three deliveries, bowled by Nasiri. We just saw... The wicket of Jackson caught by Sandeep. And now Arun, he will go as well. And safe hands all round. Yeah, please. just let me at him. Let me at him. Hand off the second over, nine for three. And of course, just to remind you, that target 158. Well, that's one thing. Remember, you've got to get to 110 just to get some points out of it. This is the way it's looking at the moment. So the... Vipers here, they definitely want to stay up with the, the, the pack. Otherwise, 
Well, they're going to get away from it. And, uh, well, Balby Neons, who probably feel they missed the opportunity to get all the points against Raw 94 because of the weather. That was out of their hands. Mm. Now, well, they're, they're right up against it here. Now they might not get anything. They're sitting at the top. The Vipers, though, could quite easily get there. Okay, up it's gone. Is another one. Can you believe it? As the captain will go, Vithu. Another one bites the dust. Oh, well, he's hit it pretty hard, but he's hit it up. And it's another good catch. Four down now with the score on nine. Hits it hard, but he can't get it past the fielder. Takes a grab. Thank you very much. Another one bites the dust. Catching has been tremendous. You saw Thivane take a nice one. Can we move Arun? Now the captain, Vithu, goes without scoring. It's going to be a, a two-ball duck for him. And the Seri picks up his second. Two for five. That just gets played away on the leg side. I mean, just need a little bit more intent in that shot, though. I know it's uh, just the first ball that he plays, but it's down the leg side. You've got to go for it hard. One on Kulsoria. Oh, he scored as well. Bowled beautifully. And Nasuri takes his third. It's just in the slot. And Manoharan will go first ball. Golden duck. Just very good bowling. Just getting it up there. He's a clever little bowler, isn't he? Uh, just where it's this pitching. So just that. Not quite Yorker length, but if the bats are not moving your feet, you're going to get them. So Nasari doing the Nasari celebration dance. And a chance for us to see a golden Derek. No getting away from Goldie. <laughs> uh, Manoharan goes without scoring. Cleaned up by Nasari, who is having a very good day. Well, this scorecard at the moment is just not a good look at all. The 151, well, it's got to be a code to somewhere. That's the way it's looking. That's the way it starts. 10 for 5. We are still in the power play. And necessarily just moving his troops around. New batter. Musinga comes out. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, he does well. Oh, no. It's almost a run out. That would have been absolute disaster. Ron Kulsaria looking to get to the other end, get sent back. And luckily for him, he stays on his feet. Zuri wants to change. He's got to tell, got to tell, the, got to tell the umpire what you're thinking of doing. In the pad, but pitching down leg side can't be out. And so he runs back, he thinks it's the end of the over. Gets one more. Three for six. Great bit of bowling. Raheem Gul Nasari. Can he pick up one more here? I'm gonna sing it. Goes for it. Has he gone a little bit too wide? No. Keeps it inside. End of the over. Fantastic spell. Power play complete. It's 10 for 5. And they are some 40 runs behind where the opponents were at this stage. You'll see that on the graphic coming up here. So the Greeny Vipers were 50 for 1 at this point. Their opponents are, well, let's just say, all over the place. Bavinions are 10 
for five. The same team that we saw bat so well against the Vuna of Super Kings. Picked up all the points and they would have been disappointed that they weren't able to get a chance to have a chase against Raw 94 who uh, in the 70s we had 10 balls to go when the rain came and and never stopped. That match got abandoned. And yet here they are. Not only are they look like they're going to struggle to get anywhere near that 110. So a loss definitely on the cards. They may not get any points. But of course the net run rate will take a real battering. They need somebody to give them something here. Okay. Direct hit could be in trouble. And it is a direct hit. And let's have a look at this. The stumps are knocked over. The off stump out of the ground, direct hit. And it goes from bad to worse, taking on a risky single. Let's have a look at this. I think they will go upstairs and have a look. And the umpire, the third umpire, a tiff with Charles Croucher, will be looking at this. But I get a feeling he's got to be gone. Direct hit. Here comes the throw. Let's keep an eye on it. And let's have a look at this side on. Well, let's, you can see it from this angle as well. That tells me that he's not there. Th side on. This one will confirm it. Don't think he's going to be anywhere close. And, yeah, he's gone. Gone by a long distance. That's fantastic bit of fielding. So, well, Juan Acultoria. There was slight hesitation before he went. But I think even if he went straight away, I don't think he's going to make it. It's a direct hit. So another one goes... So, Juana Kusuria will go for two. Run out. And what a great piece of work that is. Brilliant. And that is Nishanula. Well, I've got to say, it's been a, a long time since we've seen a collapse like this. It's a long time since we've seen a team struggle 11 for 6 it's quite incredible inshallah teasing buttocks eye outside the off balance ball Another dot. Two for three. Ishanula. And of course involved in the run out as well. Okay. Up in the air. And it will go all the way. Well that's what they need. Need something positive. There's no point for me. There's no point being out there just blocking. But like he's better off playing an aggressive role. And he clobbers that big. as a nice shot. You've got to try and get runs on the board. You've got to try and get close. You've got to try and have reduced the deficit of defeat here. Uh, I mean, all right, miracles can happen, but already they've got to be going at a magical overrate all the way through here. There's plenty of time to bat. I think this is where I think the batters that are out there and any any other batter go out there have just got to say to themselves, this is our opportunity to bat, bat and get into some sort of form. I don't know how much cricket... The guys who would have played up until now. Well, maybe not too much. So go out there, bat, enjoy, get yourself into some sort of form. And though, you're, though it's in a losing cause here, uh, the practice out there could serve you well a bit later on. End of the fourth over, 17 for six. And, uh, fine bit of bowling from Ishanula and also from Nasuri. Uh, Rahim Gul Nasseri 3 for 6 and Ishanullah Miri 2 for 9 sensational so Balbinians just look at that it's been a long time since you've seen a, this chart what we call the worms looking like that alright looks like they're going to just stick to what's been working just keep it to a bit of spin Ramatula and four runs at this time. It's uh, Munasinge, who after four dot balls gets his first boundary. 
You might just hear a bit of pitter patter as a bit more rain returns as well here. The thing is, though, the bad news for Balbinians is this time the rain uh, will hurt them as well because they've gone past the three overs. So this will constitute a match. So uh, if they do come off, DLS will come into play. And I can tell you now, they are a long, long way behind. Yeah, that rain, just as I mention it, starts to get heavier. There's some darker clouds do come over. It's quite strange at the moment. We've got brightness to our right and the darkness to the left. The umpires, of course, will keep an eye on this. Remember, we have had some rain already down the ground. The nice looking shot. That's going to be four runs. So, liking this from Marek Zai. And Munasinge we finally get something going. And just like that, the rain stops and the sun comes out again. It's going to be a little bit like that. And a beautiful rainbow. I can see to my left as well. So, Mamutula Mary. Good shot. Using his feet, and that was the difference. You've got to use your feet to the, the spinners. Because if they're bowling wicket to wicket, and you're just planning on just with your legs planted, swinging, well, the chances are they're going to get you. And that's what uh, Aksai has done here pretty well. And uh, Well, there you go. A little bit of rain. A little bit of sunshine. There's the rainbow. Well, somebody get your shovel out and see where it leads to and see if you can find that pot of gold. It uh, gives us a chance to just look at some of the upcoming events. Of course, here we have 12 days of European Cricket Series action. And after 59 matches, we'll know who will be crowned the first champion in France. That will be a wide. We've got some easy eyes coming up as well. And then the action continues as we go... For the first time to Italy, to Brescia. Gets worked away. Fielder makes a stop. I'll take the single. And of course, Estonia. Will be my first time going to Estonia as well. And also, well, first time we'll go to England. So, a few firsts happening this year. We will go to the Wimbledon Club. Not the tennis, the cricket. It's not far from the tennis, I'm told. Right across the road, more or less. And uh, we'll have our first series there. will be just for the week. I'm just going to miss here in Barak Zai. That's nice deep play. So... Devane getting the chance to have a ball. Remember, he was he was very expensive. Oh dear! Well, just as I say that, he does what is criminal, really. Remember, he was the expensive bowler in when they were playing against Raw 94, two of his overs, and also the overs from Mamand. He's not playing in this one. Were expensive. The slow bowlers did their job well. The seamers just haven't got it right, and you, it's a bad one. That's more like it. That's where you've got to be. Oh, getting closer. Missing it. Swinging and missing. Going to be down the leg side. I mean, it catches something. I reckon it might have just flicked a little bit off the leg here. Let's have a look. We can see this again. I think the umpire is, hasn't given a signal here yet. I think it might have just caught a little bit off the off the pad on the way through. And it definitely does catch something. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, I think that's just off the off the upper legs the umpire well he's 
does call it a wide in the end. Okay. There's another swing and a miss. There's Munasinge. Swings and misses and swings and misses. It's now he's 12 balls and six runs. One of those being a boundary. Zai going a little bit better. 13 of 8. Halfway point. 38. For six. Remember at one point at the end of the three overs they were. Ten on the board, five wickets down, so I suppose this is some somewhat of a bit of a recovery. Well that's a nice looking shot up in the air, and this one will probably land just to the left of us. Yeah, it's a good shot, Brokeside. He does use his feet well, he, he launches into it, plays the spin pretty well. As long as he keeps his shape, doesn't get too carried away. So once again, you see he's not afraid of coming out of his crease and playing the shot. And therefore, we're getting a good chunk of it. Nice hit. Mamatula Mary. All right, this is sliced up in the air. Can somebody get to it? And does, but can't hold on to the catch. And that's Rajani. You can see he's calling everybody away from it, saying it's mine. There's a uh, disappointment from Mamatula. It's a good delivery from him. It's a quicker one. Fires it in, and Bugsai this time loses his shape. You can see the head goes up in the air, but uh, wouldn't have been the easiest of catches, but Rajani doesn't hold on to it. Bugsai gets alive, and then he hits the next ball for four. Five of eleven now, Bergsai. Shot. Oh yeah, Shaba Shaba Kinna Sona Shaka Lagia. Well, Bergsai is. Let's just say he's embarrassing some of the batters that have been out there above him. It's, this is the way to do it. And once again, it's all about the footwork. The little uno dos and boom tres. And forget the tres. Double it, six, because that's what he gets in the end. Safe mass. Good over so far. 18 have come from it. Barakzai is fighting. The 50 also comes up. Swing and a miss. Sneaks it inside. One is played out and should be just a single. They won't mind that if Barakzai holds on to the strike. And uh, end of the over. So 30 of Ramatula in the end. And after seven overs, 57 for six. And this is what's coming up tomorrow. So it's time to see some of the big boys in action. And the two clubs that we have seen on the European Cricket Network, uh, Paris University Club. They'll be taking on Paris Zalmi. And uh, we'll also see a new club, President 11. But uh, we'll see Drew as well. And, of course, Drew, the 2023 European Cricket League champions. And uh, those two teams, remember, they did provide us with a fantastic couple of matches in the European Cricket League this year. Uh, looking forward to seeing them in action. So some teams that we know, some new and some old teams high in the air. Somebody's got to call it. The fielder says, leave it to me. As the bowler is charging in. He said, yaar, kidder pa di janda. Kya cha mera tu ami do di janda. Save your energy, he says. I'll take the catch. And an entertaining innings from Alexei comes to an end. 32 of 14. And like I say, he's shown some of the batters how to do it. A nice catch held in the end. Most of the time when they've got the opportunity, they have held on to it. Well, it's time to see the president who goes out there. And, uh, it's going to be... Good catch held. 
Yes. Kumaran goes out there. Bowled very well. Really was getting the ball to swing around a lot. But now he's been required to do what he can with the bat. And Sandeep Singh starts with the wicket. All right, that's crunched. And this one will be four runs right in between the two fielders. Goes very wide off the crease. That's Sandeep as well. It's another one that's got to be a little bit careful for where he plants that foot. So, picks up the wicket and then gets hit for four. Ishan Hula was the man who took the catch. Well, that's a nice shot. He gets a swivel on this proper. The MJ. Oh! And, well, Kumaran, uh, he also is showing those above him how to do it. Or maybe they reverse the batting order here. Who knows? Both sides scoring 32 or 15 coming in at number eight. And now Kumaran at number nine. He has played some nice shots. Sandeep Singh starts with a wicket. Next two balls gone to the boundary. And sneaks this one in. Give it back to me, says Sandeep. Give it back to me. I'll have it. Well, that's hit pretty well, but slices it a little bit. Calls the fielder. We'll do the, the fielding. That's uh, Sami Ula. Oh, that's a nice shot as well. That's going to go. When it actually just slows up a little, I was confident it was going to go to the boundary. It does a bit, but it does slow slow down a tad. Uh, sings over. Go for 15. Does pick up the wicket. And, uh, well, probably Neon's 72 for seven. Eight overs now completed. Now remember, they're looking to get a point here. That means they... I mean, the win, unlikely, 86 of 12. It ain't going to happen, is it? It's uh, Unless we see a lot of no balls and wise, etc. But the still need to try and get to that 110. And swing and a miss doesn't help them. So you can see they need 38 of 12 to get to a point. Dot balls don't help their cause. There's Thivane. Comes on. That's a good looking shot. That uh, it's going to be called four. Probably just bounces just before the, the rope. Hits it and hits it well. And when it hits it, it stays hit. So, so Jivan Kumran, powerful hitter of the ball. Yeah, one bounce four. Good strike. Powerful strike. Considering they were ten for five after three, I guess you could say it's been a a pretty good fight back. That's a nice looking shot as well. That will go all the way. Manos. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Vítero porque eso es seis carreras. Gumaran, 21 of seven. Well, they haven't stopped believing yet. The win, maybe not. But to salvage something from this match, it's still on, you know. This one will... Should be stopped by somebody, will it? Yeah, a bit of foot fielding. And a little lay on, I suppose. But they'll get the they'll get the two. And if Kumaran keeps striking the way that he is, he's got to stay on strike, hasn't he? Uh, same area again. Same result, but this time just a single. So coming up to the, the end of our first day in France. What a cracking day it's been. The weather did spoil the party slightly with one of our matches. Having got started, having to be abandoned. But uh, we managed to get all the others in. And we've seen a plenty of this as well. Stumps flying out of the ground. And it's uh, Munizinge will play on. Chop it on. Well, we've seen a few French cuts. Well, this is a French cut. 
That ends up going right onto the middle stump. So the middle stump out of the ground once more. Chops it on. Adios. And Munasinge will be the eighth wicket to fall. And that falls right at the end of that over. So 85 for eight. Nine overs completed. I hope you've enjoyed the day here. I know we had a frustrating start with a few technical issues. The first match being a five over a side match between the team that you see out there at the moment. The Greeny Vipers and Villeneuve Super Kings. The Vipers winning that one by 23 runs. And then we saw the Super Kings. They went down to the Balbinions. And a uh, good victory. And Baby Leon's getting all the points. It's so well bold, comes very wide, does Sandeep. Almost loses his balance getting that one in. That gets played away well by Sumeran. So new batter. Kudanathan. Short. Okay, up in the air. Somebody's got to want it. The umpire says, I don't want it. And the fielder says, thanks, Sumps, he's out of the way. Another catch gets taken. It's the ninth wicket that will go. And it's going to be Kajikatan, who's going to go very first ball. Well, we've seen a few ducks here in Drew. I haven't seen the lake or the pond just yet. I know there is one probably not far away because there's plenty of ducks that are making home there. And the Kajikatan will go, unfortunately, without scoring so there's Goldie well he's smiling Goldie's smiling Goldie's going bling 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 there's another batter departs so a wicket away from a victory the Greeny Vipers the victory is theirs but uh, this will really boost their net run rate as well and they'll take all the points and they will go to the top of the table. So started at the top with the win this morning. And they'll finish at the top as well. That's nicely played. It uh, will just be a single. So keen to get off the mark is Pritev. So three balls to come. I know some people need to get away as soon as the match is over. And if you are, thank you very much for joining us. And for the first time here in France, it's been great having you. Au revoir, as they will say. And we'll catch you tomorrow. And thank you for your support, of course, for the European Cricket Network. And a big hello to all of the new people that have come along as well and tuned in. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here today and plenty more coming tomorrow. I'll tell you who else is coming tomorrow. Vinny Sandu will be here. He is here in France. Obviously having a, a bit of a rest after what was a frantic finish to the European Cricket Series there in Portugal. Marlon winning against Gamblers in the final with the golden ball. So Vinny Sandu will be here tomorrow as well. But thank you all very much. Hello to Joe Wild, who's uh, tuning in. Oh, that's a really nice shot. That's a beautiful shot. I'll tell you one thing. There is no way that someone like Sanjeev and Kumaran and what we saw earlier from Barak's side, these guys are, should not be coming in so low down. That one gets walloped away. It will be the end of the match. 95 for 9 they will finish. And uh, Kumaran will finish on 32. So... He finishes 32 not out. Barak Zai, who came in at number eight, made 32 of 14. So those two put 64 on the board. And remember, at one point, it was six for one after the first. It was nine for three after the second over and 10 for five after the third. And 17 for six after four. So that's been quite a, quite a good recovery. It doesn't get him a point. It doesn't get him a win. But it does just show that Bobby Neons, what they can do if the top order click as well. And it just shows that they've got some depth. So as I said, you needed to try and get something positive from this match if you were Bobby Neons. Well, they do. And that's thanks to Barak Zai and their Kumaran. But this is how it started. It didn't start well. The key wickets were falling. And uh, 
And Jackson, we know he's a dangerous batter. Well, he, well, first he had to see the wicket there of just Suhan going bold by Nasuri. He was very disappointed. This one's high up in the air. And it's a catch as well taken. That was Sandy who came into the side and his first bit of action on the European Creek Network was to take the good, a good catch to remove Jackson. And catching was good as uh, Sivain was also in the action to remove Arun. And they just kept on coming. The chances kept on coming and they kept on taking them. And nothing really going right. And the bowling really, you got to commend the two openers. I think uh, Nasseri, he's slow spin bowling and clever bowling was class. This one was brilliant from Ishanula. A great bit of work from him. From bowled it, fielded it, gets the direct hit and gets the better run out. A brilliant work. And uh, that was a one of Suriya. He made his way. But Inshallah also bowled very well as well. Picking up two wickets. And it was those two openers that did the job. But then we saw some fight. And it was nice to see. But was the first to basically go out there and say, you know what, I'm going to attack. He uses his feet well. Took on the spinners. And, uh, well, a little bit of luck was involved as well. One catch going down. But uh, it wouldn't last too much longer. But it was a good fight from him. He made, like I say, fine 32-14. And then we saw Makumran go out there and do the same. That was good to see as well. The batters out there that were prepared to play their shot. So he finishes 32 not out in the end. And nice catch there taken. I have to say that in terms of the catching in the field, the Juni Vipers were very good in what they did. I think uh, the fielding in general, ground fielding, and the catching was very good. In general, I have to say that all of the fielding uh, here in France have been really good. You're always going to get some catches go down, and it was sometimes difficult out there with the weather and a little bit of rain. Finishes with sunshine, and I'm glad because a day like this, the first time that we're in France, should finish well. We should finish with a little bit of sunshine, and that's exactly what we do. What a great day it's been. As you have a look at that scorecard, but what a scorecard. It's been a long time since we've seen a, a card like that. Look at Barak Zai, 32, and also Sanjeev and Kumaran, 32. They're right towards the end. And uh, before that, he saw that Munasinghe, he did get to double figures. But uh, yeah, the openers, they'll be very disappointed with the way that they started. Here's the bowling figures, and uh, well, Rahim Gul Nasseri. Three wickets he takes and only concedes six runs. That's quite astounding. And Ishanula also takes two wickets for nine. And uh, once again, now the issues with the seamers there. I like in Sandeep Singh coming into the side. A good pair of hands from him taking the catches as well. And also doing a great job with the ball. And uh, that's your match summary. So well done to the Greeny Vipers. They will finish on top of the standings. It was my opportunity to welcome you for the final time here into the Combinators Box. And uh, thank you very much for watching wherever you've been tuning in from around the world. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's always great, isn't it, to come to a new place. And I was trying to think of the last time, in fact, myself and the ECN crew were talking about this, the last time that we're going to a place where we don't know what the ground is like or what the venue is going to be like. We don't know majority of the teams or the players. And it's it's how we started uh, way back sort of five years ago, if you like. You know, that's how this family grew. And it's nice to come to a place, to a magnificent ground like this. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. The pitch played beautifully. The outfield is great. The location, spectacular. I've got to tell you, Vinny's going to love it here tomorrow spectacular but of course all the organization being done by everybody been absolutely brilliant as well so certainly looking forward to tomorrow these are the matches that we've got coming up Paris University Club taking on Paris Zalmi side another Zalmi side I tell you what the Zalmi teams that we've seen so far have been pretty decent so looking forward to seeing Zalmi in action President 11 we welcome them as well another team making their debut tomorrow but Drew we know all about Drew and they're taking on Paris University Club and remember these two teams provided us with some good contests in the European Cricket League including a 120 to 120 golden ball match as well so plenty of good 
cricket coming up tomorrow. I, of course, will be here as well. Vinny Sander will be joining me, and I hopefully you'll be joining me here as well as well. So always great to get to a new destination, new players, new teams, nine new teams that we're going to see in total. And of course, what that means is that a European cricket a family will continue to grow. Speaking of our family, thank you all. Wherever you've been watching around the world, you've been absolutely sensational. We had, of course, a few teething problems early this morning, just trying to get things working. So thank you very much for your patience and your understanding for that. And once again, well, some things are not in our control, like the weather. So the weather also disrupted match number four, which ended up being abandoned as well. But, you know, those are out of our hands. What we can control, well, we try and do our best for you. So like I say, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the umpires today as well. Look, all new to the way that we do things. I think they adapted really well. Thank you to Spring Media, to Martins, Arturs, I think Chris Taps as well. They were absolutely fantastic. Again, always difficult for them as well when you're in a new location as well. The ECN crew as well been absolutely brilliant. It's been a wonderful day and uh, it's been fabulous, really. Really enjoyed myself. Seen some really good cricket as well. But once again, thank you for watching. And like I always say, we always have the highlights of the day coming up. So... We'll be going to be entertained when you watch these highlights, that's for sure, because we saw some wonderful things. I will be here tomorrow. Vinny Sandu will be here as well. But until then, like I always say, be good, be kind, be safe, be happy. Shukriya, thank you for watching. Hasta mañana, mi familia.